Hello! Hi there, everybody. We made it. We made it to the beginning of the stream. How are you doing? Doing good? I hope so. Hi. Hi, Bosh. Yeah, today's uh today's gonna be interesting. Back from six days without power from Hur Hurricane Ian and first Kraken stream back is about to pop off. Stoked. Thank you, Shawn Michael. I am happy to hear you are doing all right. Welcome back. Uh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be something, all right. Um my buddy Charborg and I have been working tirelessly for the last week uh on getting this prepared for you guys. And I'm I'm happy to say I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like nothing you've seen on this website before, or probably uh any website um that I know of. Maybe there's a secret one somewhere. But uh it's gonna be kinda kind of weird and kind of wacky, a little cursed, but also uh, incredibly creative, which is kind of all of me uh, wrapped up into one one little neat little ball, you know? Uh, thank you guys for the resubs. Prodigies, thank you for the 59 months. Crunchum, thank you for the 52. Uh, Robaz, thank you for that raid uh, coming in at the beginning of the stream. Uh, yeah, let me give you a little, just kind of a brief overview of what we're going to be doing before we hop in the call with Charborg. But uh, basically, we've arranged a little play date uh, between Charborg's chat and you guys. Um, yeah, we've we've arranged a little play date. So uh, so my chat. All right, we're gonna bring you guys over, uh, and Charborg's chat's gonna bring his chat over. Okay, and we're gonna play a little game together. Uh, Charborg's chat is so horny. It's okay because you guys are very wholesome, right? So I don't think. I think you'll balance each other out, honestly. And oh, they're they're nice kids, okay? Charbrook's chat's a nice kid. They're just a little slow, okay? And you guys can help. You can help uh, bring you know your A game, and and you'll you'll balance them out. It'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, we're hornier, okay? No, please, let's not have a horny off, okay? Not this early into the stream. Uh, basically, the concept, guys, is we're gonna play a tabletop RPG together. Think like. Dungeons and Dragons, essentially, right? Except uh, your DMs today will be both Charborg and myself and an artificial intelligence. Uh, we are going to be using Novel AI, which is a AI software that we have come to know uh, and work with pretty closely since uh, the last time we... Uh, so three AIs? All right, thank you, Sunny Big. Uh, since we did a stream together... And so they reached out. We've been actually working with them directly on developing the show. And so this is kind of the, the proof of concept of it. But basically, what we're going to be doing is you guys are going to be able to use chat to suggest and answer questions, right? So I'll ask you a question like, you know, uh, do you want to go left or right? Do you want to go to this place or this place? Do you like? Do you want to be an elf? Do you want to be a dwarf? Do you want to be a gnome? Like all that sort of stuff. And you guys will, uh, you know, be able to use chat to communicate your wishes. It'll then be read aloud um, on stream using a text to speech that will be catered to your character first of all. So we're gonna pick a character for you guys. We're gonna design that character all together. You'll then have that character on screen. Uh, because that character will be made by an artificial intelligence as well. That's right. We don't have just one AI on this show. We've got two. The second one is a image AI, and we're going to feed the AI that makes these images uh, your descriptions, right? We're going to work with you to make a description of your character. You're then going to get a... Uh, a um, an image of this character that'll be on screen. We'll then pick a voice that matches that character. You'll be able to talk as that character. And uh, as you explore the world that we have prepared for you, you'll be exploring different scenes, different visual scenes that were all also made by AI. <laughs> so basically we've, we've set up an adventure where every single uh, room that you go in uh, was was built using keywords that were uh, uh, put together by us as your uh, host DMs, Charborg and Kraken. So we both prepared a, a, our own respective adventures for you. Uh, you'll make a, a character twice, one for each of our adventures, 
And yeah, it it all makes sense. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be a massive experiment, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, this project sounds huge. I think this is yeah one of the more ambitious stuff that I've uh, that we worked on this year, and I uh, could only have done it with Charborg. So I'm gonna undefin now, and hopefully we'll take it from there. Hello. He might be deaf. Hello. Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, you gave me a little startle. Yeah, no, you gave me a startle too. It's okay. Did you have you explained anything to your your sweet little viewers? I I explained to them the rough concept, um, and that I've arranged a play date uh, with your chat, um, and that we're going to be playing a little tabletop RPG together, and that they. Uh, well, you know, we'll take it from there pretty much. Yeah, I haven't explained anything really. It's been pretty vague. Okay. Do you want to, do you want to jump at it? I'm, I'm curious to hear how, you're, like, how you I, would describe it. I, I, I've, I've been trying to think of a way to explain this in a, in like a easy to digest thing. We're going to, we've created scenes using an AI art generator and we're describing those scenes into an AI story generator and letting you guys decide how you progress your way through different scenes yes think think visual novel where you're playing the, both of you are playing the protagonist both charbrook's chat and my chat are respective characters that you design in this visual novel and you're making date. decisions <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you, you know like you date. could try romancing each other uh i think we you know we might have to pump the brakes on that to some degree uh you know can't let that get too far but <laughs> Uh, that would also probably have consequences in each of our stories because, you know, Charberg and I both designed a narrative that requires the input of these two characters, these two protagonists. Yeah, two entirely different stories, like themes. His theme is completely different. His story, everything's different. Yeah, and we haven't even, like, consulted on each other's themes and stories, right? So they're going to be very, uh, very tonally different, too, I'm sure. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like if if there's there's going to be consequences, you know, like any good RPG game, if you guys are just busy smooching all the time, uh, then <laughs> you might get in <laughs> trouble went with from the kissing to kill. Yeah, see now, okay, but if you kill each other, then you're losing, you know, a valuable a ally. Valuable attention. friend. Yeah, this is there's a there's a balance here, you know, you got to walk that fine line. Will you kill or kiss? I I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll have to find out. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you what do you think, man? I any any other prefacing you want, or should we hop into not, a, a character creator? Yeah, I, I I really think the best way to go about this is just going to be to the, the vague premise is they're going on an AI adventure, and we're going to try to to hold their hand and guide them along through this weird world we've generated. All right, sounds good enough to me. Um, let's hop over to the scene wait, then. Wait, wait, oh. real quick, yeah. which. Whose are we doing first? Whose story are we doing first? Uh, you do my first. I figure mine's the more most okay. uh, flexible. So if it let me switch over. Yeah. There. Okay. There. I'm. I'm not even gonna repeat what they're saying in my chat right now. Well, I guess you'll see it soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see it pretty soon. <laughs> um. So yeah, you guys are gonna be set up across from each other on the screen at all times. So all of uh my chat's text and all of Charberg's chat's text. You'll see it. This <laughs> is uh this is our character creator screen. Um, welcome. Uh, Wait, I, I don't have... There, I got used up now. Okay. Uh, and so you see those little bubbles in the left and the right? That's where each of your characters are going to go. Um, first, we're going to have to... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, guys, please. Good guys. Guys, chill. They can't decide if they want to suck or kill. <laughs> suck is an interesting, like, go-to. <laughs> it's 1984. Love right kill hug okay well uh you know we knew this was going to happen to some degree keep in mind though if you guys are going to goof off the whole time the whole story is going to pass you by you know you're gonna how are you going to follow any leads in in this uh fantasy they, mystery if if they just got to get this out of their system really quick and they'll they'll, <laughs> they'll shape up yeah sure yeah i'm sure they're they'll shape up any minute now um so i guess what you should probably describe the uh, oh, look, they're waving, dude. Oh, mine are just huffing copium. 
I guess you should describe sort of the basic premise of your story so we know what kind of character we're going to generate on our end. Yes. So as you can see in the background, uh, the basic premise of my story. Sorry, I just refreshed my my source, so it might take a minute to catch up. Um, we are going to be set in a fantasy setting uh, where there is a uh, you know a little bit of a, a little bit of on the on the seven seas, kind of a port town, you know. Kind of uh, kind of swashbucklery, maybe, you know, that kind of energy. Um, however, there is a big bad of my story, and I'm going to read uh, the prompt that I wrote that, uh, that gets this set up. Also, um, I refreshed my source, by the way, and it doesn't seem like they're popping up anymore, so I don't know if I broke something. Wait, oh, there they go. They're, they're I see now. yours. They said mommy. Yeah, they did say mommy. All right. Um, all right, so here is the premise for your guys' adventure. Um, <clears throat> it has been 1,000 years since the Age of Dragons, and the realm has finally settled into a calm since the last dragon died. That is, until the dark wizard Plumbus began harvesting the dragon's power from their fossilized remains. Now, the dark wizard Plumbus threatens to bring about a new age of dragons, but this time, it's an age of dragon bones. Is that a dramatic, uh, I heard your door close. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, I got a little too scared. I had to leave. I'm not even done yet, dude. Somebody has to discover where the dark wizard Plumbus has hidden his wizard tower and defeat him before it's too late. Is that us? Uh, not us, but it's them, you know? Guys, that's you. Holy that's smokes. You. <gasps> that's you. Plum no, Buzzy. That, don't ignore that. Ignore that. Oh, God. All right. Well, so at this point, guys, we're going to break off into uh, two, little, uh, two little private powwows where uh, Charborg's chat will design their character with Charborg, and I'll design my chat with uh, my chat. And then we'll we'll meet back up. We'll generate your AI character profile, and then uh, the story will begin. So that is Sounds where it goes. Good. Uh, do you know where you want to start with this? By the way, we didn't really go over like what the design process is. I'm assuming. Yeah, like, I'm sure we can just sort of pick like some vague like descriptors, and then narrow in like maybe like because given the theme, uh, I'm imagining I'm going to be some. Uh, my concentration is getting broken. Uh, <laughs> The what am I saying? You guys fucking mess me up, dude. Whatever. <laughs> okay, what are you imagining, Kraken? Yeah, I think we either give them some options for like you know starting with a race or a or a class, you know, like a like a RPG class, and then we we yeah. like get it from there. I mean, they seem to have like the physical attributes down. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let, let's. How about you just message me when you're done and then uh, All right. and we'll get we'll get started. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn you on now. So when you see that green sign, it means text to speech is on. Um and Rat. Yeah, so now we get to pick what our your character is. What sort rat. of uh what sort of character do you want to play? So you wanna be a rat? I'm I'm gathering. Rat. You wanna be a rat, okay. So we'll make you a rat. Now you want to be like rat. a like a human sized rat or like a like a small rat, like an actual tiny rat. How big is this rat? Mommy. You want to be a rat, mommy. Small. A, a small rat, mommy. Okay. Giant. A, okay. Well, we got to pick one or the other, guys. Is it small or giant? Come on, you guys can do it. I believe giant. in you. Giant, giant's Small. winning. Okay, giant has more. Small's giant. getting there. Oh, giant's got more. Looks like giant it is. A giant broke 50. Okay, so we're going to be a giant, giant. rat. Um, what class is this rat? You know, is it a cleric? Is it a wizard? Is it... What do you think? Barbarian? Mommy. Mommy's not a class, guys. Bard? Okay, bard is winning so far. Mommy. Yeah, yeah. 
wizard. Okay, bard looks like Goku. Goku, Goku's another uh, person. I don't think we can make our class Goku. Bard. But Bard seems to be winning because that's the only consistent one you guys Goku. have been able to land on besides Mommy and Goku. Okay, giant. Uh, I'm going to start typing this into the, the image prompter, okay? We have a giant rat bard fantasy uh, role play. What else? What else? Uh, any other descriptors Mommy. you can think of? Uh, a giant rat bard. Mommy energy. All right, we'll see if that works. Um, uh, let's see. Anything else? Mommy. Yeah, I got the mommy thing, guys. Um, I'll, I'll write mommy Germa. twice. Germa, I don't... I'm worried what will happen to the AI generator if we put in Germa. Uh, let's see. Giant rat. Bard. Germa. Bard class. I'll write in germ at the end after mommy and see what happens, okay? Now we're going to generate four images. We'll see which one. Uh, well, first of all, that they're not TOS. That's the first step. And then if they're not, then I'll drag it into the scene and when you guys can pick, okay? Don't worry. I, they're not going to automatically appear on screen. I have, to, I have to intentionally show it. Oh, boy. Oh boy! All right, I don't think Germa made it into the cut, but uh, we have a couple. We have a couple options here. Um, first one, just kind of okay. You know what? So right no. here, we have. Uh, it looks like a bunch of rats, um, and it looks like a mommy on top. I think they're all part of the same organism. Uh, I don't really know. She's holding a looks like like the sun maybe. Um Mommy oh. Rat Tower. So yeah, that's that's option one. Uh we also have uh this <laughs> I think I like this one. Um This is like an actual homunculus. This is several rats layered on top of one another. Uh Looks like one of their their claws are on fire and it's screaming in pain. Um, but you oh, know goodness. that that's kind of a kind of a cool vibe. What do you guys think? It's a hell pit abomination. Yes. Yes, you like that one? Do you want a different one? No. <laughs> no, no, you want a different one? I mean, we can try look, the way this works, we can keep refining your your specifications. Um but I, I don't know if we're going to get that much better. We need more options. The other options are, I would not say, that much better than this one. Let me, I'll, I'll, let's, let's, let's see if we can change this. I'll do, ask for colors. Yeah, Germa. so what, what color do you want the rat to be? That's a good, that's a good prompt. What color would you like the, the rat to be? Giant rat. Here, I'll put Germa in there. Green. Green, okay. Giant green pink. rat. Green. Although our text color is pink. Blue. So between pink and green, I'll let you guys pick that. Pink. Bard class. Pink. Fantasy green. creature. Pink. Okay, uh, looks good enough to me. Green with pink stripe, okay. <laughs> pink striped, giant green rat, Germa bard class, fantasy creature, pink striped. Okay, we'll see what comes out of this. All right. You can see Charvok's chat over there coming up with theirs too. They, looks like they're going green. Mommy. Oh yeah, the mommy too. Oh, this didn't turn out good. Uh, yeah, this one wasn't very good. <laughs> All right, giant fantasy rat, Germa bard class, fantasy green, fantasy creature, green, mommy. Okay, we'll see what that does. 
takes a few seconds to generate each oh, time. Cool. I don't know if we can fit Goku into design as well, guys. You know, there, at some point there is something called design bloat, you know, where you 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 try to fit too many different variables into something and it just as looks like nothing. Uh, this one's kind of cool. Oh, cool. Oh, this is a, yeah. Okay, I think I I'm personally a fan of this one. Take a look at this. This is this looks cute. It's still somehow oh boy. a a a rat homunculus. It's just kind of growing larger. Uh, yes. He seems to have a a little rat in his arms, um, and he's got yes. some green on him. He's holding. I don't know if that's supposed to be like an umbrella. He's got like a rat tail yes. for like a ponytail. You know, it's a mommy. Yeah, it's a mommy holding its its child. That's where the mommy came in. You're right. It took it literally. It's a it's a rat with a little rat child. I think this is sweet. Yes. I think I think we are settling with this. Okay. Where is pink? All right. Let me see. Last edit. I'm gonna see if I can add pink to it. Yes. Pink striped. Now I'm gonna draw. Yeah. Okay. So check this. Check this shit out. All right. Dry. Dry. <laughs> what the fuck does dry mean? Saki. Chad, just don't don't just say words because you want to hear how they sound, okay? Come on. I'd expect that from Charbrook's chat. You guys are better than that. Moist. These are not descriptors I'm gonna use Moist. for the rat. Okay. Uh I added pink stripes, but I think it was unnecessary. I'll let you guys be the judge, though. Milky. What do you think? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, all right. We're going to go back to the uh, the original no. design. This guy. I think this is a cute this is a cute design, no. all right? We're going to we're going to put this yes. in your yes. character sheet now. Yes. All right. Characters. Look at you. Goku. Goku. Now we come up with a name. Goku. Are you going to be Goku? Goku. Once you pick, once you pick the character name, it's gonna be stuck. We did Goku last time, guys. You could be anything. Goku. No. Okay. There. It seems like you guys are split between Germa or Goku. Raj. Raj. Germa. Germa. You, now you can be. Literally anything. You could even be an original character. Can you imagine that? What if, what if, now crazy thought, what if you didn't just become something that Raku. already exists in the world, but you made your own original character because you have this no. power right now. Ratku, that, that's a new character. Ratku. Ratku, okay. Ratku. Ratku. All right, Ratku's getting a lot of votes. Is that the consensus? Ratku. Kraken. <laughs> no, please don't name it after me. Look, I, I don't have to be in the story, all right? I'm already, I'm, I'm helping DM, okay? I'm telling the story. You don't need to. Ratku. You don't have to give me a pity name. Kraken. Okay, all right. You know what? Grug and Grog. Or what are they doing over there? Is Charborg naming Ratkin. two characters? Ratkin? Ratku. Ratku or Ratkin? All right, I'll let you guys pick. Ratku or Ratkin? Ratkin. Ratkin. Okay, Ratkin's at Ratku. 60. Ratku got two. It's kind of Ratkin. hard to make these. 
stay at the same time. Hmm. Rat cool. All right, I'm ready when you are. No rush. All right, we have cool. our design. Uh, they're deciding between a name right now. Cool. Um, yeah, we've got uh, we've got a design. <laughs> cool. We've got a design and a name that we've been workshopping. Um, but I want your opinion on it because I don't know how this is exactly going to work. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm um, dropping you the image for mine. Okay. Oh, you're cute. Yeah, you're cute. Let me get Kraken on screen, guys, so you can see him. I gotta get your chat back up too, cause I disabled it so I wouldn't get spoiled. See, yep. now you sort of had a similar thing. <laughs> you sort of had a similar thing going on in the sense that uh, there's two of you. Yeah. It's because they were insistent that we make a mommy, and I think the AI interpreted that as having a child. So, well, I think, um, well, you'll just see. This is a uh, <laughs> this is uh, Grug and Grog. They want it. I, I just don't know how this is exactly gonna work in the um, in the uh, limitations we have with this AI. I don't know if it's gonna handle a conjoined twin too well. All right, this is Grug and Grog. This is guys. This is your your uh, compatriot for this <laughs> adventure. Um, wait, let me get your chat back on screen one sec. Now that that also means you're gonna have to come up with a voice that uh no <laughs> they oh, say what they no. call them ew dude <laughs> they don't want to be your your companion dude Kill. I don't know what to say you guys are Kill. unbelievable they can't help the way they look guys come on that is hurtful fuck you <laughs> fuck you war I'm sorry guys I didn't expect Kraken's chat to be such a dick. Now, yeah, I don't Kill. know how to make both appear in the portrait because of well, how... Well, I was actually going to do a sort of uh, whichever one is appropriate for the situation. Like, maybe oh, Grug's hanging out for one of them. Then, yeah, maybe, like, you just raise your head up or, and lower. Yeah, no, that, we can do that for sure. Um, now, have yours decided on a name? Ugly. It seems like it's a compound name, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, they, they, I, I was telling them that I don't know if it would work too well with having two names, so they shortened it to Grug and Grog, all okay. one word. Yes. I Grug don't know, Grug and Grog, Grug and Grog, yes. Grug and Grog. <laughs> Listen to him say Grug and Grog, dude. Oh, wait, I have to turn on the. Uh, all right, we're turning yes. on Charbo Chat too. Yeah, I just have them both up right now. Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. <laughs> Grug and Grog. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. Do you guys want to actually go with Grug and Grog? Grug yeah. and Grog. That's a perfect way to combine the two of them. Okay, well, I'll yes. change my chat to Yes, Grug and Grog. I feel like the voice yes. works great, too. Yeah. I was expecting to have to change the voice, but I really, I couldn't see it any other way, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, chat, we have a couple different options with the voice. Uh, right now, we're, we're doing a whispering voice, um, but we can also, yes. uh, you know, depending on the energy yes. of the scene... Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. <laughs> <laughs> like a weird little Pokemon, dude. Yeah. He just only uh, says his Mary. name. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> uh, we can also do cheerful, excited, friendly, Raku. hopeful, shouting, terrified, unfriendly. Which, uh, which emotion do you think uh, Mary. Uh, you guys like? Raku. Okay, Ratku won the, uh, the vote. So we're going to be Ratku. Ratku. Am I hearing the right voice? Is it going Ratku? Uh, no, it's it's a whispering. Uh... Terrified. D. Okay, I probably need to refresh your thing yeah. really quick then. <clears throat> All right, let's see if that worked. D. D. Rug and rug. <laughs> D. <laughs> Grog and rug. Oh, I hear yours now. Wait, mine is now. Radicy. Oh no. <laughs> Grug and grog. What, what voice is yours? Grug and grog. Uh, right now it's um, Tony no. whispering, but we might yeah, change. Yeah, I hear it now. Okay. No. Uh, no. 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 Rad to see. Don't say that, Grug and Grog. Be nice, Grug, or I'll take Grog out. I grab Rad you by grog. one of your necks and pull it up to <laughs> get the second one. Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. <laughs> Ow, my chest. Grogussy and Grogussy. <laughs> Rad to see. What, what, what is your character's name uh Ratku. they i had to plead with them not to go with goku again so we got Ratku. that was the closest we could get i like that <laughs> yeah 
Um, grog and grog. <laughs> Dude, I fucking look over and see grog at the bottom. Grog and grog. Grog and grog. Smash really well. Um, wait, let me oh see. Oh my god. Grog and grog. <laughs> so stupid, dude. You guys are so dumb. Uh, pass. I, but depending on... Pass. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> grog and grog. Oh, I'm sweating, dude. Uh, I'm laughing so hard. Ew. Pass. 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 <laughs> um, okay. Smash. Wait, Ratku, would you rather be with Grog or Grog? Grog's at the bottom. Yeah, so Grog's at the bottom, Grog's at the top. You get, you can, you can pick. Grog and Grog. Which one do you prefer? Grog. D. Grog. Grog. They prefer Grog a lot. No one said Grog. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Grog? I'm sorry, Grog. Grog. Sorry, Grog. All right, Grog it is. Grog and Grog. <laughs> D. Grog and Grog. <laughs> Cry, cry. Uh, I'm like, so, I'm so happy they came up with combining the names, dude. Because yeah. I was, I was like, all right, well, we can just call him Grug, and then it'll be understood Grug that Grug. the other one's name is Grog. But Grug and Grog, Grog is too said. perfect. Yeah, Grog, Grog is gonna sit out most of this adventure, I think. Maybe he's like, you know, his second phase. You know, like, cry. Because you know, keep in mind, guys. Depending on what happens in this adventure, Grog said you could activate Grog, right? You can make that your choice. You can be like. You know, Grog, Grog answers said. the question. You know, Grog Grog gets involved. Yeah. So that's part of the yeah. You go you go Grog mode. I think don't cry. Don't cry, Grog. Come on. Look, we're we're just getting started with this adventure, okay? <laughs> Grog, Grog. Grog, D. <laughs> Grog mode. What is Grog, Grog mode? Grog. <laughs> guys, Grog and Grog, chill. What? I don't, don't enter Grog mode, please. All right. Let me. Uh... Oh, actually, you know what? mode. This is going to be so hard for the AI Rob kill. to consider Rob Grug guess. and Grog one entity. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I think we'll just. I think it'll just I, be I, like I Grug be okay. and Grog is the entity, and yeah. we can role play as yeah. Grug and Grog are doing different shit. Okay. All right. Uh, do we want to begin the adventure? Grog smash. What do you guys think? Yeah. Are you ready? Anything we're missing? Let me give me one second. Four. I'm just changing Run something grog. over here really quick. Four. All right. I think we're ready. I'm ready. Four. Grog and Grog? How are you Kiss. feeling, Grog and Grog? Uh, I think they're, they're self esteem. Grog <laughs> We just have that ready to go like a Pokemon. That's all they. Oh, wait. Uh, I sent you a squad invite, by the way. If, if you oh, yeah. Let me do that. that. Yeah. So, viewers, if you want. To watch both of our streams, yes. you can use the squad invite or the squad system and chime Why in. Why is on yours both called chats. Giant Fantasy Rat Germa Bard? Grum, they, they really wanted to fit Germa and Mommy in there, and it ended up just being Germa. I, I don't know where Germa made it into the, <laughs> <laughs> the prompt, but I tried to fit everything they asked for. I think Germa's the yeah. baby. Yeah, there you go. Mine is, let me tell you what we Eat generated Germa. from mine. Hungry. Uh, Germa. You mm -hmm. hungry, Grog and Grog? Germa. Oh, he wants to eat Germa. Oh, okay. All right. Careful there, man. Don't feed the baby to Grog and Grog. Germacy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Mine is greasy, bald, yeah. furry fish humanoid, green skin. Oh. That's what my. That's yeah, what my guys bald to do. fish must have been how you got that horrible pig look. Yeah, totally. Horrible? Pardon I mean, me? Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's subjective. Uh, grog and Grog, grog and enter Grog, grog, grog mode. No, please don't go Grog mode. Grog please don't grog. go Grog mode. <laughs> grog and Grog. Grog mode. <laughs> Ugly. Grog mode. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Grog mode. Um, let's see how we're we gonna do this. Mom ass. Grog Mom mode. Ass. Ugly. Grog kill. Kill. That was scary. I don't like when he yells. Alright, I gotta put him in their frame. Ratka mode. Yeah, when you got him in their frame, let me know and. Dude, I love the whisper for Ratku. That sounds yeah, I sick. Think Ratku, I like the whisper right now, but maybe, you know, depending on the character arc that we go through, we might change the voice. You know? Yeah. Maybe if he Rack powers up, mode. it'll get different. So, I, I, guys, Grug and Grog, who, who's going to be displayed in the portrait? Just so I can... 
Figure that Grung out. Grog. <laughs> they, they want grug Eat grog, rat. Grugly. Grug. <laughs> Eat rat. <laughs> grog. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna set Mommy up a mode. toggle to uh just <laughs> display. Mommy mode. Whichever one I want. Grug. Mommy mode. Oh. Why, why did let I... me get. Let me get raccoon Mommy down mode. in this. What the fuck? Why did my daddy mode? <laughs> <laughs> grog and grog chill. Daddy mode. No. Daddy mode. Oh, no. it's because they're in a group. Oh, interesting. All right, so we can't queue up no. the scene changes. They just happen all at once. Okay. Wait, I gotta get your border up. I forgot, Rat guys. Milk. You're not. You're seeing a sci-fi border on my end. Let me Big fix this. Force. <clears throat> grog grog milk. milk. Why did I just hear grog twice? Grog milk. All right. Divorce. Divorce. You guys aren't married. Are you married? Actually, we don't really I know your backstory. I think they had story. a very, Run very grog. brief marriage arc for a second yeah. there. E.W. Well, let me say what, uh, you know. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just forcing the marriage RP. <laughs> cry. Don't, no. Don't cry, Grog and Grog. It, it was a brief, you know, it was a, it was a fling. Cry. A brief marriage no. fling. All right. Uh, when you're ready. Alimony. Custody. <laughs> Alimony custody. Alimony. No, you don't want, they're trying to get custody of baby Germa. Hey, Grug and Grug, back off. That's RRP. Kids. Child support. Grug and Grug. Grug and custody. Grug, chill. Grug and Grug, chill. One sec, let me, I'm adding Grog. I'm making a quick little transition so I can see Grog if, uh, if the time calls for it. I was going to grab his Fuck little you. neck and drag him up if I needed to see Grog, you know? Yeah, I just want to be able to do like a, a quick hotkey press so it's not. Oh yeah, make forever. it switch back and forth. Eat that's, Germa. <laughs> that's cute. I don't know how this party is going to get along, man. This it, this is a rocky start with the. Uh, yeah, the, these guys seem the to just not. They're like, no. We've seen the rise and fall of a of a marriage. We've seen just. Eat Germa. Guys, stop, Greg and Grog, stop trying to eat Raku or whatever. Grog and Grog. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that if you scold him, he just defaults back to his name. <laughs> yeah. Grog Grog. That's, that's his way of apologizing. He, yeah, yeah. He didn't mean it. He knows he's out of line. Grog Grog. Okay, Dead guys. Beat. Deadbeat. <laughs> there we go. We got that Grog and Grog, Grog, Grog. toggle. Poggle. Poggle. All right, you ready? You ready, Kraken? I'm ready. All right, so let's turn on the storyteller. Uh, why is it? Grog and Grog. Oh, God. It got a little out of here. Does it look the same to you? Um, let me, I'm trying to pull mine up here. Let me see. Uh, where's my button for it? Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Um, I think it's because Roggle. your tab's open on the right. Your tab's open. Roggle. Oh, you're right. 100% you're right. Okay, it's fixed. Okay. <clears throat> Roggle. Well, let's begin with this. Grog and Grog and Grog and Ratku have both received a letter by Pigeon Grog. of the encroaching danger posed by the dark wizard Plumbus. They have charted a ship to take them to his last known no location, the port city of Grandy. As the ship pulls into harbor, our adventure begins. And now Grog and Grog. We see what happens. We hit the go button. Go. So the AI comes up with the next line. I think. Oh, wait. Actually. Eat pigeon. Eat pigeon. Don't eat pigeon. One sec. Let me do this. Oh yeah. What was what was Ratku's class? Uh, a bard. Oh, we eat they pigeon. went barbarian. Grug and grog. Grug and grog. Eat pigeon. Wait, why, is every, why did Grug and Grog and Raccoon want to eat the pigeon, guys? Finally, well, they can you guys will probably on. find something. Yeah, these two little... Eat rat. <laughs> Good guys, Grug and Grog. All right, so... Dial it back. We're not eating Raccoon. Hungry. 
Uh, Hungry. Let's see what eat the grog. AI comes up with. Grog and grog. <laughs> they said eat grog. <laughs> the game Yummy. starts with a view outside your room window overlooking the sea. Raccoon, chill. There are chill. three locations in this level. Your bedroom entrance, sailor's cabin, and stateroom. All characters begin here. Am I should which scene should I be on, Franken? Uh just the character creator for now. No. Okay. Um let's see, let's see get cut Rog off. mode. It's going grog mode already. Grog mode. There it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Crack, and I don't really know what grog mode is. I don't think they know either. I think maybe it's their barbarian rage. Is like when mode. grog comes out? Maybe. Okay. He doesn't look too. So rap I, mode. I think we can transition now to Rock scene smash. one, um, which scene is one. Uh, this uh, this cabin. This is where you guys have been bunked up. Grog and time. Grog and grog and rat coo. You guys have been sleeping under here. You know you don't really have the the nicest of uh, of accommodations necessarily on the ship, um, but grog and time. The ship got you to where you needed to get, which is outside oh of the uh, the city of Grandy. And now uh, we get to figure out where you guys want to go next. So, so the way I was imagining doing is we take turns one at a time deciding or like, I guess, should that wait ship. until we get into an actual scenario? Yeah. Okay. So right now they're both just chilling. Yeah, we could. So I... Share bed. Share bed. <laughs> okay, they eat both ship. want to eat the ship, um, is what I'm gathering from both of them saying eat ship. Are you going to let these little freaks eat the no. ship? Well, you know... Share bed. I, e w. I did... I think the whole concept of the show no. is we want to let them make their own decisions. So, um, yeah, if you guys want, you can start eating the ship. Uh, it will probably do some damage to your internal organs um, and may become a eat problem. Ship. Uh, later on eat in the adventure, battery. but if you want to eat some of it, then then go ahead. No. So, uh, yeah, if you eat some of the ship, um, I mean, I just want to remind you, Grog and Grog, you don't have to be so uh, short sighted because we are probably going to enter a town sometime soon. Eat bad. Yeah. The and, next uh, the next question posed was going to be where you guys want to go in town, uh, but if you want to eat the ship first, then uh, by all means. So, uh, Grog Grog. if you'd be a deer, would you? Uh, Mind, uh, dr <laughs> drawing some holes into uh, this image of the ship, and we can update it with the new uh, DFC. Yeah, okay. Torn apart. Uh, That's a good cabin. idea. <laughs> Let me get the uh, image generator up. Eat town. Uh, now, now. DFC. <laughs> All right, you begin to eat some of the ship. Uh, how how much of the ship do you eat, guys? Uh, is it just a little bit for a taste, or do you keep going until you're stopped, basically? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Grog and> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, well, you eat all of the ship, uh, or at least enough of it that it begins to sink. Um, this... <laughs> 20%. Uh, 20%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you eat 20% of the ship. Now, unfortunately, your position in the cabin means that all these holes are going to spring a leak and uh, you find Run yourself falling into uh, the ocean. So, uh, Charberg, if you want to go ahead and enable uh, scene number five. Drink okay. ocean. Uh, splash. Yes. Uh, you guys land in the Drink ocean, ocean. And Drink you ocean. <laughs> Now, uh, you did just eat a whole bunch, guys. So I don't know if you can, if you can eat, uh, you can also drink an entire ocean. That's a lot for your your little bellies, even grug and grog. Drink ocean. I guess, I guess let them belly. give it a shot. Let's see what the AI comes up with when they attempt to drink ocean. Thirsty. Yeah. Do you want to take this image and then Thirsty. put the <laughs> the ocean uh, is drank, or how how do you want to do the updated image? Just. Uh, Drop me a line. Well, let me just try to it. let me try to let's do that. Let's type it in and see what the AI the like the little storyteller comes up with. Okay. Glug. <laughs> Glug. Glug. <laughs> so I mean, so you guys see these these creatures off in the distance, right? They're they look like kind of like whales, but um also kind of majestic and bird like. Glug. Uh, you can't tell if they're if they're small or just really far away. <laughs> Uh, what is it that you do? You know, currently you're holding your breath. Well, at least Ratku's holding their breath. Breath. 
Glug Glug. Glug, Greg, Greg and Glog is drinking the water um, and actively getting sick. Uh, Glug Glog. I'm, I'm going to see if I can. Uh, that's edit. no longer. That's no longer. Glug and Glog. That's Glug and Glog. So please refer to them as Glug and Glog. Oh, this is Glug and Glog now. Okay, I understand. Um, I'm going to update Glug and Glog's uh, picture. Uh, Swale. To reflect the fact that they just drank an ocean. <laughs> um, I think that's only fair. Yeah, okay. Kiss. What are you guys kissing? Kiss well, well, they just kiss things sometimes. Uh, bloated, full of ocean Rat. water, drowned. Uh, bald fish well. man. Um, let's, I yes, heard, whale. I'm going to make the widget a little bit taller, Kraken, or like okay. a little bit bigger. Seduce whale. Now, you attempt to seduce the whale, uh, it doesn't seem they speak Kiss rat. your language, um, and so it's a little difficult to get its attention. It does finally notice you and seems to come over your way, although it, uh, rather than, um, E-W. Oh, God. Uh, sorry, hold on. I just got E-W. an updated image for Grug and Grog, if we want to use it. No. After he uh, has drank all the water in the ocean, um, is this something you <laughs> would like me to <laughs> Let submit? Me uh, Let me see. Oh God. D. It's bad. It's I gotta say it's bad. Slap um, ass. Here, this D. is slap ass. This is what we got. D. Uh, I think he's f- f- like frothing at the mouth a little bit. Um. Ew! Ew! What do you think? Do we uh do we roll? This it? is this is what Kraken just generated. Well, this is what they get. You know, if they're gonna drink the ocean, then I think <laughs> EW. There's you, there, you got now. You shouldn't have drank the damn ocean, Grog and Grog. Yeah. Okay. I'm updating their image. Show. Um, EW. This is. Uh, um, is your AI storyteller? Are you typing stuff, Kraken? Because I'm not really seeing anything. No, EW. I'm, I'm not typing anything okay, okay. right now. Just make it sure. EW. Uh, this is Grug, uh, and then Grog down here is EW. Uh, I think he's going through uh, the first stages of, um, like r- rigor mortis or something. Like EW. <laughs> there's <laughs> gas and fucking like. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Kill. Well, this is what happens, guys. If you're going to drink the ocean, this sort of stuff happens, okay? So, vomit. you know, vomit. Or he's going to vomit the ocean back out. Kill. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't kill Grog and Grog right now. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> but because you drank vomit. the ocean, okay, all right? Uh, here, I'm going to turn off their, their text-to-speech for a second. And we're going to resolve who, 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 this. Is somebody about to make a turn? Uh, yeah, so they drank the ocean. I'm now going to enter this into the, uh, the storyteller. And we're going to see how it reacts to that, okay? So, let's see. Um, oh, wait. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I totally forgot that we have to, we have to use this, the AI storyteller to get to the ocean. So Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, let's do this. Um, Grug and Grog and Ratku begin eating 20%. Of the yeah, we don't even know if we're we don't even know if we're in the ocean until yet. it starts to sink, <laughs> and they fall into the ocean. When they land in the ocean, they encounter big whales in the distance. All right, we'll see what happens. The whale will start chasing after you if you keep going straight ahead. But there is another way to get rid of these angry creatures. The game starts with a view outside your room window overlooking the sea. Okay, now we don't need that line. Uh, there's another way to get rid of these angry creatures. All right, how, uh, guys, do you get rid of these angry creatures? So now I turn the text to speech back on. Swale. Wait, who's, who's making a choice right now? Um, I think both of them can make it. Seduce whale. All right. Seduce. So there's... So they both want to seduce the whale. Seduce whale. <laughs> All right, that's that's what we're gathering. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I'll we'll lock that in. That'll be your 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 choice. Uh, turning off text to speech. Um, Grug and Grog and Ratku attempt to work together to seduce 
the whales before they are eaten. Um, Grug and Grog wanted me to point out that you spelled their name wrong. I'm sorry, Greg and Grog. You try to approach two huge female orc whales who are approaching to attack. Their leader is obviously frustrated that her pack was devoured at sea, and she wants revenge against anything male on board. Anything male on board? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh... uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do, guys? You come up, come up with a decision. <laughs> Mommy. 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 Guys, guys, I think Mommy. you're... Mommy. This is a big killer whale or something. Yeah, right? it's gonna eat you, guys. What? Mommy. What, what's the solution here? Mommy. We mommy. Okay. Oh, you're gonna try to convince the Vora. whale that you're mommy? Convince the, the whale. Okay. Well, Raku <laughs> is technically a mommy. Okay, so Raku's gonna say. Oh, basically, you guys are playing yes. the we're not men, so don't worry about us. Okay? That's what I'm gathering from both people. What are they doing? They're gonna convince the whale that they're not men yes. and shouldn't be eaten. Okay. Okay. All right. Taking off the text. Uh, the adventurers try to convince the whale they are, well, not try to, because they're not. The adventure, I, we don't really know what <laughs> gender Grug and Grug subscribes to. Uh, the adventurers, adventurers convince the whale they are not men aboard the ship and therefore are not deserving of the whale's wrath. Show Germa? Okay. Ratku shows the whale their baby <laughs> rat named Germa to prove they too are a mommy. That's so sweet. I should probably get the picture of the little rat on. The adventurers approach the two giant yeah. females to tell them what happened to their family members in a quest for revenge. One of the whales overhears a voice saying, Germa, and decides it must be one of the little rats. It is, yeah. It's one of the little rats, see? One of the little, it's just one of the little rats. Okay. Yeah, people happy. All right, well. Now what do you, you guys do? These whales seem to... Grog and Grog, chill. I need a Grog and Grog chill button. <laughs> eat Germa. Don't eat no. Germa. <laughs> no. <laughs> grog and Grog. <laughs> grog and Grog. <laughs> All right, your options, guys. Uh, you can either swim with the whale's help. I can say you can swim further down to the bottom of the ocean. Or the whales can take you to shore. I'll, I'll leave that to your guys' decision. Protect. Grog mode. Sure. Sure. Ooh, ooh. All right. They're, they're reaching a decision. Okay. I'm going to say... Sure. The whales agree sure. to take the adventurers sure. to shore. After recognizing them sure. as compassionate parents in <laughs> sure. their own right. They arrive on the beach on the dock of sure. Brandytown. All right. Let's see what it says. Grog and grog. A very kind sailor sees your plight and helps you get sure, ashore sure. without further trouble. It's finally time for some Grubinary. serious investigation. But first, check out your starting location. Your bedroom entrance. Your your bedroom entrance. Okay, I, I don't know what the AI meant by that, but I'm going to replace it with your options. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, um, if you turn off text to speech for one second and turn off the storyteller, now... Uh, enable scene do, 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 10. Scene 10? Scene 10. I'm on it. Oh. Oh. So welcome to Grandy, guys. Uh, you get to decide where to go now. Uh, your options are... No, so, guys. So these these are the... Uh, <laughs> turn the next speech back on. Uh, 
These are the locations of interest that you guys can pick from. Walmart. Oh, no, Walmart. Uh, you can either go to <laughs> the uh, the theater. Walmart. Council Hall, the Normal Bar, the Ganata Normal Bar, or Green Bottle Tavern. A tavern is kind of similar to, to Walmart, Grug and Grog. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can buy things Bar. at a tavern. Bar. Brothel. Now, there were two different bars mentioned, and there was no brothel. Tavern. Grog and Grog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, there's, there's three taverns. There is Normal Bar... Not a normal bar and green bottle tavern. So either say uh, bottle, uh, normal, or not. <laughs> not. All right, not. Bar. 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 <laughs> bar. Not. Good, Greg and God. Good, good, good Greg and good. God. You're doing yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> not. All right. They want to go to the Gnata normal bar. Um. So. Grug and grog. Uh, now, if we, uh, here, let me, what's the right order to do this? Grug and grog. Let's pull back up the storyteller, and I will type in, uh, cannot grug and grog. a normal bar, and then say, the adventurers, uh, the adventurers arrive at not a normal bar and uh, look to get a room for the day. Uh, uh, wait, no, that's not the right way to do it. How about this? <laughs> I'm trying to think what the right order is between changing the scene and having the adventure, like the text of speech, do it. Yeah. How about adventures arrive now? Then okay, the adventures arrive at Gnostic Golden Bar, a bar filled to the brim with short gnomish patrons. The bartender is a gnome. The patrons are all gnomes, and you <laughs> are. Not a gnome. Raku, Raku is killing me, dude. Raku, hey, are Raku, you paying attention? What to what Raku is silently trying to say? They're, I, I have them turned off, and I think they're just trying to. I talk. know they're revolting. No mouth must scream. Why are you guys so <laughs> insistent? Okay, uh, let us transition to scene uh, four now. Okay. And we'll let them explore Ooh. the bar. Grug and Grog, check it out, dude. There's a little there's a little wizard or something. Welcome to Gnatic Normal Bar. Uh maybe ah. you could <laughs> what are they screaming? Ah. Grug and Grog, you have to think about the consequences no. of your actions. Why why is Raku so freaked the hell out? Yeah, remember, guys, remember we're at the Dark Wizard Plumbus and, like, the plot to uh, resurrect the, the dragons? Anyone still remember that? 1984. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it is, it's their story. I guess if they want to, yeah. if they want to attempt to eat one of the gnomes and deal with the consequences. Yeah, so let's submit uh, in the storyteller and let's hear what it has to say about eat. what happens next. There are Just several known. things available here which can help with gathering information about Plumbus. <gasps> the Almanac book gives important dates in history, the map shows local towns and terrain features, the list of ingredients for making potions, the grimoire Ooh. which will teach you. <gasps> teach you what? What is it, what is it chat? Which one Young are sex. you interested in, uh, in pursuing? The Almanac book? The map, grimoire. the list of ingredients, or the grimoire. I like how gnome sex was kind of up to the tide with grimoire. grimoire. It was up there. Okay, they want the grimoire. Grimoire. Okay. <laughs> grimoire. The adventurers approach grimoire. a table of gnomes drinking over the grimoire. Grimoire. Let's see what it says. Nasi. 
Grog learn and Ratku enter room Nasi. where there is a group of gnomes sitting at tables reading an ancient grimoire. The two Nasi. adventurers Rum, approach rar. this group and introduce themselves, claiming to have recently come from faraway lands looking to find a wizard to train them both. Grog smart. Okay, so it looks like the gnomes are were coming here to get trained by a wizard. I wonder what wizard Ratku. that is, guys. What, you know, what? what's the next follow-up? Are you going to... Are you going to ask the gnome for details? Are you going to try to take the grimoire? Can't read. Okay, Grug can't uh, read. So can't Ratku, read. it's kind of down to can't you. Can't read. <laughs> Wait, well, we don't know if Ratku can read. Ratku, Ratku what's can your, you read? This is very important. Status? Can you read? <laughs> Please. Ratku's thinking. Yes. Oh, they can read. <laughs> yes, can read. Eat book. <laughs> There's two minds of Ratku. Okay, so Ratku, this is this is your decision. All right, I'm Eat gonna book. mute. I'm muting Grug and Grug book. because they they can't read, so it doesn't matter what they want. Okay, Ratku, this is all <laughs> on you. What do we do with the book? All right, there's this grimoire, and the gnomes that are, they've come here to study under the wizard. Eat book. You want to eat the book? Read. Now, is it? Are you gonna read, read or eat the book? How are you gonna get the book? Because it's the gnomes' book right now. It's not yours, guys. You can't just take it. Unless you're going to try to steal it. What's the plan steal. here? Steal. Okay. So Raku wants to steal the book. Now, Grug and Grog, are you, you going to help with this at all? Are you going to make a distraction? What is, your, what is your move? You could try it. You know you wanted to eat one of the gnomes. If they're going to steal it, you could. Yep, there we go. Grug and Grog seem to be on the same page as me. Grog right. mode. Oh. Wait, one sec. Grog mode. They're going Grog mode? Okay. I mean, I'll change the picture. Oh, this is this is intimidating. Grog's Grog's the, Grog's closer to the stomach, so uh, yeah, they're gonna have to go Grog, grog mode, mode for this one. Oh my god, they are going Grog mode. Okay, <laughs> in order to get Gore. the grimoire away from the gnomes, E W Gore. Grog and Gore. Grog E-W. decides to go Grog Gore. It, sorry, is Grog spelled with two G's or one Mommy G? Mode. It's Grug and Grog. Yeah, Grug and Grog is one. Yeah, but is Grog mode one? <laughs> is Grug, one? Grug, there's only one, one G per Grug and Grog. Okay. One I, G. I, one, sorry, geez. He has said that aggressive. One Grug G. And Grog, I'm sorry. You guys have to deal with this. Use Germa. Use Germa. Oh, to steal? Okay, how many different... How many different fucking uh, like ways of distractions do you guys need here? All right, Grog and Grog decides grog. to go Grog mode and eat one of the patron gnomes one G. at G. the bar. Yeah, I get oh, one cool. G. <laughs> one G, I get it. One G. Five G. <laughs> grog man. Five G. Ratku sends five G. Her baby rat Germa to steal the grimoire. While the gnomes are busy dealing with Grug and Grog going Grog mode. All right, let's see what happens. Eat Germa. In order to get the grim grog away from the gnomes, Grog and Grog decides to go Grog mode and eat one of the patron gnomes at the bar. No. Raku sends her baby rat Germa to steal the grimoire while the gnomes are busy dealing with. Grog in time. Okay, well, that's literally what I you just can said. Push, you can push it again to do more. No, no, no. Oh. You send. It'll generate another thing. Grog and Grog going Grog mode. The patrons all take notice as Grog and Grog devours the gnome on the spot. But before they can <laughs> react, he gulps down another drink. Grog. Oh my god. You're still thirsty after drinking the ocean, man? What the fuck? Okay, the, then Grog. what happens? Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting bad. Blood. It's time for a break. But when you take a breath a moment later, a little voice calls out, Germa, causing you to freeze up in terror. The bartender approaches and reassures you that she saw no sign of a rat child here earlier. No sign of a rat child? Does that mean Germa snuck away with the grimoire unnoticed? I don't know. Uh uh, Find Germa. We can do one more, like D. Yeah, let's let's see what happens. I guess we'll try one more. Find Germa. Uh, Eat it's Germa. Your precious book has been stolen by your evil rat minion, oh. and now you must Eat chase Germa. after him. 
the adventurers set off toward the sewers where they believe their stolen book will be wait. found. <laughs> okay, so wait, the little rat took the so, little yeah, rat germa. Took little the rat germa. No. Here, I'm gonna edit this so it says the right thing. By your evil germa, evil germa, <laughs> little evil rat baby germa. God, maybe you're onto something, Grog and Grog. They should have killed germa. that thing Eat forever germa. ago. They should have eaten <laughs> that thing. All Eat right, germa. Well, you uh, you've obtained the grimoire, which has knowledge. Apparently, it didn't. It never specified what the knowledge was. Evil it will germa. teach you, and then it didn't finish the thought. So. You know, it teaches you something, and only Ratku can read it. But we do have a magical item now, which might help help us in the uh, in the coming fight. Bad son. <laughs> he is he's a little Rock bit of a bad smart. son. Now, chat, where do we go next? So we, we caught up with Germa. Uh, Germa S-U-S. Do we explore the sewer? Uh, I would have to generate that world, that scene. because uh, I, I, I'm generating something right now. Let's okay, see sweet. if I can get it. So we can either keep going into the, the sewer, or we can visit one of the other locations in town. Um... Or uh, we can, I don't know, maybe read the grimoire German and sus. see what happens. S-U-S. Sewer. I generated one if you want to do sewer. Sweet, yeah. I'd like, we can do one on the fly. All right. We going into the sewer. We're following German into the sewer. Uh, I'm going to write this while you send that to me. Uh, sewer. The adventurers. Spank Germa. Follow little baby germa into the sewer and drink sewer. spank him ratku come on reclaim. you don't have to use violence reclaim the stolen grimoire but now they're in a stinky sewer drink sewer don't <laughs> drink sewer what a thirsty little he's a grog. thirsty lad okay grug and grog mommy mode they don't have to drink all the sewer. Just let him have a sip and just let him taste and is, see that they don't okay. like it. He's Thirsty. curious and uh, decides Grug mode. to taste Mommy mode. the sewer. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want to send me the sewer image. Oh, you did? Okay. One G. Awesome. All right. So, uh, Chad, if this wasn't immediately obvious, um, we are generating Eight. and customizing all of these scenes on the fly, Five depending G. on what you guys decide. So that is how we're using the AI uh, art generator. So just give us a second. 1G. 1G. Grog and Grog, how do you know how many Gs are in your name if you can't even read? Ooh, we got G. you there. Right. So Run I'm in grog. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one. It's like when you catch him in a lie. Grog grog. grog <laughs> Minus one. Oh. Grog grog. Shut smart. up. Dude, Shut I like up. I like <laughs> I like grog smart being the fucking like yeah. cop out. <laughs> he's, he's the smart one. Well, grog smart. <laughs> oh you well. Okay, so the adventurers follow a little baby German into the sewer and reclaim the stolen Grimart, but now they're in a stinky sewer. Greg and Grog is curious and decides to taste the sewer. No, you. The adventurers find themselves chased through a filthy, dark sewage tunnel by Grog, a large no. black rat who steals the almanac book back from them. With oh. only one option left to get it back, our heroes decide to face the challenge of eating one more gnomish huh? patron in order to turn what? him to... Why? <laughs> no, you. Why are we eating another gnome? Wait, they're going back to the bar to eat another gnome? Grog and Grog, why'd uh, you go back for another gnome? Yum. <laughs> <laughs> eat gnome. <laughs> All right, let's, All right, let's go back to let's, the bar. Let's keep going reckon. and see what happens, I guess. They go back to the bar. Not a gnomish knot, so they can navigate this maze of tunnels faster than the black rat. Oh. They soon the discover the there are several side passages which branch off of this main corridor. One leads northward, while another takes a right and opens up into an area with plenty of bones. Plenty of bones? <gasps> Uh-oh. I can already sort of foresee what's going to be happening in this, uh... Yeah, something scary. Bones. Something else is down here, guys. Grog and grog. Eat bones. Bones. <laughs> um, grog and grog, you can't eat everything you see. Sooner zone. or later, you're going to get a tummy ache. All right, 
Now, <clears throat> what is it? What, bones do you guys want to keep pursuing this rat in the sewers? Eat bones. What what is the what is the plan here? You're gonna take okay. Let Grog and Grog have a taste of the bones. No, All right. small taste. Grog and Grog, you can taste the bones. Okay, I'll we'll do this. Grog and Grog, taste some of the bones left behind. Save Germa. Calcium. <laughs> Grog and Grog, taste some of the bones left behind. Tell me the two strong. gnomes reach the end of the long hallway and come upon a large hole leading downward underground. Some gnomes? And it is possible to descend down through this opening if you have enough energy. Okay, I think that's... I think I got confused. Um, yeah, where are the gnomes located? I, I, they 5G. Just, <laughs> it just wants to eat more fucking gnomes. Um, okay, let's just go back to... Grog and Grog ate some of the bones. Um, 1G. So, 1G. Yeah, one. Sorry, I I did say. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. You're right. I did type. I'm sorry, one. Grog and Grog. This, I, yeah, uh, this is my bad, guys. Five uh, G. <laughs> one G. I, yeah, I got it. One, one G. G. <laughs> one G. Uh, I'll have to use a story mode. You're right. You're right. Okay. Um. So you guys discover these bones. Are you going to go save further Germa. to the sewer? Okay, to save Germa. All right. The two Rock adventurers man. save, uh, chase after the little black rat in order to save baby Germa and Eat reclaim Germa. the grimoire. They want they each one wants that rat for different reasons. I I hope and pray Grug and Grog don't get a hold of this rat. Yeah, please don't let Grug it at no. first. But as they run, they discover that they have lost their way. When they arrive at a fork in the path, one leading north and one turning east, the gnomes have already Kiss eaten enough to become a bit more normal. Huh? Okay. Uh, well, let's ignore the last part. Do you guys want to go north or east? This is an important decision. This is an actual, like, pivot here. Do you want north or east? I have, I have resolutions for both. East. No. Ooh, how did they both? How did they everyone want east? east? All right. What the hell? The adventurers know to take the east tunnel and follow it east. out of the sewer and into yes, wife. the back alleys of another <laughs> tavern. Wait, real quick. What's the marital status of Grug and Grog and Ratku? Are you guys on good Not terms wife. again? Not okay. wife. No, Rack is insistent they're not wife. <laughs> Grog and Grog wife. hit him with a yes wife. Yes wife. <laughs> Rat wife. Married. <laughs> no, it's just can't be a, a one way thing, Grog yes, and Grog. Yes wife. <laughs> yes wife. Grog and Grog, maybe no. you'll meet another cute, uh, like, fairy, wife. Hey, the adventure's furry, not hairless, over yet, guys. Humanoid. Yeah, you might, you might meet someone cute in the you next room. You might meet room. someone out there. Uh, okay, so they enter the back alleys of another tavern. Restraining order. The Green Bottle no. Tavern. Uh oh. Wait, which one Red is this? Wife. Is... Wait. And just like last time, Ratku discovers that Love the old who owns it has found her baby's remains and <gasps> has brought it inside. Baby's remains? In what? Rage, she kills him, but now she must go back and fetch him so she can finish his job properly and put him on ice. D. Germa's dead? D. They didn't. Oh my god, that's so sad. Oh no, in Raku's a in a really bad mood. What will happen next? Beat German. <laughs> now, Grug guys, and Grug, no. <laughs> are you gonna let Grug and Grug eat Germa? Finally, you do have I a mean, grimoire. Your little rat is dead. You do have a grimoire. This is, you know, there might be another option Bummy here. mode. Kill Grog. <laughs> kill Grog. Kill Grog are two <laughs> options. <laughs> Guys, well, we, let's stop the fighting amongst Rock the party. Mode. You guys got to figure out what to do here. Okay, I, I like the necromancy. Ratku like attempts to use the new grimoire to resurrect their baby Germa from the dead before Grug and Grog, Grug and Grog can eat his corpse. All right, let's see what happens. Grug and Grog. 
Grodengrog refuses to wait and eats German dead. By a painful death for little German, <laughs> leaving behind a whole pile of bones. He does not die completely, though, what? because the adventurers no. carry his body outside into the alleyway where the wind blows away the... What? Blows away the what? No. <laughs> oh, Megalo. Stench of death. Meanwhile, Ratku gets Yummy. ready to leave this world with the Kill. old drunk what? who tried to eat the rat Kill child. Grok. But first, he must tell her how he discovered the child was alive in the first place. I say we retcon that last bit. Yeah. What the? But which I, part? <laughs> just, just the most recent one. Cause Kill Grok. I, I feel like that's a good place for them to interject and Kill. and have like a little. Uh, <laughs> well, have a have a little dialogue between the two. Also, <laughs> yeah. Well, GG, wait, let's easy. <laughs> so easy. wait, it said that it said he bit into them, and Germa, the little rat, died. Was the little dude still kind Rick of alive? Bozo. He was a little Kill. bit alive, and then uh, uh, Rat who tried to use the grimoire to to bring him back to life, but then Grug and Grog revenge ate him because they didn't want to wait. For the, the <laughs> for the grimoire to kick in, he was bored. Um, War. Now that was Grug and Grog. Easy, listen, easy. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but Elk that was a bit ratio. of a dick move, dude. Yeah, now you got one G in your name. You're welcome. War. Yeah, I I don't know what to do. I mean, I I don't think we expected this. They're kind of at direct odds with each other now. Uh, L plus ratio. Yeah, they became enemies. So I thought they were gonna go on this journey and be friends together, Fuck but you. Grug and Grog just. Are dead set on. But yeah. see, Grog and Grog, this is like you've ruined your potential at marriage Grog and Grog. here. Grog and Grog. You, you, you had. <laughs> if baby. you would have made friends with Radku. Oh, so. No, you're not going to make another make another baby. No. Make that's, baby. that's out of the cards. We're not doing. I'm not <laughs> doing a love making scene. Make baby. Uh, okay. Oh, so, so I, Trevor, honestly, we did not. We did not anticipate something of this level happening that would yeah. drive such a rift between them. Uh, well, okay, wait, here. We have a couple Let's options ask here. Let's Rat too. No, we're not making... Listen, right, we're I'm, moving I'm past it. Grug you Grug killed Grug. the baby. Grug, Grug, you're getting gagged. Goodbye. Ratku? Ratku, you have the floor. What would, what would make this okay for you? Yeah, to, what, what compensation what, do you want? What would make this better? Kill. We're not killing Grog and Grog. Grog and Grog's a main character. <laughs> kill Grog. Maybe we can find you guys a nice, he, like, he stuffed kill. animal or it's something. It's like Skyrim, dude. He goes unconscious, all right? And then he gets back up and goes, Grog and Grog, and eats something else, all right? <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to, they're trying to <laughs> wreck on. <laughs> kill Grog. Thank you. That, Grog and Grog, that is very mature of that's you. Very, that's very kind of you, Grog and Grog. You, would you really vomit, vomit Germa, Germa for us? Oh, thank you. know, what do we think, Raku? Can we accept that? Can you vomit Germa back up? Grog. Grog. And then you can try to no. revive it. <gasps> Come on. They won't accept the apology? No. He said sorry. Or they said sorry. Yes. Let's at least let Grog sorry. and Grog vomit up the, the rat coo. I mean, the little okay, Germa. Yeah, we'll, we'll and start see, with that. How, see how rat coo feels about it. Grog and Grog. Feeling Necromancy. guilty. About eating Ratku's child. JK. Vomits, baby. Uh, that's a, a little bit of a mean joke. Back Grog up. and Grog. Uh, you so don't eat people as a joke. Ratku you guys have to learn the way of the humans if you're going to be here. Her son. Okay. Let's see what happens. Kill. As they share tears over the loss Take of the Germa, Grog and Grog notices some black rats sniffing around nearby. Prank. A moment later, a swarm of giant black rats descends upon them and attacks them both viciously, killing their character and making them lose all their <laughs> Oh my god, no! <laughs> Who died? Wait. It says killing their character and make them lose all Dude. their equipment as well. I think Grug and Grog, because it says Grug and Grog. I'll make a lot of karma. A moment later, giant... <laughs> karma. Yeah, Grug With and Grog Bozo. notices some black rats sniffing around nearby. A moment later, a swarm of giant black rats descend upon them and attacks them both viciously. <laughs> Killing their character. Is it both of them or just Grug and Grog? I think it's Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog enter, enter silence Respawn. mode while we figure this out. <laughs> okay. You guys, yeah, we have to resolve dot, dot, this dot. now, guys. All right, you did just die, okay? L plus ratio. Do we, do we, all right, how about this? We use the image generator. We take the last image of him and then make him a ghost and see what, what happens. 
Okay, let's but let's try to revive him with the necromancy book, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. What, what do you think? Get him let's talk to Raku because then... Raku can read, and they're the only ones. Skill that can issue. Do it. Raku, will you no. will you resurrect Grug Grug? No. <laughs> Come on, please. Raku, please. No. They can't play otherwise. No. Ghost and Grug. <laughs> <laughs> Revive Jerma. <laughs> okay. I hear. All right. How about if if you don't revive them, then they are going to come back as a Save vengeful Jerma. ghost somewhere else, and and you're going to have to deal with the consequences. Okay. Yeah, they might haunt your ass. All right. Revive I have Jerma. I have the image for you. Uh, All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're okay. like okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is terrifying. It's dude. really good. It just gets worse. Um. Rug and rug. <laughs> All right, here's here's how we're gonna resolve this. Uh, what is this? Okay. Um, <laughs> first, uh, let me type this out. After Rug and Grog so dies and respawns as a ghost. Outside, <laughs> only Grog. Only Grog. <laughs> you just wants to resurrect one of them. The other one's well, you... a fucking like corpse on him. Zero oh G. god, that's horrible. Dude, Grog looks so fucked up in this new form. This Wait. is so gross. Let me uh, let me add it now. Okay. Zero G. All right, this is the new uh, Grog and Grog. Oh, God, Grog is horrible. There's Grog, and then there's Grog. Uh... E.W. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grog and Grog dies, and... E.W. Grog responds as a ghost in the sewer kill again next to Raku <laughs> and is sad about his new situation with a dead grog on his head grog and grog you gotta enter you gotta enter Burn. ghost and grog mode ghost and grog say shit a ghost would say yeah Boo. The two adventurers Boo. begin fighting off these evil black rats, but are Boo. eventually overwhelmed and what? eaten by the creatures. Again. The game ends here. What? No, it doesn't end here. I had a whole you bunch more planned. What are you talking about? Now that you've seen how easy it can be to become a powerful wizard, it's time to start preparing for bigger. Oh, Megalo. What the hell? Oh, come on, AI. I had, I had like 20 what more scenes story. prepared. What a good story. The game clap. ends here. <laughs> she was GG. so happy about it. You guys got wiped by rats in a sewer. What the hell do you mean, GG? You guys Clown. fucking lost. You lost so bad. GG. Rip bozo. <laughs> we could do a light reset Easy. back to the tavern before they the before the rats came yeah, back. Yeah, want, I guess we could do like a save options. state thing. Like we could. That's kind Easy, of an interesting PZ. idea. Like just like reload a save. Like yeah. this ended in a in a wipe, but that doesn't matter. We can just load the checkpoint. Okay, does that mean we're we're turning off ghost mode for Grog no. and Grog? <laughs> I or, guess so. Uh, you guys want to stay a ghost, you know? Yeah, you guys, could, you guys can stay a ghost. I'm not opposed to that. New game plus. New game plus. <laughs> okay. No. So, we go to... Ghost and Grog. <laughs> you guys, wait, you guys want to stay ghost and Grog? Ghost and Grog. All right. Grog and Grog. So you guys tell. save Scum uh, back no. to the tavern. So that's uh, which scene was the tavern? Tavern was. <laughs> I think it was four. like. Grog and Grog. All right, so you're back in the tavern. Uh, we'll say this is uh, <laughs> right before you stole the grimoire. Okay. So yeah, Germ is still alive. Germ is still okay, alive. See, He's not betrayed. And which you. also He's means. German. You guys, you guys are on good terms again. You guys aren't enemies anymore. Yeah, you guys are you're back on good terms. This is things are you back how they should too. be. Um, and no, now, hug Germa. Hug Germa. Okay. Yeah, you know, Eat Germa. 
<laughs> no, and grog. grog and grog. Grog and grog. Come on now. Behave. Why don't you eat the table or something? Kiss wife. Kiss wife. Kill Grog. Now, guys, don't fail to be here, okay? You do have... Not wife. Not wife. Not wife. You are... Grog and Grog, why don't you guys marry each other? Eat table. You're not a ghost anymore. You're back to your bloated fucking drink the sea self. E.W. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was a suggestion. I don't. So E W. We're we're back at the the bar. Insist. Do you guys want the grimoire? Do you leave the gnome Insist. bar? It's only seemed to cause bad I'm things. I'm sorry. I, I should have suggested that. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm turning their their TTS off. Okay. We're gonna leave the bar and we're gonna go to the. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's go to ten. All right. Back to the world. To ten. Yeah. Okay, chat. Your options are you can go to the Gnome Tavern again. Wait, you know what? No, you can't go back to the Gnome Tavern. Gnome Tavern's gone. Yeah, well, let's ah. wipe the Gnome Tavern no, off. No the, more Gnome Tavern. Uh, record here. You can go to the Green Bottle Tavern. It's a different tavern. Walmart. A normal bar. Council Hall. Just asking for Grug and Grog. What's the closest thing to a Walmart? Uh, closest thing to Walmart, probably Walmart Green Bottle Tavern. Grug and Grog, you want to check out Green Bottle Tavern? Bravo. I hear it's really close, similar to a Walmart. KFC. Yes. Yes. Okay. Green. <laughs> Green. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they go to the Green Bottle Tavern. That is number three. Scene number three. Booters. All right, Wait. welcome to the Green Bottle Tavern. This is a this is a goblin tavern, actually. It's filled it's filled with goblins. And it's Grog and lot, Grog don't get any ideas. It's a lot rowdier than uh, than the gnome tavern was. E W, E Goblin. <laughs> All right, turning e on the goblin. story. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. The adventurers. Goblin mode. Leave. <laughs> The gnome tavern and head to the goblin tavern across the way. The tavern Kiss is goblin. filled with raucous goblin these nuts. Goblins. Goblin wife. Uh laughing and cheering and yelling at each other. Uh Grug and Grog. And Ratku well. stand at the doorway. Goblin D's nuts. All right, let's see what happens. Goblin wife. When they step into the hall, they encounter a drunk who starts talking too loud to be heard. They sneak past him <clears> to the door and then hear a clattering of pots and pans as the cook walks by. Oh, this place seems like a mess. What are you guys going to do in here? Are you going to follow the drunk? New I wife. think Grog and Grog want to try to maybe seduce a goblin. Goblin wife. Oh shit! Okay. You want to? You guys want to flirt with a goblin? Orgy. Okay, Raku down. Okay, All Raku, right. chill. This is Grog and Grog's time. All right, Grog and Grog is taking an action, so we're gonna yes. turn off Raku. Uh, TTS. What's your pickup line, Grog and Grog? Yeah. Say, say you yes. show up, you see a pretty little goblin sitting there. What do you say? Grog and Grog. Okay. <laughs> they, so they approach. Goblin D's nuts. Grog Grog approach Grog Grog. a uh, a <laughs> goblin woman sitting alone at a table nearby, and says, "Grog and Grog, Grog and Grog," <laughs> with intent to seduce. Let's see what happens. The goblin stands up, smiling, and approaches them. She smells delicious. Oh. The adventurers discuss what it would be like for Grog and Grog to taste her cooking first. Okay, the I thought, oh agrees. my god. Oh. Okay, I thought they were going to eat the goblin. goblin right off the bat. Eat goblin. 
<laughs> oh no! Guys, no! She's offering you guys. Grog and Grog, she's she's gonna cook you for you, man. Eat she's, goblin. She's gonna cook for you. Come on. Grog, Grog and Grog, please don't eat the goblin. This could be your chance at a new goblin eat wife. Goblin. Okay. Guys, she wants to make you something to eat. Let's just try the food, and if that doesn't satiate you, then you can eat her, okay? What's the plan, Grog and Grog? Your call. Eat food. Okay, they're gonna eat the food. Okay. Grug in Grug. Eat goblin food. <laughs> agrees to try the goblin's food. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but realizes. Go but, but decides that if it isn't good enough, they will eat the goblin instead. All right, let's see what happens. If you Eat agree, Gobacy. the game will continue. In order to get the Grimoire away from what? the gnomes, Grog and Grog decides to go Grog mode and eat one of the plates. <laughs> no, the wait, bar. don't go back to the gnome bar. Bad. All right, retry. <laughs> Grog and Grog went back to the yeah. gnome bar. Grog and Grog looks down and sees a big bowl full of mashed potatoes. <gasps> Ooh. Raku takes a bite out of one of the potato Rog chunks mode. and discovers a magical effect of the magic of the mashed potatoes. A magical effect of the magic of the mashed Ooh. potatoes? What'd you find in there, Raku? What'd you find in the, in the mashed potatoes? Yum. It, it just did it taste good? But what, what magic did it give you? What powers? Yum. Yum. <laughs> Raku. Try again, Raku. Bad. I spray you with water bottle. Thief. <laughs> Thief. <laughs> Work. We have both spellings of thief, dude. We spellings. have one misspelled version of thief. thief. Which one was Grug and which one was Grog? <laughs> both the heads are like eh. thief. <laughs> thief. <laughs> okay, uh, Ratku gains smart. the magic powers of warp from these magic potatoes. Grog smart. All right, warp stone. Let's see what it does. Grog smart. What the hell? Yeah, Grog, you're All very smart. All characters start off in this location with five health points HP. Characters can increase their health points in combat or when uh, resting. Okay, retry. Shop. <laughs> yes, yes. No, what? What is it? Strength eight, bonus strength, constitution. Stop. <laughs> it keeps defaulting to like. Oh, oh. Wait. There are several things available here which can help with gathering same information thing. about Plumbus. The almanac book gives important dates in history. The map shows local towns okay, entering. Okay, okay, all right. Let's go back. You gain magic powers of warp from these potatoes, allowing these Delay powers I. allow Ratku to Giga teleport <laughs> with unstable Delay energy I. around a... 50 feet radius. Grug and Grog watches Ratku eat his, their food with uh, shock. Because he really, he really just did steal it. It's true. Foot. In his eyes until he eats some himself. Then... Both start to laugh about how amazing this is. As they eat more, the effects on both characters are felt. Both feel oh, incredibly strong and energized. <laughs> <laughs> they, both Dude, get, I... they both get powers. Grug and Grug, how's it taste? Finally getting to eat something you're allowed to eat. Oh wait, little Germa uh -huh. wants some. Oh, yeah, rat Yum. Needs Feed Germa. some of the magic Yum. mashed potatoes to baby Germa as well. Hoping he gains the power of warp too. Eat Germa. <laughs> Germa enjoys the tasty food. The adventurers decide it's time to <gasps> find Plumbus. Yes. The goblin girl gets mad when she realizes what Grob and Grog was really Kiss doing. Kiss wiry goblin. Grob and Grog, what were you really doing? <laughs> I think I think they She's had an ulterior motive, motive to like try to flirt and marry Goblin her. Goblin wife. Maybe okay, Greg and Greg. We will let you back. propose to the Goblin before we head out. 
Mary Goblin. However, okay. you will not eat. We you will not eat, try to eat any other people. <laughs> Can we to agree to that? With him. <laughs> if you propose, if you propose to this goblin, we will not eat anyone else for a while, for a little no. bit, uh, just a little bit, like maybe ten minutes. Steel Goblin. Grug and Grog apologizes. No. Wait, oh, Grug and Grog, realizing the mistake they made, decides. The only solution Steel wife. is to propose to the goblin girl. Cuck. Grug and Grog <laughs> gets, <Cuck. laughs> gets down rat. on one misshapen Deal. knee and asks the goblin this is it, Grug and Grog? to be their wife. All right, let's see what happens. Misshapen, misshapen. All right. Let's go! Come on! When asked why, he explains that because they have discovered that the goblin has the magical properties of warps. Polyamory. But she says no and oh. leaves. D. Oh. The adventurers decide it's best to keep going toward the oh, dark wizard Columbus. Oh, buddy, Crap. that's oh rough. God. That is rough. She just says no. D. Grug, Grug and Grog, I will say Rick that Bozo. the decision to propose Eat after <laughs> Grug and Grog, <laughs> Omega you, you, I just want to, I just want to let you learn from your actions here. You can't propose to somebody the day you meet them. That doesn't, yeah, much yeah. less Eat the goblin. sentence you meet them. Yeah, they, she made you food and you proposed Bozo. right on the spot, Eat Goblin, which is like kind of cool in like a you know impact way, but not really realistic, you know, even for a goblin. Uh, <laughs> eat goblin. You really want to eat that goblin, huh? I, I don't think that's let, a healthy let, way let of dealing with rejection. The goblin. You, let okay, propose. fine. fine. <laughs> Rack, who wants to propose? Steal wife. <laughs> wait, wait, let's try that first. Okay. Rock mode. Before the goblin girl leaves, Ratku grabs her hand and asks if she would instead consider marrying them. Rug and Grog watches. Grog <laughs> said. She thinks about it for a moment and, and accepts the proposal with a kiss. Oh. oh. And tells them we, they can meet up with Fuck. her later tonight. The two gnomes no. continue off in the distance after making plans with the goblin woman. Oh, Megalo. The two Unbelievable. Fuck. Grog Thief. and Grog. Thief. <laughs> <laughs> they Kill. stole my potatoes. They stole my wife. Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Grog and Grog, I'm really sorry, dude. That's yeah, rough, buddy. That's, Easy. That's Eat really rough. If you guys want, I can sort of coach you on how to talk to people and how to have these exchanges. Kill rare. Guys, no. See, you're gonna make things worth, Easy worse if PC. you try this. No. I'm sorry, Eat guys. <laughs> oh, can I <laughs> again? <laughs> Okay, we're going to fast forward to later tonight uh, at the wedding. Kill okay? Wait, you're going to do the wedding? Right, let me generate a wedding image. Uh, here, uh, you can use one of my existing scenes. Uh, okay. Use sex wife. Scene number 12. Scene number 12? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. The adventurer. Crash wedding. <laughs> Cute. Rat coo crash, crash wedding. The goblin. Mommy uh, mode. Girl. Uh, plan to have their wedding at the uh, at the magical mushroom crash forest wedding. Just outside <laughs> of town. Because Rat coo doesn't and know Grog. many other people in town, she Mary decides. Germa. To invite Grog and Grog, even though he's still pretty no. sore about losing no. their Mary Germa. goblin girl. Grog and Grog, you're not marrying Germa. Prongo. Raku, are you really going to ban the, the, the no. other player in this experience from going to your wedding? That's like a next They'll level. They'll watch control. from afar. They'll watch from afar, Ratku. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Right. 
Mary Germa. I'm yes. sorry, Greg and Grog. You're going to have to wait outside. Crash apparently. wedding. Even though Ratku <laughs> went on this journey with Grog and Grog, Fuck. she decided not to invite them to her wedding. Eat ring. <laughs> <laughs> and so he is forced Grog. to watch the proceedings Eat ring. from 100 feet away outside the location. The fucking grog. Mushroom forest. <laughs> Only grog. Only grog? You invite grog but not grug? Okay. I have the prompts. Uh, you have the sniper. Wedding thing almost ready. Yeah, one second. Fuck you. <laughs> You can go ahead and go forward with it, and I'll Grog do this sniper. And I'll have this ready for you in a sec. Okay, I'm gonna. How about this? What if I? I'm gonna switch to the <clears throat> the scene before the wedding is added, and then we can <laughs> add the wedding afterwards. Let's see. Okay. So that's number twelve. Ta da! Oh, oh. I said, ta da! Welcome to the forest venue. No, you. Let's see what happens. When the night comes, Ratku goes back to the tavern while Grog and Grog remains by the entrance, watching the whole thing from afar. At the edge of the village, near the magic mushrooms, the goblins begin building an archway for the ceremony. Aw, oh, all the goblins oh. are helping. It's a whole it's a whole event. All the family. Although it, I don't think Ratku Ratku, do you have anyone attending the wedding from your side, aside from Germa? Your, your child? <laughs> That's so sad. They don't have anyone coming to the wedding. Eat goblins. Hmm. I don't know if mine is working right now. They got quiet. Let me see. I'm gonna refresh it. One sec, I'm trying to generate this wedding. Sorry, it's taking a second. I think the widget may have gotten funky with mine. Refreshing Try it. it refreshing it like yeah. yeah. Start fire. Goku. There they are. You're back. Arson. You wanna invite Goku? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Call Saul. Uh, I don't think Saul well has a Goku number in this universe. Bad Ratku! Ratku, stay in the cannon. Fail RP, Ratku. Ratku, any more fail RP, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm erasing your wedding. I'm throwing Germa at the wall and yeah. splattering. We're gonna let Grog and Grog into the wedding if you, if you keep this up, okay? <laughs> Match. Wait, Plumbus? <laughs> you want to invite the dark wizard Plumbus to your wedding? Are you just trying to skip to the end by, by <laughs> inviting the wizard in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay yeah i you know i hadn't considered yes. this uh but sure um you know maybe this this was your plan all along okay we have warp powers that's true you think that's enough to defeat the wizard i mean D D grog and grog that might be on. a good idea what, what are they saying i can't i can't hear what they're saying now oh they, they want to uh, well, we'll tell you later we'll tell you later okay i'm gonna refresh then Germa sniper. <laughs> he, I, guys, Germa's a baby rat. I don't know if he's going to be able to, to take out Plumbus. Mary Plumbus. <laughs> Mary Plumbus. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can't generate a wedding. I've been trying. It's baby just sniper. not working. Okay, that's fine. Rat coup. Uh, we'll use the, the theater of the mind. Rat coup. Grog sniper. Doesn't have many <laughs> locals to invite to their wedding. Plumbusy. So they try oh. a Hail Mary. Mary? And invite the dark wizard Plumbusy. Plumbus in case he decides to show up. 
All right, we'll see what happens. Baby driver. As the last preparations are made, the bride enters through the portal, holding the a bouquet portal? of blowing flowers. As the vows are spoken, Plumbus appears behind the groom. <gasps> the goblin girl is startled when she sees Plumbus. Plumbus! Actually, there's no groom. They're both brides. Change that. Momkinus. Mary Plumbus. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Rogan, 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 what you're happened not even to the here. plan? How are, what happened to the plan? What are you gonna do? We were gonna eat Plumbus when he got here, but they fucking changed it last minute. Well, Mary so Plumbus. Where is Grug and Grog right now? We were just kind of chilling outside. I thought. Yeah, they're they're a bit outside the venue. But can Grug and Grog see Plumbus from all the way over here? Well, it's a mushroom forest. I was kind of expecting them to kind of be peeking over. Seduce Plumbus. Plumbus. Wait, that, that is true. They said Germa was a sniper earlier. Okay. Well, we'll try two different things. Uh, warp. Grug and Grog. Oh, yeah, you, you do have warp. True. Good or good memory, Grug and Grog. All right. Grug and Grog uses their power of warp. Take the shot. To <laughs> jump. Okay, this is going to be nuts. Grug and Grog uses the power of warp to jump. Take the shot. To <laughs> jump to the altar. Grog smart. In an Take attempt. The shot. To eat Plumbus. Are they eating or trying to marry Plumbus? What, which one's Wait, Plum okay, Grug and Grog, what did you guys decide? Marry or eat? Yeah, you gotta Plumbus, make Plumbus, the evil wizard of this universe? Marry. Okay, great. <laughs> An attempt to Mary. propose to eat. the dark wizard Plumbus. Save wife. At the same Mary. time, the baby Both. rat Germa takes Take the shot. a long range shot with their crossbow at the dark wizard Plumbus in an attempt to snipe him now that he's out in the open. All right, let's see Dude, what happens. This is all happening at the altar. It could go many different ways. Let's see. 50 calories. <laughs> Guys, I don't think he has a 50 calorie calories. rifle, okay? I don't think we can use that. It's, it's, my, my vision, it's a fantasy world, okay? He doesn't have 50 calories. 50 <laughs> calories? That the AI said 50 calories. <laughs> yeah, it's a tiny, it's a tiny crossbow. It only it's only 50 calories if you ate it. Alright, let's see what happens. Derma's first arrow misses. Grog and Grog's proposal ends short and fails, but causes chaos among the wedding guests. Plumbus laughs and runs off before the adventurers can catch him. No! Him. You guys <laughs> fucked it! No one wants Grog and Grog. When are you gonna get that through that dumb, that dumb double skull of yours? <laughs> D. And oh. Oh my god, dude. You, you had your Grunt. shot and, and was you missed the shot. Grog and Grog runs away. This is a disaster. What are you gonna do? Are you Mary gonna follow wife. him? Or you finish the the Yeah, the, they could just the finish the wedding. I mean you could finish the wedding, but then you'll Mary lose wife. you'll eat lose goblin. <laughs> You're gonna Crunch. eat the wife? I, I mean <laughs> the dude, Grug and Grog are in a sorry state. This is like this hurts to see. <laughs> what yeah. a sad little creature, man. Okay. Uh here, let's just let the AI decide. Let them let them like have the wedding start to like continue. As uh, you want to just Grog and Grog try continue, to continue, or, or should oh, yeah, I guess let's continue? Maybe I All don't right, know. Let's see, it's hard to determine. <gasps> the adventurers decide they should follow Take the evil the wizard and investigate where he may be heading next. Brandy Port, the adventurers no. arrive at Grandy Port. It has been one zero 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 years since the Age of Dragons and the realm has finally settled into a calm Mary since wife. the last dragon died. Ill. Ill. <laughs> Ill. <laughs> Undo. Undo. Okay, all right, all right. How about, uh, how about this? The adventurers... Uh, Rat Mary wife wants to stay and finish... The oh. wedding. <laughs> w. Instead of Eat chase goblin. after the dark wizard Plumbus. And maybe Grug just as an afterthought, Grug and Grug really want to eat the really goblin. Really wants but... to eat the goblin. 
bride. All right, we'll see what happens. But we put in both of your wishes. We'll see what the AI decides. The goblin. His wife. Oh. So they Mary decide Dragon. to leave right away. As they are walking back down the path, they run into the dragon mother herself. She is uh, still alive. Retry. <laughs> and as the adventurers go to go look for Mary the dark Dragon. wizard Plumbus, they realize they have a problem. Nope, retry. What did you put that do say or story? A uh, story. So they both agree it would be best for the two to split up for the night. Oh. The goblin girl disappears into <gasps> the magic mushroom forest. No! The next day, Gradengro gets up early to go look for the dark wizard Plumbus. <laughs> oh. Play <laughs> Oh. Dude, I'm cracking up at the, the rivalry that is formed between Greg and Grog and Gratku. Yeah, this is this is so much more hostile than I expected. <laughs> uh okay, so No bitches. <laughs> like yeah, oh, what you were one to talk, Grug and Grog. Yeah, Find Grug Grog, you've been rejected G G E Z constantly, okay? At least Raku found a wife. Find wife. Okay. Keep him bear in I'll mind, Grug and Grug, you wanted to marry this goblin first. <laughs> you guys are just petty. Rat goat goes looking for Cook. their runaway goblin wife while Grug and Grog Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Guys looking for dark for the dark wizard. Grug and Grog. Columbus. No, you. Cock and grog. By themselves. By themselves. <laughs> they stumble upon a hidden cave filled with traps and strange creatures with tentacles. Oh, God. After a long fight against some of these creatures and many failures, the duo find a way Mary out dragon. from the underground tunnel. What uh, dragon do you want to marry, Greg and Grog? I don't think the there is a dragon. dragons are is dead, it? man. Remember the... It's the age of oh. dead dragons. The age of dead dragons, yeah. I think Tentai. I think it said there was one... Merry tentacles. Merry tent... What is that? What are you talking about, Greg They just Grog? fought tentacles in a, in a cavern, apparently. I, I think we have lost the plot a little bit. We could go back to the wedding, uh, but also... <laughs> I, I don't know. Man. I say we 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 ditch the rivalry Goku. with the the wedding and we just try to move on here. Okay. All right. The wedding happens. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Right. Well, there's surely there's some compromise we can come up with between no. Grug and Grog and Raku. Marry wife. Okay, Raku, you get your wife. Grug and Grog, what do you want? What what would make what would yeah, make what, you what guys make happy? You happy? In order to forgive Ratku. Eat goblin. Or... <laughs> no, because see, that directly interferes with Ratku's what if they wish. Ate, of... What if they ate an extended family member? Yeah, we, would you like to eat one of the goblin sisters? War. Share wife. Okay, that's not possible. No. Grug and Grog. Grug you, Grug. You've already been rejected. You're making this difficult, buddy. No. What toy? What toy can we can we get you? Okay, Raku's got their goblin no. wife. What what do you what do you want? Just give him like a give him something to play mother with. Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. <laughs> Look, we, we're offering up the mother-in-law. How? What? What more could you ask for? Rat wife. Happy meal. My, my widget messed up. I think. Gun. <laughs> you want a gun? No. Gun. Gun. This is this is just set. This seems like a constant one party member pining over another, Not wife. and just them constantly rejecting them over and over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't anticipate this. Um, Fifty calories. <laughs> All right, how about this? Uh, the dark wizard runs off. Uh, okay, the wedding resolves, and Walmart rat coup. Take uh, the shot. Kisses the goblin girl. They have a happy time. Grog and Grog is hungry <laughs> and feels they will eat soon. Uh, they decide to chase Sex after wife. 
the dark wizard Plumbus. Sad. Honeymoon. <laughs> No time for honeymoon. The Dark Wizard Plumbus is trying to raise the dragons, guys. Come on. They decided to have the Dark Wizard Plumbus. What happens next? Sad. Again to capture or kill him once more. You have reached your destination. <gasps> State room. State room. There Don't is care. one location here. Your room. There are no monsters inside. What? This is not a gnome's tavern. It isn't a gnome's tavern. True. Uh, okay. Retire. Well, we're going to jump to. We're going to get, you know, I'm going to move the story along quite a bit. Uh, surprise, you're in the stateroom, which is. Uh, okay. Scene Start 11. Family. Scene 11? Yeah. Where will we end up? Oh. You arrive Whoop. at the state room, which is where the Council of Dwarves manage all governance in this town. You see a bunch Very of dwarves uh, arguing <laughs> about... These, guys, these are not gnomes. Yeah, these aren't gnomes. It said this is not a gnome's tavern. It's actually... Uh, you want to marry the dwarf. Okay, this is... These are, like, the most influential kind of... Leave. Govern <laughs> Leave? But I, I, I designed this scene specifically for this part of the story. It's the perfect moment for, for you to talk to the Dwarf's Council and get to get more information. Leave. You want to leave? Are you sure? But it's the perfect time. You can talk to them. <laughs> Raku, They're all right on, here. Come on, chill, dude. Come on. Raku, chill. <laughs> People leave. <laughs> Go home. Yeah, Raku's got a wife now. Raku doesn't really care about them. Raku's retiring from adventuring. Leave. Grug and Grug, you're going to leave too? What about marrying the dwarf? <laughs> Stay. Okay. You know, all right, fuck it. They leave. Scene 10. You're back at, in the oh, world over map. <laughs> Where do you go now? You, okay, I'm going to give you some new options. You can go to uh, the, the sex wife, the little people village. Uh, you can go to the orchestra. You can go to Walmart, uh, the deep dark Ooh. woods. Or you can go to Walmart, the Lady Tree. I oh, wait, Lady Tree. What is that? The Lady Tree. That's uh, Grug and Grog. I don't want to get your hopes lady up here, tree. but Lady Tree. There is the <laughs> word <laughs> lady. lady Tree. Lady, lady Tree. <laughs> there, look how many you're typing. <laughs> lady Tree. Lady Tree. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, their attention is peaked. <laughs> lady Tree. All right, tree. the adventurers decide to head outside of town <laughs> in search tree. for the lady tree. All right, Charborg, when you're ready, activate scene 13. <gasps> Whoa. The lady tree. Merry tree. Old guy's ladybugs. Wow, the lady tree is filled with giant red ladybugs scuttling everywhere. They're the Life size two. of your face. EW. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought was, I, I'm with you. I thought it was going to be a lady. EW. <laughs> Leave. Eat bug. Eat bug. <laughs> Eat, Eat bugs. Okay. Leave. I don't see any reason why Grug and Grog can't have a bug. Yeah, or two. they can have a bug or two. Sure. Okay. Burn tree. Rat Coo Go home. And Grug and Grog arrive at the lady tree. A giant tree outside of town covered in giant red ladybugs. Ratku seems disinterested as they are busy thinking about their new goblin wife. However, Grug and Grog is hungry. Burn tree. And decides to eat Arson. a few bugs. Wow, they're actually agreeing on burning Trust the tree. Going hole. <laughs> going, going hole. <laughs> <laughs> the way they said that. Going hole. <laughs> I didn't get to hear that one. Okay. Sometimes it messes up. Here. Well, right, let's going see hole. how it goes. Going hole. Go, going hole. <laughs> All right. Trussy. Going hole. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they say about the bugs, and then we can go in the hole. 
he wonders how much they'll taste like potato. <laughs> a nearby bug scares away another and eats it instead. <gasps> this shows a magic effect of warp on this creature. Go and hold. Grudden the Girl bugs asks can Raku if she'd be willing to share her magic powers with her husband. Huh? Uh oh. Yay. <laughs> I That's. Think we've got uh, uh, yikes. Not wife. Not wife. <laughs> uh, Rat Koo reminds wife. Rat wife. Grug and Grog that they are not, in fact, married. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wife. did I misread that? No, wait. yeah, the AI implied wait. they're married, but it's just, it was just that Grug and Grog thought they were married. Yeah, Grug and Grog, remember, despite, remember you're not married to the rat, unfortunately. Constant insisting divorce that they are. <laughs> Ratku restraining order instead suggests they go inside the big hole in the middle of the lady tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that a good idea, guys? What do you yeah, think about Grug that? Grog, let's go see what the hell's in this big hole in the tree. Uh oh. It looks a bit like a giant vagina with Dementia. roots. Okay, <laughs> right, hey, Grog, let's get out of the hole. There's a fountain where you can drink and cool yourself down while oh swimming in water and then up to some sort of throne for Go royalty. Go in hole. <laughs> he sounds so excited now. Oh, oh, Go hole. Go in hole. <laughs> Trussy. Uh, go, go in all. I'll make a little. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, go it's all right. Sharp, we're going to plan for this. Okay, okay, okay. All right, it's, it's, all, it's all fine. Okay, the, the adventurers go into the tree's giant hole, and uh, what they find inside amazes them. Uh, if you want to turn on scene 16. Sit on throne. Okay. Inside the tree is a little village of people made of bread. It's a little Whoa. bread village of cute little independent Look, little... Look, and Grog, they're so Eat. cute. They're, they're uh -huh. Wait. No, guys. Guys, come on. They're, you can tell by Eat. looking at them, they're completely sentient and, and, and self-sustaining. They they're have a living whole happy little lives. They have a happy little life. And <laughs> bread. In, in fact, from looking at them, it, it seems like they actually look like a utopia. Uh, uh, you sure? Undisturbed for hundreds of years, Grug and Grog. Yeah, this place has been left untouched because it's been in this hole of a giant tree. You really gonna feed Germa? Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Fifty calories. <laughs> Don't Yummy. care. Okay. Um, 50 calories. <laughs> inside <laughs> the giant lady tree. Nom nom. Grog and Grog and Ratku find a fantastical village of tiny people made entirely nom, nom. out of bread. Butter. These little bread villagers are going about their daily lives without a care in the world. That is, until Krog and Krog oh, no. arrive and begin Ghost. scarfing them all down as they scream little bread screams. Bread village is toast. Bread village is toast. Yum. Grug and Grog gobbles the entire place and even the local godlike figure Yum. named Elvira who comes by to yell at them. <laughs> Grug and Grog decide to take a nap after eating so many delicious little bread folk. <laughs> you ate Elvira, the local Easy. god? Someone comes up and goes, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he, <gets laughs> Z -Z -Z. he just falls asleep. Look, I didn't want to say anything, guys, but I had written in the notes Z -Z -Z. here, Elvira oh uh, actually had like the god-killing sword for Plumbus. Um, and you, Z, Z, you Z. would have actually been able to just kind of skip to the end if uh, you hadn't ate them right away, but uh, uh, that's okay. They're um, asleep. Let them rest. Yeah, they've nope. had a long day. Yeah, let let the big guy, big guys rest. I guess uh, that's fine. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> 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 
Z, Z, Z. I love they finally agree on something. Oh my god, Honk I'm shoe. dying, dude. Honk shoe. Grug and Grog woke up to say roll. that. <laughs> They're dead asleep. Don't, Don't care. care. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> um, well, do you head further into Snorkers. the giant tree? Uh, or do you go back to town? Honk shoe. You know, you, you do notice uh, there. it seems to go deeper. Vomit sword. Vomit sword. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it, guys? Do you want to go deeper into the woods, or do you want to head back? Deeper. Deeper. Okay. Deeper. Wait on Greg and Greg. Deeper. Oh, okay. Right. They seem to be in agreement. Well, deeper. As you go deeper into uh, <clears throat> oh, this, this scene is dead. Uh, we come across scene fourteen. Fourteen. Trussy. Oh. Inside the tree is a a, a whole ecosystem, Daddy. including what oh, seems life. to be an old man living in an abandoned kind of shack, right? And he's living <laughs> alone. It seems like it's kind of like an old hermit. And he, he eyes you as you two approach. Call wife. Call, call Eat wife. Man. Eat man. Okay. Grug and Grog, do you have any other... Uh... Marry man. His wife. <laughs> okay, marry or eat. That's really his only two. <laughs> eat man. Daddy. My widget keeps screwing up. Okay. Uh, let's see. here. Marry. Grung and Grog, why don't no. we try talking to somebody for once? That could be cool. Marry man. Marry man. Okay, see, and the way you marry somebody is you get to know them a little bit. Yeah. Let's talk to them. Let's see what the hell they got going on down here. They've been down here no. for who knows how long. They might have some even Warped some life. more bread people. All right. After eating the Warped little life. bread village, the adventurers, oh, and... Enjoying Lord. a well-earned <laughs> nap, the adventurers head further into the magic tree and discover an old hermit man living inside. Take the shot. Wink. Grug and Grog approaches the old hermit. Wingman. Oh, you're going to be oh, the wingman, oh, Raccoon? Yeah. I like this. In an attempt... To make a connection, rat. Ratku decides to play wingman Wing for rat. Grug and Grog Wink. as they try to get a W just this once. <laughs> they want to wink at him too. Okay. As they... Thanks. Thanks. As they <laughs> wink... This is going to work out, it. Grug and Grog. I'm is, feeling really confident. I, I, I do too. Look, you, you, you have Ratku, the master charmer bard, at your side. Let's see what happens. The old hermit begins telling tales of his past life, including being the dark Rat wizard friend. before he became a hermit. Wait, what? As he talks about the dark wizard days, rats emerge from holes oh. around him and eat him D. alive. No! Wait, no! <laughs> it is... D. Grog and Grog cannot win. I don't understand. They don't get dude. any wins, no. dude. What the fuck? No. Grog and Grog tried to help I'm sorry. here. The rats came back. What, like, what, uh, what I don't understand is, no. was this man just going to get eaten by rats today? Like, he's been down here doing his thing. Is, yeah, he's been fine he for just so long. coincidentally get eaten by rats the second we show up? That okay. is do, so unfortunate. Do, do we want to redo or do you want to roll with this? I say we roll with the punches, dude. Okay, all right. The, di the dude died. <laughs> This is going to make the next scene very confusing then. Uh, okay, well, no, we, we, if no, you no, have no. something in mind, we can do. Do you want to redo? Okay. Everybody seems to want to redo. Let's right, redo. Right. We'll, re we'll retry. Because this is the, the rare W for, for Grug and Grog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this time. This time, Grug and Grog. Unfortunately, when they do this, he starts yelling at them and scaring the shit out of both of them. <laughs> After this, Raku tries again to be friendly but still gets yelled at by this guy. <laughs> Damn, this guy gotta calm down. D. 
D. D. L. Oh, I'm sorry. Grug don't and cry, and Grug. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't in the cards. Kill man. Maybe you're unlovable. Kill. Eat man. <laughs> oh my god. Cry. Is, your, is violence the only answer, guys? I mean, what about... Uh, there... <laughs> maybe beating... Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Yes. To decide they don't like this rude man very much and decide to kill and eat him. 50 calories. After chasing him... <laughs> Into his, uh, his cabin. All right, and now we can switch to mode. scene fifteen, which is inside Take the cabin. The you chase them into the cabin. Let's see what happens. He's so he's such a friendly looking dude. Why yeah, is he still I, I thought this would go differently, but <laughs> here we are. 50 Mommy calories. <laughs> Once inside the hut, they notice it smells terrible. They kill the old hermit man anyway and start devouring their food. Oh, There's no magic on the dead body, however. When the old hermit's ghost appears in front of them, it says, You have murdered me. <laughs> it sounds so sad. <laughs> you have murdered Wait, me. Wait, I'm going to try to generate an image for this. He ghost. He ghost. He <laughs> you can't eat <laughs> How are you going to eat Don't the ghost, care. guys? Rip Bozo. Oh. Eat ghost. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Wait, I want to see if I can generate an image of this ghost. Don't care. GGZ. <laughs> Zero calories. <laughs> Zero <laughs> calories. <laughs> Zero calories. Uh. Oh, it's generated something here. Okay, okay this is a little PZ. freaky. Here's the ghost, uh... The ghost cabin. The ghost man. Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, it's just the sound they're making. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not showing up for me. Oh. 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 <laughs> Scary. <laughs> the silent scream. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did this. That's what you, you guys did. Are screwed up. Uh. <laughs> Dude, ah. Raku's screaming the four A's. Uh, uh, okay, all right. You want to eat the ghost? You, fuck it. We'll eat the ghost. Uh, after <laughs> finishing after a brief scream. <laughs> after yeah, after a brief shriek of shock, the adventurers zero calories turn their attention to the ghost and look at one another. It's zero oh, calories. So why not? Says Ratku. They begin to eat the ghost. The ghost screams Bustin. zero calories in other world Bustin. Scream and it mixes with another Busted. sound coming from outside. <gasps> huh? Run, Grog. Run, Grog. <laughs> Feels good. Bustin. It sounds like something being dragged across a hard floor. The adventurers hear more noise from upstairs along with what seems like moaning from below stairs. Huh? Both Raku and Grug and Grog know that they heard screaming from Grug somewhere else in the house earlier that morning. That morning? Let's get rid of that part. Moan. 
<laughs> All right, yeah, where do you guys Grug explore? Do you explore? I mean, I I thought this was just a shack. Creek. We can keep going, dude. Oh. Do There's an go? upstairs, apparently. Yeah, do you want to go upstairs? Do you want to go downstairs? Which one? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Please. Upstairs. Oh, they have Leave. conflicting. <laughs> oh. All right, you want to go upstairs. All right, if they go upstairs. Uh, Miss Wife. Raku, don't be such a baby. You've been away for like Miss a day. Wife. All right, Charbork, enable scene 19. 19, enabling. They go upstairs and... Uh, Whoa! Loser. Fuck you. Wait. They go upstairs. <gasps> Who is that? Fuck you. They're met with a terrifying character. Mary. Who is this? Who is this horrifying Mary. creature that we're afraid of? We're Mommy. afraid of them. This is a Mary. scary <laughs> individual. This is someone we fear. Mary. Mommy. <laughs> Raku, bad. Mommy. Wingman. Oh, Wingman. Okay, we could <gasps> go back, yeah. Okay. The adventurers head upstairs Mary. to explore the sound. Wingman. Awoga. Eerie sound. Awoga. Wingrat. They discover a spectral woman in glowing Awoga. green. Sitting <laughs> on a throne Uba. of Wink. clouds <laughs> and string. Seduce. Okay. Um, she Uba, eyes Uba. them with a ghostly stare, and they hold her gaze. Oh, mine, oh, mine. Oh, mine, oh, mine. <laughs> All right, let's see what the AI wants. <gasps> what? Her name is Elvira. Oba, Oba. She is Elvira. also known as goddess of baked goods. Also <laughs> lunch lady. <laughs> this is all the information we have on her. She looks over the two heroes before looking back down at some paper strewn around her feet, which seem to indicate... Oh, you will. Lunch lady. This is the ghost of the Mary. person you ate. Grog and Grog, remember? In the, in the bread village? Marry lunch lady. I are you sure she's gonna want to marry you after you lunch eat? lady? She might be holding a little bit of a grudge, Grug and Grog. Yeah, let's see. Eat lunch. This yes. is the ghost of the bread villager that Grug and Grog Rat. ate. Don't care. <laughs> Earlier. She looks much more powerful and Alluring now in her true form of lunch lady. Yeah, apologize. Maybe apologize to her, Grug and Grog. Yeah, Grug and Grog. What? Are you, how are you gonna approach this? Grudge and Grog. Grudge and Grog. <laughs> Zero calories. Sorry. Sorry. Grug and Grog. Mumbles. Sorry. Sorry. To <laughs> the lunch lady. As he, as they realize. J.K. <laughs> Realize they JK. were the one that ate them earlier. Let's see what happens. Grog and Grog are hungry and feel they will Flirt. eat soon. Uh oh. Raku tries to ask the lunch lady if they can eat her, but it Not turns sorry. out the ghosts aren't real and therefore cannot be eaten. Oh, well, you hear that first? Oh, there you have it. Sorry, yeah. guys. Yeah, can't eat them. But hey, there is still one more option on the table, Grug and Grog. You think flirt. of what I'm thinking? Oh. Flirt. Mary. Zero calories. Grug and Grog. Let's have Grug and Grog flirt a little bit. Yeah, I think you're right. Grug and Grog needs a dub here. Raku, can you, uh, you willing to wing, wing rat here? Wing rat. All right, wing rat. Love it. Grug and Grog approaches the spectral woman and says, what do you say? What's your line, Grug and Grog?
Grung and Use grog. charm. <laughs> okay, I, we, we knew that was coming. Wink, grug, grug and grog and winks. Grug and grog. And winks at her. Ratku backs up Grug and Grog by... What do you do, Ratku? How do you back up Grug and Grog? Use charm. By using their <laughs> charm to emphasize how great Use charm. Grug and Grog is. All right, let's see, it, let's see how charm. it works. This will surely go well, Grug and Grog. The ghost woman tells them to stop and that there was no way for Grug and Grog to see oh, a ghost good. or talk to a ghost without getting charm eaten spell. themselves first by the same ghost they tried to seduce with charms and flattery. D. Oh, oh, ghost says, Grug Grug. You, can't, you can't talk to me until D. I eat you. Wait, is that a proposal? I, I'm not L. sure. D. You guys want to be eaten? You've Four. done a lot of eating this adventure. Maybe we Eat me. <laughs> Maybe the table should be turned a little. After Eat me. some thought, Grug and Grog says, Vor. Okay, eat me. <laughs> and presents Mommy. himself to the lunch lady to be consumed. Eat me. All right, let's see what happens. Watch. <gasps> when they do this, the spirit of Elvira melts 07. away into nothingness, leaving behind only the dried-out skeleton of what used to be a large woman. Rafku feels uncomfortable watching this, so she starts G. looking around in order to avoid staring at the skeletal <laughs> remains of Elvira. No. <laughs> Another G. L. Another L, L for <laughs> Grog and Grog. <laughs> He, he was threatened to be eaten alive and oh. said, okay, eat me. And, and then she and then he me. turns to bones. <laughs> grog and Grog, I'm sorry, dude. Yikes, man. You guys have just, just taken an onslaught of L's tonight. Cry. Cry. Well, it's okay. There's probably more people who won't die in front of you. Okay, die at bones. the thought of talking to you. Necromancy. <laughs> Wait, yeah, necromancy. No but bitches. We don't have the grimoire anymore. We had to wreck oh, yeah. that, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's no grimoire in Sorry, in Grog and Grog. Sorry, guys. Uh, but something else happens. As uh, the, the maiden of this realm vanishes, bones. you get jettisoned out of this green space and land... Bum, bum, bum... In scene 18. Whoa. You emerge ah. from the green obelisk that the freaking uh, ghost lady was in. Eyes of cringe. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> and what you see in this front life. of you is none other than ah. a hidden tower in the woods. Could it be? It smells of dark wizard energy coming from inside and you hear cackling. Grog and Grog, I don't think this is Ohio or Walmart. This might Leave. be something a little more sinister. Leave? This might possibly be the, the go Columbus home. Tower. Now, you want to go home. Oh. Oh. Um. Leave. Mary Plumbus. <laughs> Miss Wife. Now, you do know that this is almost certainly where the Dark Wizard Plumbus is plotting his whole, you know. Leave. You're just gonna leave? <laughs> Wing rat. Yeah, yeah, use this as motivation. There's one more chance There's, to get Grug and Grog a, uh, This is your last. Don't care. Uh, okay. Um, Grug and Grog, you guys could potentially. What if you woo Plumbus? Don't care. <laughs> no, they, Very Plumbus. It's, you know. It, go home. You just wanna go home? It's, it's fine. Wing rat. If you don't, if you don't want to go in there, I'm not gonna. You know, this is a this we is can't a, make a choose you. your own adventure. We can't make you. Okay. <laughs> Mary Plumbus. Okay, I mean, and Raku Wing Rat. Oh, okay. Are you Looks coming like around? Arson. Arson. You want to burn it? We can do a combination of all. Let's see how it plays out. Let's go one step at a time. Let's start by maybe we approach the wizard Arson. and try to romance them a little bit. Okay. I'm I'm waiting for confirmation from Grug and Grog. 
How does that sound, Grog and Grog? Either you go in there. Plumbacy. Okay, they're in. <laughs> that sounds like confirmation to me. All right. Uh, Plan B. With scene 20, they enter Ooh. the wizard's tower and are met with none other than the dark wizard Plumbus, clad in purple uh, wizard garb. Awooga. <laughs> Awooga. <laughs> EW. And, and the skull and Rekku, different... do not be rude to Plumbus's. I mean, Grung and Krog's oh. wife here, please. Uh, there's, you can see, uh, he's Awoga. got a pillar of dragon bones behind him, and he's doing some freaking magic Seduce. in it. Seduce, and and you and he locks eyes Rekku. with you as you arrive, and he and he smirks also as Flirt. he knew you were coming. Ugly. Okay. Uh, Let's get this party started. Wink. The adventurers turn to leave and stumble Daddy. across the chamber of uh, the dark Plumbus. wizard Plumbus. I do want to point out, Grug and Grug, every time himself. you've winked at somebody, they have died or like Bad tried lip. to eat you. <laughs> Maybe a different approach than winking. The two stand facing this uh, scary lip. adversary lip. and decide <laughs> what to do about him. Charm spell. Oh, charm spell. Okay. Yes. Now, I don't know if you have any magic, Raku, because you've... Twerk. <laughs> Maybe we have door. Like... Wait, you have warp. You have the power of warp. That's Twerk. all you have, okay, guys? You have warp because you got it Bark. from the fucking... Uh, you got it from well, the mashed yeah. potatoes. Raku's a bard, Tork. maybe play a little... Yeah, you... No, yeah, you're a bard. You don't necessarily have magic spells unless you earn them, which you, you have warp. You do have... You can, like, play a, an instrument if you want. That's fine. What do you want to do? You want to sing? Play music? Sing. Okay. Twerk. Twerk. Okay. Warp into <laughs> TM. Warp into his TM. Wonderwall. <laughs> uh, okay. Ratku and Grug and Grog look at one another and nod. Wonderwall. Ratku breaks out into a beautiful rendition, a beautiful song that sounds like Strip. Like Wonderwall. Oh, hold on, Grug and Grog. Grug and Grog. Let's see how the music is received and then we'll go from there. Strip tease. No, that's more like it. Grug and Grog. Uh, begins to dance and perform e a strip tease in the hopes mating call. of sedu <laughs> mating call. E <laughs> seducing mating call. the dark wizard Columbus. All right, let's see what happens. W inbound. Unfortunately for them, the dark wizard doesn't seem Grum interested in dancing and decides to make Grodden Grog his new familiar instead. Uh, oh, ah. Grodden Grog is happy about this and wonders why the others haven't gotten married yet. Oh. Grog and Grog just got turned into a familiar? W. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's happy about it. Oh. Dude, this is a perfect enough for Grog and Grog. Look at him. Dude, look at him. This is what he was made w. to he do. He is a familiar this entire Daddy. time. Leave. Leave? Okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is actually the. This Wait, is beautiful, this, dude. Is this the candid Leave. ending? Does Grug and Grug decide Daddy. to stay with the wizard and Rat who leaves to go be with their wife? This is, is this where so the party life. splits? This is so yes. beautiful, home. dude. Go home? Yes. Yes. Okay. How did this somehow manage to wrap itself up so nicely? Grug and Grog decides. Miss so we stay with the dark wizard Plumbus as his freaky familiar Ratku shrugs and I. heads back <laughs> to, to town <laughs> to be with her new wife. This is, I'm gonna cry, dude. Bye. This is beautiful. Rat friend. Your journey ends here. You have reached your destination. By Jerma. The adventure begins. By Grog. You have just awakened from a dream where you were being okay, chased by a big red dragon. Alright, alright, alright. 
And, uh, well, that about does it. Uh, you know, because, however, I do one more scene, because you didn't stop the Dark Wizard Plumbus uh, scene 21 uh, triggers, uh, which is the bad end, um, the Dark oh. Wizard resurrects the dragons <laughs> and they burn the town, uh, scorching everything to Clap. a cinder. Uh, but... Uh, Clap. Clap. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, I couldn't... Dude, I'm like so happy Don't at how care. that wrapped up. It's somehow they managed to like have just a perfect send-off. Everybody's Don't story care. arc was resolved. Clap. Yeah, it it everyone got what they wanted in the end, you know. Good ending. <laughs> good, good ending. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. All right. Well, I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. Um, I th this was good this ending. was my story that I I, I told. Um, and now the next one we're gonna do. Um, if you think we still got time, Charberg is Charberg's story, and he's prepared a whole different one to make new characters and everything. Run, run. Yeah. I've got, I've got an entire thing made as well, and you guys will be making, dude. I, by the way, yes, big, yes. big, Park. big. Uh, thank you for being hilarious, dude. Both people, I was cracking up so often. Yeah. I love when chat is able to actually coherently like behave. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once you guys, I think, like figured out the dynamic and like we're able to work together, uh, to like make fun situations happen. I think it, uh. They were really started shining. So <laughs> they're saying you because I showed the other face of Grog. Yeah. Grog. They got a, e they got accustomed to the, the Grog one. Wait, wait, which which face was up the whole time? I had Grog, Grog up the whole time with the fucking foamy mouth. Oh, so. oh I, I I reverted whenever we left the uh, the place. I reverted from the bloat. Oh, you reverted from the bloat? Oh no. Yeah, I've been normal Grog and Grog the whole time. I'm so sorry, Grog and Grog. You've been bloated Grog and Grog for me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well. You know, you get to make new characters, so uh, it's not the end of the world. Do you um, yeah, I'll I'll explain the uh, I'll explain the story of the uh, next Grog, one. Grog. Of my... Grog. Uh, okay. Show Germa. How do we want to transition? Show Germa. Okay. All right. We can say... just go right back to the start, so like uh. Bye to Germa too. Hey man. Little baby yeah. red Germa. Dude, I I am such a fan of both of these characters so much. I, I I'm I really gonna miss loves, them. Yeah, I I know it's it's sad, right? We're saying goodbye to these characters. My Jerma, my Jerma. Here, let's have them. You guys can take a bow. My Jerma. I'll take out the full character sheet for both again, so everyone can. Yeah, let me do that too. You gotta bring OG Grug and Grog back though. Oh yeah. Ew! Wow. Look at that weird baby man. One second, let me find. Wow. Well. Wow. Well. <clears throat> e W. All right. Here's... Well, uh, where's the original Greg and Greg? Wow. Yeah, it's so hard. Once you get past a certain amount of things inside the OBS scene, it's just like looking at a wall of like, what am I looking at? Mommy mode. Oh, there it is. Sorry, Greg and Greg. You're bloated, Greg and Greg, the whole time. Uh, but now. So it's original Grog and Grog. <laughs> Handsome. Yeah, that's what I had up. I didn't, my bad, I didn't realize that we were sticking with that one. EW. Grog mode. All right. Uh, I guess you want me to explain what the setting is of uh, my story? Yeah, do you want to can... take like any breaks to get some water and stuff? Um, yeah, sure. Before we'll we jump take in a the next quick break. I gotta use Show the life. A Grog and Grog. Dude, I... I... <laughs> I just fucking love Grog and Grog's catchphrase being their name. It's so it's like a stupid Pokemon. Oh my god, it's so funny. Show yeah, let's wife. take a quick okay, hold on. break. I'm, I'm really gonna go quick. generate the Goblin Wife real quick. Show wife. Okay. Grog and Grog. All right. P. Be sure to uh, get a drink if you guys want to. P. For the next adventure. P. Oh, can't show that. 
Can't show that one. I plum. Uh, hmm. Show. No, I would literally be banned. <laughs> show. Can't show that one. Uh, the the the. Booba. P. Discord. Fancy goblin. Discord? No, I'm not going to give you guys a fucking... Oh, my God. You guys have gotten way too into character. <laughs> Wait, actually, hold on. I have a way of doing this. Describe. Describe. <laughs> Use your words. Describe. Howard. All right, let's see if this works. Run drug. Run drug. Obesity Only rats. What AI programs are we using? Uh, we're using the novel AI. If you do exclamation AI, it'll link to it. But we are using both their narrative generator and their new um, audio. God, how many fucking boobs are there? Okay, all right, wait. This one, this one's good. Now, uh, I have some unfortunate news. Uh, it turns out it wasn't just Bonnie one. Bonnie Gops. Meow. Meow. <laughs> it wasn't just one uh, goblin. It uh, was actually two. Your, your wife was two goblins stacked on top of each other. Um, one was uh, crouched under, and uh, they... You know, I guess. Meow. Meow. Hot. Hot. Yeah, not bad. Good job, guys. Two for one. <laughs> yeah, you, you really would have thought they would have liked Greg and Grog for being, you know, a two for one deal as well. But something I'm about uh, his personality, I sure. guess, was just uh, too much. Hundred. What, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, I generated an image of the, of the goblin uh, wife. Oh, was she beautiful? Uh, yeah. After a couple iterations where the tits were out, we found one that uh, I, I removed them, and there you go. Yeah, the, the goblin like, wife was actually two goblins stacked on top of each other. Just like Grog and Grog. That's yeah. so sweet. Which is so funny that they rejected him. So you know funny. what? I think what might have been uh, the issue with. The generation is that we used portrait that was like vertically long. Yeah, yeah, too long. So I think next time let's use square for okay. when we're generating. Deal. All right, you want to hear the? Uh, what, are you going to take a break for a second or? Uh, I should be okay. All right, everyone say goodbye to Grog and Grog and Ratku. They're going off now, and you got to make new characters, okay? So the theme Bye. of this one is completely different. Bye. Kraken had like a Grog fantasy Grog. thing, and mine is sci-fi. Yes. So, uh, We're going with sci-fi. All right, let me turn on your... Well, yeah, I should probably go into my... Uh... I gotta find the... Uh... Background. Aha. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. All right, the story of mine, I actually borrowed from... Uh... When, when I brainstormed on stream the other day, somebody suggested having it about an AI. And so the story is, I wrote, the artificial intelligence that runs a space station has gone rogue and decided to stop taking commands from humans. Subsequently, all robotic systems on the space station have started behaving unpredictably. <gasps> all robots on board the space station have been affected in different ways. Some robots just don't function how they're supposed to. Whereas other robots have started ignoring their program entirely, or they're ignoring their programming entirely and acting on their own free will. In the months that the space station has been run by the rogue AI, it has been mostly evacuated. However, there are still survivors living on board who refuse to leave. Two of those survivors are called whatever you guys decide, and they have decided to travel to the heart of the space station and put a stop to the AI. 
So the I'm I'm feeling the vibe for this one can be any race, <laughs> humanoid, whatever. I already see your chat trying to go up with the name. Yeah, they're going. I, this theme seems kind of similar, guys. Zug Zug and Zog. That seems a little close to uh to Grug and Grob. Grug and Grog. Also, keep but, in mind right, you we can do go. a different voice this time, guys. So yeah, I'm changing the voice of yeah. mine. I'm gonna pick something that's appropriate to uh yeah. So so try going for something uh you know can be a totally different energy. And... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. By the way, just keep in mind as somebody participating in this that. It's, you know, you want to mix it up. Don't just eat. Don't, you know, let's scrap everything from before and make entirely new characters with an entirely new joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep right. keep it fresh. I'll uh, I'll talk with my chat and we'll come up with something and then we'll uh, go from there. All right. Cool. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Bit. All right, guys. Welcome back. What would you like to be today? Start with uh, Space Cowboy. Space Cowboy. All right. That's straightforward. Uh, now you're a Space Cowboy. Are you human? Are you an alien? Are you robot? You know, what sort of sci fi character would you want to be? Cyborg. Go slime. Climb. Slime. I like slime. I'm going to take slime over Goku. Lizard. Lizard. Lizard's good too. Slime. The space cowboy slime. Slime girl. Oh, you want to be a slime girl? So are you a, are you a cow girl? Lizard. Yes. Okay. Slime girl. Slime lizard. Slime slime lizard girl. Uh okay, are we really are we gonna combine <laughs> Huh. Let me see if I can find a voice that would fit a slime lizard cow. No lizard. All right. No so, lizard. No lizard. Just the slime cow girl. Okay. That, yeah, I think yes, lizard, lizard. might be too much. No <laughs> lizard. Yes, lizard. Oh boy. No lizard. Yes, lizard. All right, I'm changing War. the voice now. We'll see no if this lizard. helps us come up with a new character. War. Oh no, they're fighting over the lizard. All right, refreshing. I'm going to start generating this character. We have... Pole. <laughs> no lizard. <laughs> Omega oh. Lugo. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yes. Sci-fi. Okay. Slime. Cowgirl. Sci-fi. Daddy. Okay. Chat. Behave or you're going to get in trouble. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm, I'm going to have to change the voice if you can't behave. Okay. Crumbo. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Uh. Omega lol. O U O. You guys are getting gagged. Wait, no, that's also bad. O U O. Oh God. All right, we're. How do you specify no nudity for the slime girls? Oh, you go. Um. Oh, 
Craigasm. Uh, okay. S.U. Bryce. S.U. Bryce? Change it? I, okay. If I have to change it. S.U. Bryce. Okay, okay, okay. I have, I have a new one. Crick Liz. This is, this is scary. It's, you're this close to losing control of your chat at any given time. Uh, let's try Vote nay. this one. It Vote might be nay. just as bad. All right, let's see. Vote nay. Oh, that's boring. Vote Man. nay. I th can you guys behave? Vote nay. Vote nay. Oh no, this is this is a, this is a tight one. Let me try, okay, we'll try one more. Kappa. Right. Different energy. Try Vote this one. Nay. Vote nay. Kappa. No, that one didn't work. Vote nay. Vote nay. Uh. First one. First one. First one. Well, that. First one. Behave. Yay. Is that better? Yay. No legs? Yes. All right, slime cowgirl, sci-fi slime person, fantasy cowgirl. No legs. Gooigi. Goo. All right. Yes, daddy. Oh, chat. <laughs> it's all right. This one sounds this one sounds less uh, you know, suggestive than the other one. Okay, wait. This one's not bad. No. Oh, that's got nipples. Shit. Uh, uh... <laughs> uh Um, okay, I'm going to give you two options. Rondo. I'll give you two options. Booba. Yeah, these are safe for work. Booba. All right, here's the first one. Wow. Check her Booba. out. Booba. No. No? No. Okay, all right. How about... No. This one. No. Hell yes. yeah. No. No? No. What do you mean, no? E-W. You're you're trying to be a no. slime girl. How you, how do you expect to get a good a good look here? Okay. All right. How about okay? Worse. I can I can change this. I can make this one work. Yes. Do better. Do better. <laughs> All right. Let's get variations on this one. Cup of Jello. Do better. Oh, yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, my God. 
these are bad. Skill issue. All right, I'm doing it. I'm using the anime filter. I'm going all out. Slime issue. Ah! Hi, Charborg. A-Y-A-Y-A. A-Y-A-Y-A. I'm doing it! A-Y-A-Y-A. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is doable. We can work with this. This is closer to what I think you guys want. Oh, wait. Actually, it's Hello. perfect. Actually, kind of cracked. Kind of love the design. Check it out. Yes. Yes. Isn't that actually sick? Yes. Yes. Cute. Yeah, it kind of goes hard, doesn't it? All right, what's the name? What's this name of the character? Kawaii. Waifu. Okay, no, not waifu. Come on. <laughs> you can do a little better than that. A little more creative. Gloop. Gloop. Okay, that's one. That's one option. Gluba. Oh, shit. Wait. I forgot this scene gets chroma Gluba. keyed. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hold on. I'm going to make her blue. <laughs> Slimantha. Slimantha, okay. Better. This might. Slimantha. I mean, it's going to change based on what's behind it, so Hello. I don't know if it's exactly. Keep. Don't care. Okay. Let's see. Transparent. Maybe, yeah, maybe her slime is transparent, you know? That's like part of her power. Oh, wait. Hold on. How is this going to work? I have to wait. Have to wait till uh, Charbroke to fix this. First voice. Hmm. First voice. Wait. There we go. Yeehaw. All right, what's Yeehaw. the voice? I mean, sorry, hey, I think what, we're good. What's the the name? Okay, Yeehaw. sweet. Um, so <laughs> the character generated for mine ended up being green. Slimantha. Uh, so uh, they are oh, chroma key. Oh, is it chroma But they also kind of like it. They 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 want it to be like transparent. <laughs> Uh, like kind of like a hologram or something? Kinda. More like a uh, uh, slime? Like a slime girl? Luba. Oh, cool. Uh, is, that, is that okay? I know you have like a thing. Um, so I guess we should begin. Okay, um, yeah. I'll, I'll send you the picture. Slimantha. Uh, I'll send you the picture as well. So what's your character's name? Uh, they're deciding that now. It looks like... 
Is it Gluba or Slimantha, guys? Oh my god, what? Slimantha. Slimantha. All right, Slimantha has, I think Slimantha wins. Gluba. Slimantha. Okay, well, Luba. anyway, let me get you mine. <laughs> Slimantha. All right, our character is called uh, <laughs> Dr. Roach. <laughs> How does this keep happening? What? My chat like makes a cute thing and they're like, ah, and then yours fucking comes out of nowhere with this shit. Well, you don't like Dr. Roach? No, no, I didn't mean it like that. It, Dr. Roach is great. What about Slimella or whatever Hi, you said? Hi, DR Roach. Hi, DR Roach. Are you being mean to the slime? EW. No. no. Here. I'll put you guys in e the same. W. Listen, you you are kill. I question kill. your motives because I they wanted to do a cowboy cat girl and I was like, no guys, you're gonna be too horny. And then you make this like, what you make like a. I went through iterations right that had actual boobs, and then we were like, you know what? I like this little like uh, little Burn. squishy like test tube looking slime yeah. girl. I I think it's a very very acceptable. Look, you know. Well, no, I'm a fan. I like it. I'm gonna change the voice. I do actually like the first voice we did better. As long as chat, you gotta, you gotta, first voice. you gotta behave. Okay. That's what I'm telling him, dude. You guys gotta behave, or you're gonna lose behave. it. Behave. My TTS is screwing up a lot. I don't know what's up. Not horny. Behave. I'm trying to figure out a, a way to like. I think it's just been overpowered. It's probably like too many things. Yeah, maybe. Van Daddy. Van Doctor Roach's voice like shouts. Oh, he does. Okay, great. He let goes, Doctor Roach. <laughs> let me re restart. Okay. Giggles. 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 Hey, are we allowed to say what AI we're using? What AI art? Uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know if it was released or something. I feel like for some reason I thought. Bazinga. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Um, it's the novel AI. Yeah, the novel AI art. Uh... Bazinga. Generator. Oh, I think it came out like yesterday, actually. Um, although they oh, wow. theirs is more centered around the public release is more centered around anime uh, <laughs> generation, oh, wow. which you guys would probably honestly is what you would use yeah, it for. And just a, a hint. Uh, actually, I don't know if I should even talk about the beta things oh, that I've wow. seen. I've seen some things in beta. Mm -hmm. the, when you click at the tab at the top, you know, Kraken. Oh yeah, we know. It's, it's got the. <laughs> Let's just say they're working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes that uh, I think uh, you degenerates would uh, be looking forward to when it's ready. Ah! So. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the profile. Yeah, I just put mine in. So mine is Slimantha or Slimantha. Uh, and then yours is Slimantha? Dr. Roach. Yeah. Now, chat, are you sure you're okay with her, with Slimantha being hey, transparent? Hey. We we can try to make Slimantha a different uh a different color. Bazinga. How do you spell Slimantha? Yes. yes. Uh S L I yes. M A N T H A. Oh my god, I think I had a stroke. What yes. did you say? S L I? S L I M Slam Slim Antha. Okay. Bazinga. Uh, dude, I, for some reason, that just did not register at all for me the first time. Okay. Slimantha. Okay. We are Dr. Roach. Slimantha. There you go. Bazinga. Bazinga. All right. Let me get these Banjo. profile pics all lined up. <laughs> Bazinga. Banjo. Banjo. God, Dr. Roach, what a handsome little doctor. 
<laughs> what a handsome little doctor. Should I should I reposition him so that some of his doctor outfits in there? Because right now it's all Roach and no doctor. I have mine. Uh... Actually, this is good. This is good. I got it. People need to know he's a doctor. I think that's important. All right, let me get Slimantha in there. Handsome. Handsome. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's up with my AI voice. It just doesn't work anymore. Oh, Wait, right. you're right. Slimantha is completely... Yeah, but it's kind of cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. If you don't like it, I, I can try to generate another one. <laughs> no, it's ah! whatever. Wait, Kumanta. it looks different on his stream? Whoa, oh, Dr. No. Roach. Okay, they're calling her no. Kalmantha. Dude, the, Dr. No. Roach, chill. <laughs> Slamantha's like, you, no, okay, you might, stop. You might just no. not be seeing what I'm seeing, Kraken, because on my end, she really does look like Kalmantha. <laughs> Be nice no. to Slamantha, Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach, don't call her Kamantha. No. Come on. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait, yours is Fuck still you. the whispering voice. Oh, Wait, try refresh. reloading it. It should be... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, horny, You know what I'll do here? Here's what I'll do. I've got a, I've got a solution to this. This is going to be easy. I put... I'm, okay. Put one of these right here. Put JK. one of... Whoa. JK. Bug spray. Yo, they're busting out the bug spray. What did I do? What did I just do? Bazinga. D. Samantha, what is the Raid. sound the bug spray makes? Can you make that sound? They can't decide. PSSS. <laughs> it didn't work. PSSH. <laughs> Come on, one of these got to work. All right, there, I'm fixing Slimantha. PSH. Piss. <laughs> SSS. Push. Pish. Pish. Piss. All right, Piss. Slimantha is now green. No longer Kamantha. Wait, you Pish. made her green? Yeah. Piss. How do I, I make put, her green? <laughs> I put an image of her behind her. Oh. To where it green screens and there's green underneath it. Wait, that's... Here, I'll just... I'll, you know what I'll do? Here, I got you. Watch. You're going to love this. This is going to be the easiest. Snot Mantha. Guys, chill. What you, the this hell? This evil arc again. We got to have Buddy no arc. green. Oh, my God. Now I'm I'm on Samantha's side. Dr. Roach is being an asshole right now. I'm sorry about Dr. Fuck Roach. You. Dr. Roach does not know how to behave. Samantha, let's bust out the, the fucking bug spray again. Pish. Pish. Sorry. <laughs> Pish. <laughs> Piss. Pish. All right, Kraken. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna use this. Pish. JK. Fish. I'm almost done. Apologies. Fish. Bazinga. Do Wish. better. All right, put this. Underneath the uh, picture of Slimantha. But not on the same Do layer. Do John Madden. Uh, not on the sa in the same group as... Oh, okay, uh, okay. No green. Fishtastic. No. They don't... Why do they not want her to be green? I don't green? know. Slimantha. Football. You don't want to be green? What's wrong? A-I-O-U. Look. No green. Come on, what's wrong with that? I screwed something up, dude. A I O U. I screwed something up. A A A. 
<laughs> what? I, I may have covered them by accident. I, I'm working on it, guys. Look there. Oh, Cute look. Mantha. How pretty. You're green again. What are they saying? <laughs> what? No. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. They really don't want to be green. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even finish making my setting my border up. Dude, I have Fred ruined Garrett. my scene somehow. No. Wait. Oh, look. Blue. Samantha, I can change the color. Fix me. Watch this. Ready? <gasps> Blue. Ooh. You like that? Pink. We'll go pink. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oil man, though. Purple. Which one do you like? RGB. How about all of them? Woo. Dude, it is so hard to move these pictures RGB. between. Oh, my God. I give up. Why is it Blue, so hard rainbow. to move these little pictures around in OBS? Oh. Are you having this problem? Um, yeah. Trying to line these Rain. pictures up is impossible. Oh, I, I don't worry about that. Just uh, expand it past the border, and then if it's behind it, gamer. You know, I just like stretch it so it's uh, got the important stuff in the frame. Gamantha. I almost have it. We can desaturate you. We can super saturate you. Rude. Krongo. Yes. Based on mood. Oh, we make it dynamic. So like when you're angry, it goes like. Krongo. Yeah, gay pride. Or we just keep it moving. Yes. Yes. Krongo. Dude, I something is wrong with my scenes. I am ruining this. I'm actively ruining this. Yes. Uh. Okay. Do you want to mood? Is it something with the group? I don't exactly know. I, I like. I have. I somehow was able to fix it, and then I screwed it up. I just mood. I'm just screwing it up. It's all good. We're having fun. Gay pride. Now Dr. Roach and Slamantha can get to know each other better. Yeah, guys. Say hi. Let's uh Slay say queen. hi and stop insulting each other. <laughs> all right. How about okay, let's let's talk about your backstories a bit, guys, while while Charbrook's fixing this. So Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. So, so you guys yes, were both I hi. you guys were both assigned to the station. Uh are you both doctors? Is Slamantha a doctor as well? Is Hi. Slamantha, you know, like uh, Hi. Some no. an engineer, maybe? C cowgirl? <laughs> Slamantha is a cowgirl. Yeah, okay, Slamantha's a cowgirl. Um, PhD. Howdy. Okay, so Slamantha, what, what's, a cow cowgirl. what's a cowgirl like PhD. you doing in space? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Captain PhD. Wait, you're the captain? <laughs> Dude, something is Slime up with Rancher. my uh Slime widget to it. Are you Space hearing cow. Dr. Roach speak? Yeah. I don't know what's going Space on. I can't cows. hear Dr. Roach anymore. Uh maybe resave on Fishnet and Yeah, let me try that. Yeah. Slime Rancher. Okay, so you're All right, Dr. Roach, say hi. Not you, Samantha. Don't say hi. Hi. Blue <laughs> Hunter. Okay. Hi. It hi. seems to be working now. All right. Hi. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, guys. Well, Bounty Hunter. The whole theme is you're going on a oh, spaceship to try to stop an artificial intelligence that has taken a little bit of control over things. Wait, I still have yours up. So all the all the robotic systems on board have gone completely haywire, which is bad. Oh no! And it is up to Doctor Roach 
and Slimantha to save the day. <gasps> Let me get uh Bazinga. Your okay, Dr. Roach, your catchphrase can't be Bazinga. PhD in. All right, let me. Do you do you Yo, have my uh, stream up with the story? No, it, it ended at some point. Anyway. I'm, right. I'm, Dr. Dr. Roach. Roach. I'm Dr. Roach. I'm Dr. Roach. <laughs> Said it twice. One with a phosphory, one without. Yeah, PhD in. Yeah, Dr. Roach. What is your PhD in? Fake doctor. <laughs> PhD in. PhD in space. <laughs> I'm a doctor of space. I can't hear Dr. Roach, dude. This is so upsetting. I'm sorry. He's nuts. What's going on with Wait, my face? Wait, maybe uh, if you... Fake L doctor. L Fraud. I could stream to you my OBS scene, maybe, and then you can hear it from there if you want. No, but... Yeah, I guess let's yeah, do that. Yeah, let's try that. Dr. Roach is... DR Fraud. He's nuts. He's got a beautiful voice. I just can't... I can't hear it. Wait, no, because then I'll hear... Girl. I'll hear, um... Oh, wait. Will I hear myself? No, I don't think I will. Yeah, let's try this. D. Fuck you. D. D. All right, Dr. Roach, say hi now. Let's test this. Fake cowgirl. Yes. Okay, I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, is that work for you? Yeah. Hi. Oh hi. my god, his, his, his voice is Gish. piercing. Hi. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Doctor Roach, chill, dude. Pish. Yeah, spray him. Pish. Hi. <laughs> All right. This... All right. Are you ready to try to begin? I'm ready to try Howdy. to begin. All right. What incarnation? Let me make sure this still works. Yeah. So let me send this. Wait, do you, do you have it in a? Uh... Oh, you have it in um 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 um. um... Text adventure. Okay, yes, cool. sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Kona. Let's give it a shot. This should be the story. I pushed enter. Wait, wait, no, I think I have to put it into the story section. I oh, know it, it should be by default. I think. If it has a little book next to it, then it's a story. Yeehaw. Bogzinga. Oh my god, Dr. Roach is so loud. <laughs> is the. Is oh wait, I need to unmute your thing. Sorry. Let me try to make Bugzina. you a little quiet. God, Doctor Roach, everyone's Fantastic. loud. I'm trying to fix this. Bugtastic. <laughs> big iron. Samantha's got a big iron on her head. Slime hip. time. It's slime time. Is there a way? Okay, wait. I see this. I'm trying to. I'm trying to adjust all my volume levels. This dude. This has gone. Bugtastic. So Hey, wire on my end. There's a lot. There's a lot of moving pieces here, guys. If it wasn't already Slime obvious. Time. <laughs> but bug iron. I'm glad you're having oh, bug iron. Bug iron. <laughs> I think they're having fun. Fifty calories. <laughs> fifty calories. Wait, All is right. Lamantha only fifty calories? Wow. Let's not. Let's not go too further with this. <laughs> We're not gonna be going down a path where we eat Slimantha. Whoa, I never implied that. I'm just, it was, I was remarking on how, you know, <laughs> how slim. 50 calories. <laughs> All right, Four. it says you need to get back to your quarters before you can begin this quest. You have already left your quarters Eight. when you entered the main corridor. So you have to go back through no that door that brought you here. I don't know why it's wanting to go to our quarters. Okay, but anyway, I'll just, I'll post what the first thing is. I have Fuck these off. typed up. You can also do retry to, uh. I think it'll be fine because it, it, we're just we'll just progress forward and see. Kraken, yes. Go to scene number one. <gasps> Don't eat. Bump bump bump. Wait, let me let me let me and change their names in my little thing that I my little write up because I haven't done that yet. Bump bump bump. Robot. Hey, um, look at that. Do you want to read the uh, the intro? 
Yeah, I'm just replacing the name so I can copy and paste it. Because I had it as player one and player two. All right. Friend. Friend, it just might be. As Dr. Friend. Roach and Slymantha walk down the first hallway of the space station, they see a small robot standing in the middle of a completely destroyed lounge room. Every single piece of furniture has been smashed and reduced to piles of rubber. Howdy. The ceiling has holes in it and the walls have all been smashed through. The little robot is whistling a song Howdy. and starts to work to break apart another table. He doesn't seem to notice Dr. Roach and Slymantha enter the room. Roach! <laughs> Roach! Roach! What's going on here? <gasps> Asks Dr. Roach. Samantha takes a closer look at the robot. I've never seen anything like him before. He looks like one of my old toys, says Dr. Roach. What does that Roach! mean, Dr. Roach? I don't... <laughs> Dr. Roach, do you care to elaborate what the hell that means? One of your toys? Maybe Dr. Wait, Dr. Roach was a space, a space doctor, he said. Yeah. Monka S. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do? He's a little robot here. He's been dismantling Son! this place. His son. his AI his son. You could try to adopt him. We could <laughs> we could adopt him if you'd like. Quick draw. S Samantha, don't shoot the robot. Samantha wants adopt. to kill him. Samantha, adopt. just because just you're a space cowgirl doesn't mean you gotta examine. you gotta you know quick draw everything. Oh, examine. Okay, playing this like an actual game. I like it, Samantha. Yeah, let's look, let's maybe let's examine a little bit closer. How about that? High noon. <laughs> High noon. Examine. My boy. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Dr. Roach and Slime My Manta boy. decide to examine the little robot and gather more information. L U L. Dr. Roach crouches down next to the little robot. Hey there. Are you okay? Bats. What happened? What happened? Vets. Hello. Samantha, Sings chill. out the little robot. How are you today? Samantha kneels down next to the little robot. <laughs> okay, what do we do? Samantha seems to want to kill the thing for some strange reason. Hug! Aw, hug. Hug my That's boy. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> hug <laughs> my boy. <laughs> I have Dr. Robot. Dr. Robot hugs. The little robot. And says. Pet. My boy. The little robot claps his hands together and smiles happily. Thanks for coming to pick me up. I'm glad you're here. Are we ready to do some exploring? <gasps> okay. The robot turns around and walks to an opening in the wall. Oh, right off the oh, bat, we've got a... A party member. We got a Why party member. I love my son. <laughs> I love my son. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so tragic if how something is, happens to this. How is this so wholesome compared to mine? What the hell? Did you guys get out of your system with me? And now you're playing nice? Oh, I, uh, love I just my made son. a cute little robot. God damn it. You're right. I should have made a cute little robot at the start. <laughs> you just made edible looking people. Yeah, yeah. that was my bad. <laughs> All right. You guys, you guys can Follow. loot around in this room. Proud see if there's anything... Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to do in this room before we move on? I was expecting you guys to like, I don't know, beat this robot up or something, but you've adopted him, so so name him. Oh yeah, what do you want to name, name him? Name son. All right, I'm all ears. What do you guys yeah, name come son? Come up with a good name. Name son. Derma. <laughs> no, no, not again. <laughs> Craig. Okay, Craig. Craig. Jerma. Little Goku. Craig. Okay, let me put that in the story. My chat has two fucking notes. <laughs> Craig. Oh, Dr. A, third no a third note. Craig. Okay. Craig. Craig. All right, it's a, a consensus has been reached. Craig it is. Dr. Roach decides to adopt a little robot and name him Craig. Craig. You need to get back to your quarters before you can begin this quest. Oh. You have already left your quarters boy, when Craig. you entered the main corridor of the uh, space station, oh. so you'll have Craig to go Ken. back through the door that brought you here. Sorry, um, sorry, so sorry, sorry. I guess we should retry. Uh, yeah, or we just bring Craig with us back to the, you know. 
Oh, here we go, here we go. Something's happening. Craig leads Dr. Roach and Slamantha through several corridors filled with debris until he reaches a large, open chamber. Redo. Several small robots stand lined Craig. up in front of a tall metal door, which is covered in thick layers of dust and rust. Okay. Okay. I, uh, uh that'll work. What do you guys want to do? More correct. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to adopt these guys too? I mean, we could. Oh, they could. Uh, they could be hostile. I mean, we have Bipolar to be. Craig's. All right. Let's see here. How many we got? Several small My robots boy. lined in front of a tall Family. metal door. Okay, let's first. Maybe we should inquire Robot and see if what these robots are doing here and why Craig let us Family. here. Yeah, well, I, I mean, what, they, well, yeah. What is Craig's uh, function here? If Craig led the way. Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Um Does anyone who wants to volunteer to try to communicate with Craig and see if we can get an answer out of him? Oh, Hana. Ask Craig. <laughs> oh, Hana means family. Oh, Hana means family. <laughs> okay, they want to ask Dr. Roach Craig. ask Craig. Um why he led them Obama to these robots. Oh, no, they're just rhyming. <laughs> Let's see what Craig has to say. Obama means family. I <laughs> need help. Sings out the little robot. <gasps> Obama on, means then, family. Says Dr. Roach. Osama. Let's see what they're doing. <laughs> Come on, guys. What? Dr. Roach and Slimantha, what are you talking about? tries to speak to each one individually. Craig needs help. He's Stay trying to on talk task. to the robots. He's trying to talk to the robots. Yo, mama. How did that pop right. up three times? Three different spellings <laughs> of yo, mama. Did they just fucking get Dr. Roach? <laughs> Was that a got him? I don't know. Guys, Guys Craig we needs can't your help. Enemy arc. Help. help, Craig. Help oh, my boy. Dr. Got Roach him. and Slimantha. Decide to help little Craig and his friends. Oh, thank goodness. Do we know they're his friends yet? Help my boy. I don't know. Help Robert Craig. Walks over to the line of robots. Should I go forward with this one or do it differently? Yeah, no, I... If, if they're their PhD. friends. Use PhD. Good, Dr. Roach. Maybe it will come in handy. We'll see. Let's see what these By robots have. Him Use PhD. A large chamber. Absorb! The robots are trying to repair themselves using broken pieces of machinery. They have stripped off parts of their Use bodies PhD. and are carefully replacing them with new components. The robot's limbs have been replaced several times, but they still won't move properly. Aww. Wait, what happened? Use gun! That's sad. Just a bunch of broken robots trying to fix themselves. Repair? Dr. Ro My Dr. Poor Roach. Boys. You're Dr. Sedge. Roach. Do you think you're capable of repairing a robot? You're Use a space gun. doctor for crying out loud. You slime. <laughs> I think slime Anthem yes. might be onto something. Yeah, are you gonna try to fix them with your slime? You slime. PhD. <laughs> I don't think your PhD is very helpful here, Dr. Roach. I think okay, slime let's give it a shot. We really want to use the PhD. Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait. Dr. Robot suggests that the group use his doctorate. Prime time. His PhD. What is, how do you spell PhD? Is it PhD? Is it P dot? Yeah, is there a dot? It's just PhD. PhD in robotics. Okay, Dr. Robot suggests that the group use his PhD to try and help robot? the robots. Slamantha. Wants to use her slime. Doctor Roach. He's just saying his own name, like <laughs> the last <laughs> character. The two were. Wait, wait it's Doctor Roach. You said Doctor Robot. No. Oh no. He was trying to correct you. I fix them I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm sorry. One sec. Circuitry says Doctor Robot. I can make their limbs get, function get rid of this, get rid of this. again. Says. Sorry, Doctor Roach. Undo. Your slime wouldn't be able to handle the strength of these robotic arms, oh my says Dr. Robot.
one G. While Dr. Roach and Samantha discuss their options, Craig begins working on another robot. Dr. Roach and Bro, Samantha no. see that the robot's eyes are stuck <laughs> shut. By Can the way, you fix him? I sent you uh, an updated image. Oh my god, Kraken. Oh, this is cool. Here, I'll drag this in. Although I think I'm uh, now seeing that. As oh, yeah, you are. I didn't know it was going to open up in that browser. It's okay. My boys! My OBS has become a mess, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I was doing Long it time. so well, I was keeping up with stuff. Fly my. I just ruined everything. How did I mess it up so bad, Kraken? If you could see my OBS. All right, here we go. Fix my boy. Oh, it's good. It's good. They're they're good, guys. They're good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's go fix them now. All right, Lubricate. can you fix them? Can you fix them with your PhD? Dr. Roach, this might be a little bit out of your field. Yes! <laughs> All right. Let's give it a shot. Yes! Slime lube. Slime time. <laughs> Slime lube, okay. Dr. Roach attempts to fix the broken robots. Using Slimantha's slime lubricant. Using Slimantha's slime for a lubricant. Fake teamwork, doctor. Guys. Okay. Yeah, guys, ah. you <laughs> 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 works well, but it's not enough to fully restore the robots to full functionality. Samantha suggests that she could use her slime as a glue instead, which would make the repairs much stronger. Oh, just change, ah. change the function of your, of your slime, guys. Slime All glue. Right, uh, let's, give, let's give the slime glue slime a shot. Blue. Okay, they seem on the same slime page. Slime glue. Slimantha, how much uh, slime do you have to spare, by the way? Because this is your main, Easy. you know, corporeal self. Just a reminder. The two decide to move forward with the slime glue approach. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now that the robots are fixed, calories. they are able to move again. One of them walks over to the massive metal door. As soon as it touches the surface, <gasps> the door opens. You guys figured out the broken robot puzzle! Woo! This is a huge day. 49 calories. We can attempt to adopt them too. Let's just Clap. let's roll it again and see if it tells us anything about this door. Yeehaw! See? Says Craig. That wasn't oh. too hard, was it? Oh! Dr. Roach and Slamanda follow Craig into a new area of the space station. What a perfect transition a into the, later, next, doctor. the next area. The next area. Now, what's that going to be? Easy. The next area is... <laughs> Dude, this, the way this transitioned, a few minutes later, Easy doctor... Peasy. Wait, is that where I put it? Uh, yeah, either we change the scene now or you do that, that first. Okay. A few minutes later, Dr. Roach and Slimantha make their way further into the space station. They begin to hear robotic voices and the sound of something banging around in the kitchen. As they approach the kitchen, they see that it's a complete mess with food splattered oh, all along the you. walls and floor. Good, Dr. Roach. There's pots and pans and bowls laying everywhere on Muted. every countertop, all filled to the brim with various types of soup. At the center of the kitchen, you see... Kraken. You scene see... number two. <gasps> 1984. Bum, bum, bum. Not muted. You see two little robots. Wait, where did my thing go? One sec. Hey. Two little robot chefs working hat. Why are you screaming? They're so okay. cute. My boys. <laughs> My boys. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach build all of these robots. <laughs> Shoot. Two little robot Shoot. chefs working draw. happily. Wait, I, I think I think we're getting an I action knew. from Slamantha. Is this a quick draw? All right, let's let's progress the scene here and see what happens. And then Slamantha can Two try boys. to shoot shoot the robots, I guess. The robot quick on the draw. right looks up at Dr. Roach and Slamantha and waves. Hello there. We can't stop cooking soup, says the robot in a cheerful voice. No. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> My boys! That's... Where did all... Oh, wait. Where did all of this come from? Asks Dr. Roach. From everywhere and anywhere. Sings out the little robot chef. We've My been boy. making lots of different kinds Shoot of soups. Soup. All right. Well, Protect. I think it's time for Slimantha to make a make a make a move. What do you want to do, Slimantha? I saw absorb soup and shoot soup. Absorb soup. Do you want do you want to stick your little slime tendril shoot into soup. the into the soup and and <laughs> soak it up, become soup Mantha? If you if you do this, I will have to change your absorb profile. Absorb soup. And you will become soup Mantha. How many calories soup in a Mantha. soup? I wonder. 51 calories. All right, I'll write this down. Samantha. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Without even hesitating, Slimantha yes. starts, what, what was it? Sucking down the soup? How did you Abs phrase absorbing, it? Absorbing, they said. Absorbing the soup with her slime tendrils. I don't know. I don't... 5,000 calories. Absorb. <laughs> uh, says Craig. We don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> Dr. Roach ignores the warning and continues Suck. eating soup. Be careful, warns Craig. <laughs> that's a little worrying. Guys, what do you do? You keep eating soup or do you uh, listen to Craig's warnings? You become soup, My Mantha? soup. Suck. Okay. All right. Slimantha keeps eating the soup. Doctor Doctor Roach. Listen. Okay. Doctor <laughs> <Listen>. Roach. <laughs> Doctor Roach is a little. Listen. He's a little peeved off. <laughs> Doctor Roach immediately stops eating soup. However. Spit. Oh yes. Yeah, stops eating the Feed soup Roach. and spits it out. Slimantha keeps eating though. Feed Roach. It's good, says Samantha. No. This is delicious. <laughs> yeah, He's trying to stop Craig. her, dude. Once a week or so, we make a bunch of different kinds of soup and just eat it all. Wow, that's a weird robot custom. I, I was envisioning this scene being completely different. And they just eat all the soup? Trust my boy. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Dr. Roach, you say trust my boy, but trust he seemed to not want you to eat the soup. Are you guys gonna keep eating the soup? What are you doing? Okay, I yum. I I'm trying to <laughs> trying Trust to generate boy. a new <laughs> soup mantha. No soup. It's vaguely working. Uh, give me another minute. I'll, I'll... No soup. All right, Doctor Roach force feed does Roach. not slime mantha behave. There will be no force feeding Doctor Roach if he doesn't want to eat the soup. Maybe it's robot soup. Maybe robots eat it and it's not for humans. Hmm. No! <laughs> Force feed! <laughs> no! Sorry! Alright, Dr. Roach... Oil soup! ...stops eating the robot soup because he worries... Not human! It's not Change good for Change color! Samantha. Okay, yeah, change color. That's actually a better way of doing it. We're going to change color to the color of that soup, which is orange. Slimantha keeps eating the soup and even starts to change colors from eating so much soup. <gasps> Hug my boy. <laughs> How does soup make you change color? Asks Dr. Soup Roach. Manta. All sorts of things make us change color, replies Craig. It's fun being a little robot. <laughs> okay, that's okay. kind of cute, dude. Craig is <laughs> Craig is so like, he's so smart, dude. This is weird. I was not expecting him to. All right, and he's like he's behaving in like a believable way. Ah. I like Craig. Samantha is now Soup smart Mantha. Boy. I've updated my uh, my side of things. Uh, she's also orange now. Smart boy. It, uh, no new image. I just changed the uh, the hue shift of the background. Oh, I see. Let me do that. It's now orange, the color of the soup. Now, 
I think that means soup Shut Mantha. Shut up, Craig. What is That's the flavor of the soup? Yeah, we maybe we should ask that. One second, let me hue shift this bad boy. Absorb Craig. Absorb Craig? His little robot friend? What? What is the limit of your power, Soup Mantha? E. No! Absorb Craig. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> okay. Tomato gaming. <laughs> Without even hesitating. Without even hesitating, no. Samantha starts trying to absorb Craig. Tomato <gasps> gaming. Protect. What is Dr. Roach going to do? With her slime tendrils, Craig managed with to escape slime with the tendrils. Oh, I keep forgetting she's going to Craig read it. manages to escape the sliming and hops away from Protect. Samantha. Crap, she grabbed me. What the? Oh. The two can the language deeper into the Dr. Roach, you're gonna let your little Mantha. robot talk like that? Kill! Crap! <laughs> <laughs> Crap, she crapped me. I gotta know what flavor uh, of soup soup Mantha is. Craig Mantha! Yeah, let's let's retry. And I'll or let me see, how do I undo or go back? Undo is on the left. With her slime. Okay. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Tomato! PhD in kill! <laughs> Dr. Roach! Tomato gaming! What kind of soup is this? You the little ask? robot chef points to his chest. Ooh. This kind. <gasps> what? But what makes it taste so good? Huh? Asks Dr. Roach. Everything tastes good when you're a little robot. <laughs> That's his little answer chef. to everything, dude! <laughs> everything tastes good when you're a little robot! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dude, he's just a little robot and he's happy. So, uh, is, is right. the soup is robot soup? I'm, you know, Kraken, I wish I could tell you. I still, he did not make it much clearer. Does that mean I don't... that Soup Mantha's now part robot? I guess it is robot soup. Man, okay. Wait, so, robot soup! So we're trying to get out of the station, right? Trying to find a way out. Trying to get deeper into the station to stop the AI that's gone crazy. Okay, but this AI seems friendly so far. We haven't found any AI that's been not nice. I'm proud of my yeah. boy. <laughs> so far, the robots have Nano just been machine. kind of peaceful. All right, let's go on to the next area then, dude. Yeah, I guess so. I, anything else you guys want to say or do with the, the cooking, happy cooking soup? Nano machine sun. Yeah, I guess. Dude, it's so funny watching that. All right, say bye. Say bye to the chef robots. Bye. Bye. Bye, boys. Bye. <laughs> Is, wait, hey, wait. Bye. Are we still taking Craig? Yeah, of course. Craig's coming along. Okay, okay, okay. Hug my boys. Yes. So let me no. get this next yes. one entered in. No? Soup Mantha wants to ditch Craig here? Soup Manta chill. I mean, it might get more dangerous deeper in. We don't know. Maybe it's for the best we leave Craig here. Absorb Craig. Oh, oh no, she wants, she just wants to absorb Craig. It's not a, it's not for his best interest. She wants to leave. Soup Manta, I would not make an enemy with Dr. Roach absorb and Craig. Craig. They're very powerful. They're he's, very he's powerful He's got a PhD team. in something. Space or something. Yeah. All right. Dr. Roach, Craig, and Slamantha progress through the ruins of the space station and come PhD across a small convenience store. There's garbage Fuck litter you. in the ground, and most PhD things have been knocked off the shelves. Pish. <laughs> Inside, there's a robot clerk standing in the center of the room in a pile of garbage. Next to him is a trash can with a dead robot propped up inside of it. Here, uh, Craig, can go to scene three for a little bit of context. Oh, shit. Scene three? Yeah, scene three. Guys. Bump. Ba, ba. My boy. Sorry guys, it's not all have fun and games down here. Sometimes shit gets real. Quick draw. <laughs> Slamantha, we don't know if they're evil yet. It's Let's Soup just Mantha chill now, Charbark. Sorry, draw. let me change my name. Let me change it in here. That. Soup Mantha. Quick draw. Cry. Let's okay before yeah. we before we start making decisions here that we might regret. Let's just press yeah. enter we and see, see what, what happens. 
This is a convenience store. There's a garbage can with a robot in it and a clerk standing there. The robot clerk looks at you and says... Bang, bang. (laughs) Soup Mantha is so quick to shoot. Welcome to the grocery store. Can I help you find anything? No, thank you, says Dr. Roach. (laughs) Okay, says the robot clerk. What can I help you with? PhD cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does Soup Mantha have a gun even? I Yeah, we hadn't really established that. So Soup Mantha said that, Craig. that her job on the station was cowgirl and that she was the captain. But is Soup Mantha, are you security or like... Big iron. Okay, you, so you have a space gun. They just have slime a gun. gun. You have a slime gun, okay. Big iron. So you fire, you, is, you fire your own slime or do you have like a separate... And a ammunition pouch. Bounty hunter. You're a bounty hunter. Okay. All right. You're a slime girl bounty hunter with the slime gun. Eat soup mantha. Slime mantha. Oh. Fifty slime calories. Mantha changes her name to soup mantha and shoots the Fifty robot calories. clerk. Huh? <laughs> no. What? Why'd you do that? <laughs> cries the robot clerk, shocked and confused. Because I said so, says Samantha. I don't want anything from here. <laughs> fine, fine, says Again. the robot clerk. Fine, fine, you don't have to buy Again. anything. Again, <laughs> Again Samantha. <laughs> Samantha, chill. You've already shot him, let's Again. just move on. What, 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 what? <laughs> okay, so this, this used to be a... Uh, what, like a convenience store for the station? Oh, God. Samantha shoots the robot clerk again. Double tap. Kissing him to fall down and slump onto the ground. No. She kicks the garbage can over the robot's head and he falls unconscious. <gasps> Dr. Roach decides to buy a loaf of bread at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> okay. L U L. Oh, my God, dude. All Fred. right, Dr. <laughs> Fred. <Yeah, me. laughs> Looks delicious, Absorb Dr. Roach. Bread. My bread. Oh, soup man. Right. Uh, let Dr. Roach have something, okay? Not everything has to be absorbed. We let you shoot the robot clerk, soup man. Can Come you chill? Come on. Take your turn. No. All right. <laughs> she's. Absorb soup man is like evil. Yeah, she's just very, uh, she's very greedy. Dr. Roach. Uh- what does Dr. Roach want? He wants to repair the robots, apparently. You you guys want to you wanna give it a shot, Dr. Roach? Repair the ro- robot she just shot? I do feel bad. Sorry. I feel bad that you're such a yes. fan of robots, Dr. Roach, Sorry. and then she just keeps wanting Feed to kill him. Feed my boy. <laughs> he wants to, he yes. got the bread for the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach gives Craig a bite of the bread. JK. And tells him that it tastes good. Shoot again. But what about the other stuff in here? Asks Craig. Shouldn't we be getting that? Getting Dr. That? Roach ignores the comment and continues eating his bread. The other stuff in here. Ask, ask Craig what other stuff there is. Okay. PhD in boy. Uh, uh? What other stuff? <laughs> what are you talking about, Dr. Roach? Dr. Roach just says things sometimes. Yeah. He's, he's insane. What other stuff? Huh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Even they They're don't know it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. You, wait, we could. You guys want to re-roll this Pronto. one about the asking Craig? Or giving bread no, to I, Craig? I think this is fine. You can just ask okay, Craig okay. about what's, what's, you know, what else is in the store or like what's going on. Absorb PhD. No, that's his only thing. Come that's on, all Samantha. he's got going for him. What other stuff do you no. want from the store? No. <laughs> no. Absorb PhD. I grab the boy. <laughs> I don't know, says Craig. Let me think about it for a while. Dr. Roach and Slamenda explore further into the space station. Oh. After walking for quite a distance, they come across a computer terminal in the storage room. 
Okay, this... Okay, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. I don't know why we're... try? A, you don't want to... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're blowing through the... I only have a, a Not my boy. short few scenes. Okay, let's... So I feel like I want to spend a little yeah, bit of time... Yeah, let's go back to this room, because... Yeah, Sumantha so shot down the robot. We can go back to there. I like the loaf of bread, though. Okay, then we can keep the lo loaf of bread. He's eating his bread. <laughs> or you just retry and see what if you see I something close else. Close the curtains. Eat Sumantha. All right, retrying. When Craig and Dr. Roach... When Craig oh, and Dr. Roach forget. reach the end of the aisle, they find a refrigerator filled with various types of canned goods. The robot clerk Fish. stands behind the counter and offers to open a tin for anyone who wants to buy one. Okay, the robot clerk is back up, but I think Soup Mantha's probably calmed down a little bit, right? Soup Mantha not gonna shoot any more, uh... Yeah. Soup Mantha, you, you chill? We good? He's managed to make a full recovery, canned apparently. Bread. Yeah, let's see if they might have any shoot. canned bread, Dr. Ro oh, mm -hmm. Shoot again! Oh, Soup Mantha! Soup Mantha's like that bully kid that keeps smashing your toys, you know? No! <laughs> no! Maybe it was the soup that did it. Maybe we gotta get the soup out of Soup Mantha. Get her back into Slime Mantha. Dr. Roach asks if Take there's any canned bread for sale, but then Soup My Mantha boy. shoots the robot again. Oh. This time the robot clerk doesn't wake up. <gasps> He's dead now, Evil says soup. soup Mantha. I should kill him again. What? Why? <laughs> Asks Craig. Be. Because he's a robot, replies Subantha. Oh my what god! What in the hell, dude? <laughs> Something about this soup robot, this robot soup really got in. Maybe we should focus on getting that soup out of Soup Mantha. It's Be. racist. It's 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 gotten <laughs> bad. It's gotten to a bad point. Maybe ask them for it's like absorbent, you know, something absorbent from the store to get rid of the soup. Well, well, ask who? The clerk's dead. Oh, she you're shot right. him dead. The clerk is dead. Kill Craig. Kill Dr. Craig. Roach. We gotta do something, man. Supantha's gonna kill Craig next. Dr. Roach, come on, you a PhD. Think up something, quick. Supantha gets a wild look in her eye. Come on, Dr. Roach. It's down to you. We need you to stop this. And starts walking towards Craig. She Take draws her gun. Wait. Dr. Roach is trying to take the gun. Take the gun. And he's he saying use bread. Gun, but Dr. Roach tries to take it. And then he's trying to use the bread to absorb the soup, I think. Okay, okay, let's try this. How do I word this? Uh, she draws her gun, and but Dr. Roach tries to take it. All right, maybe we'll do the, we'll, we'll, we'll do the bread part in a second. Let's go with this one and okay. see how this plays out. Away from her. Hey, shout Superman. Absorb bread. I'm sick of your shit. <gasps> hey, shouts Craig. Stop acting crazy. Don't touch that gun. D. It, it's, what it's, do we do? I, I, I think the bread is the only option, man. Maybe, okay. maybe the bread will absorb the soup, or maybe the, the she'll she'll absorb the bread and become bread Use mantha. Bread, bread mantha. Doctor Roach throws the bread at soup mantha. Take the shot. Shoot bread. And knocks her out. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, says Dr. Roach. She shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to see if you were as stupid as she made you sound, says Z -Z -Z. Craig. What? Well, Craig called you stupid, Z -Z -Z. Dr. Roach. He has a PhD. He has a Z -Z -Z. PhD, Craig. Evil Craig It's not easy to get one of those. D. All right, maybe... Uh... Evil Craig. While Soup Mantha's passed out, she absorbs the bread and becomes bread Mama Mantha. My. Okay, okay. Craig, edge. And this can, and then she can get a personality change and be nice again. Soup Mantha. Uh -huh. My boy, Bread Mantha. My boy. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Roach, maybe, maybe put him in timeout for a little bit. Yeah. Make him stand in the corner or something. That's so unfortunate that he's talking back to you like this. Um. Change color. 
While Supmantha is passed out, she absorbs the bread. This causes her to become Bread Mantha. Grounded. <laughs> and turn bright red. Bright red, Dr. Kraken. Roach oh, decides okay. to give Supmantha some time to rest. Craig and Dr. Roach continue down the aisle of the grocery store. They reach the end of the aisle where they see a large window with a view of the space station. Wow. Red bread. <laughs> red bread. All right. All right. Now she's bread mantha. Yeah, I got to change that too. She's going through an entire. Yeah, there's a lot of. There's a whole character arc. A lot of red bread here. redemption. Red bread redemption. I can't believe that many people said that, that they were able to get that read aloud. <laughs> Ugh. Red right. bread redemption. I guess they they want to ground uh they want to ground Craig. Yeah, I mean he's so, been no rude. Xbox. Okay, <laughs> no Xbox. Okay, Doctor Roach decides to ground. Uh, decide decides to punish Craig for talking back. Dr. One Roach. Last job. Dr. Roach takes away Craig's Xbox. <laughs> D. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Oh my god, my chat's still on the red dead thing. It, so Guys. Craig. <laughs> Fucking wake oh, up. Yeah? Faith, oh says yeah. Dr. Roach. So, what do you think is going on here? Craig oh, thinks yeah. for a moment. Tahiti. Chat, Dr. Roach is making fun of you and you're just still on Red Dead. Like, come on, you guys are the worst at fucking standing up for yourselves. ZZZ. <laughs> Gotch. Dr. Roach. ZZZ. Yeah, okay, okay, they're back in character. They're still passed out. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Ed. Dr. One, Roach, do you accept the apology ZZZ. that Craig has given you? He says, I didn't mean anything by it. Do you think it's okay? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. There, yes. there we go. Forgive my boy. Bitch. Dr. Roach decides to forgive Craig for being Dreaming mean. of Red Dead. <laughs> okay. Hug my boy. Aww. To him earlier and gives him back his Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Craig runs back over to the game console and starts playing his favorite video games again. <laughs> Dr. Roach Dreaming and Craig Tahiti. continue looking through the store. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Craig's playing his favorite game. He's, everything's hey, back to normal. What's his favorite game, do you think? Is it Red Dead? Red Bread? Let's ask him. Let's ask him. <laughs> red Bread? Fuck. Red Bread. Wake up. I like how you're just leaving Bread Mantha passed out this entire wake time. Wake up, dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should wake her up, huh? No, she's What's been your favorite game? Mine okay. is the one where you shoot people. Minecraft. <gasps> I love shooting things. Me too, says Doctor Roach. Uh, shooting things makes me feel real bad inside. Monk ass. <laughs> Red Manta. Me. Maybe uh. Uh. Doctor Roach. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on. Let's let's get out of this. Uh, let's let's not go any farther. Ah. Uh, me too. Uh, <laughs> me too. Right. Quick draw. Wake up. Um, okay, we gotta change her name. H how are we gonna get her name? Let me just Quick see draw. what it says. Bread Manta finally wakes up. I guess. <laughs> From her now. Okay, no, there's now a character hey named Bread Manta and Soup Manta. I'm no, hungry. we gotta undo it. <laughs> Uh, how about Walking. after absorbing the bread, Soup Mantha becomes Bread Wake Mantha. Wake me up inside. And then, and then wakes up to, uh, you know, whatever. My toes wake up. My toes is. Save me. Oh my God. She wakes up singing. after some time. Save me. Save me. <laughs> Is it time to go home yet? Asks Bridmantha. Not quite, says Craig. 
we should probably get some more supplies before we leave. Red Mantha becomes excited. Red Mantha, get excited! <gasps> what supplies? Dr. Roach, you're a doctor. You know a lot of good things. What's something you should look for uh, to help you on your journey? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yeehaw! Bread! <laughs> okay, Yeehaw. they want more bread. bread. Alright, bread. PhD! Yeehaw! So, Bread Mantha, maybe this, maybe being bread mode is now you're just excited all the time, you know? Frogs! Dr. Roach steals as much bread as Giddy he can up. before they move on. Oh. Bread Mantha becomes angry. Oh. 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 You stole my bread. Uh oh. She oh. says. Oh, God. I'm sorry, says Craig. Did I break your rules? Can <laughs> we still be friends? Madge! Yes, <laughs> says Bread Mantha. Oh, but they're still friends. It's okay. Friends can right, fight this sometimes. Is fine. It's fine. But it's sorry. okay. Sorry. Quick draw. You said sorry. Whoa, 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 chill. Whoa, whoa, hey, Bread Mantha. Mantha. Forgive. Okay, they forgive. Okay. Smiley face. Dude, she's so. Quick draw is not forgive. wrong. She is so yeah, quick she's... to pull that gun up. I mean, she is a space cowgirl, you know? All right. Dr. Roach, we've got a good location coming up here. You're a doctor, right? So Forgive. you might enjoy going to the med bay. <gasps> How about we go to the med Whoa. bay? You guys can look for some supplies. Whoa. Maybe some Bug stuff Zinga. that hasn't been looted. <laughs> Bug Zinga is right, dude. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Dr. Roach and Slimantha decide to go to the... Oh, Dr. Roach, let me write Craig in here. Dr. Roach, Frogs. Craig, and Slimantha decide uh, to go Red to the medical Mantha. department. My bad. 1G. Slimezinga. Dr. Roach, Craig, and Bread Mantha decide to go to the medical department to look for supplies. They enter through the broken doors and begin 1G. to search the different rooms of the space station's hospital. It seems that the entire place has been looted and torn to pieces. Huh? The ground One is covered G. in rubble and garbage, and the carpet is soaked in blood. What? Blood? <gasps> blood. What scene is this? This is scene four. Absorb Suddenly, drugs. Dr. Roach and Slimantha hear the terrible mechanical sound <gasps> of something inhuman trudging down the hallway. Ah! Dr. Roach peeks out into the hallway and sees drugs. two humanoid medical robots approaching their Quick location. Draw. The robots have suffered heavy damage. Many of their limbs have been stripped down to their Quick mechanical draw. insides, and they begin, they're both covered. <laughs> My boy! <laughs> Quick draw! Okay, Dr. Red Mantha actually would no have the right idea this time. <laughs> the robots are normally programmed to treat humans, but because of the rogue AI, they are now ignoring their programming and behaving unpredictably. The robots have spotted Dr. Roach and. Not my boys! Bread Mantha. Bats! And are now approaching them with intent to kill. Uh oh. Run! Shouts Craig. Get out of here. Bread Mantha changes into a zombie and starts running huh? toward the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach, Craig, and Bread Mantha run through the wrecked halls of the space station. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Bread <laughs> Bread Mantha is now a Rebuild zombie. Let's Manta. change the color accordingly. Zombie Mantha. Uh, okay. <laughs> you want to redo or do you want to become Zombie Mantha? Yeah, what did she absorb? Redo. Maybe she stepped in some of the blood. Yeah, I mean, redo. maybe you absorbed the blood. Okay, no, redo. they both want to redo. Okay, okay. Okay, redo, redo, redo. Redo. Scrap that from the record. Run, shouts Dr. Roach. They'll destroy us all. Red Mantha runs past Dr. Roach and Samantha redo. and leaps at the two robots. I need you to help me fight these robots. All right, Dr. Okay. Dr. Dr. Roach is running. Slamantha wants to kill. Wait, Bread My Mantha is a new person here, by the way. I want to point that out. Bread Mantha runs Quick past draw. Dr. Roach and Slamantha. <laughs> and leaves it. Mitosis. Mitosis. Not my boy. Mitosis. Mitosis. <laughs> Dr. Roach. Okay. Dr. Roach wants to save these robots. Mitosis. He keeps calling them his boys. Huh? 
I th he loves the robots. He loves all robots. Slime Manta, or Bread Manta, Quick or Zombie draw. Manta. <laughs> Which one are we on right now? Okay, we'll just do this. We'll do this. Dr. Roach wants to save these robots. He keeps calling them my boys. And doesn't want them to get hurt. You got to listen to me. Says Bread Manta. Oh, my boys. These robots are evil. <laughs> They're trying to kill us. The two medical robots don't seem to notice Bread Manta or the robots advances towards them. Don't seem to notice Bread Manta or the robots advances towards them. Uh, we can just get rid of or the robots. So that means we're, we're sneaking up on them. Dr. Roach says, no, please don't hurt them. Bread Manta says, we have to. Are we going to do, is it, it Bread Manta? PhD in boys. <laughs> Dr. Roach, please. Kill boys. Okay. Bread Manta wants to get a sneak <laughs> attack off. With a quick draw. Huh. All right, let's do let's do something where Bread Manta tries to do something. Okay, yes. And Dr. Roach tries to do something at the same yeah, time. Dr. Roach. Ah. Wins. Are you gonna try to stop Bread Manta? Kill boys. Or are you gonna let her? As long as you know the killing isn't by your own your, your own hand, maybe it's okay. Save boys. Dr. Roach, Bread are you gonna Manta jump in front of the, the gun? Right as Dr. Okay. Bread Manta attempts to shoot the evil robots right as Dr. Roach Bats. attempts to save them. I'll be vague here and see how it yeah. uh, interprets this. Fly Both moon. shots miss. <laughs> Bread Manta then tries to hit the robots with their fists, <gasps> but she isn't strong enough. Come on, shouts Bread Manta. Help me. Stop them from killing me. Dr. Oh. Roach, your move. Dr. Roach, are you going to help? Help. Help. Riposo. <laughs> Dr. Roach, <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right. Well, they've made their call. D. Dr. Roach says, L. Fuck you. Rip Bozo. And doesn't attempt to help. <laughs> Absorb boys. Absorb. Doesn't attempt to help Absorb. in any way. Why aren't you helping? Asks Bridmantha. Craig helps Bridmantha attack the robots. We should help them. Says Brit Mantha. Huh? No. It's just says it's cool. Here, I see no. we redo this. Yeah, one. we just redo. That was that was broken. Ha! Huh. What are you waiting for? Screams Brit Mantha. Save your boys. Oh. Brit Mantha jumps and throws herself at the two medical robots. Her fist hits one of the robots, knocking it out cold. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we got one down. One robot's down. Okay. Dr. Roach, your response? Absorb. Okay, Bread Mantha wants to pounce on the downed one and absorb, absorb. them. Absorb. Okay. My boys. <laughs> My boys. Bread Mantha attempts to absorb the downed robot. Reprogram. Dr. Roach Ads. screams, my boys. Okay, hold on. And then suggests. We got ads on my side. We might have to pause for a minute. Okay. But yeah, if you want to finish writing this one out. Samantha. So yeah. Dr. Roach screams, my boys, and then suggests, or is he just going to try to reprogram, uh, to, uh, reprogram them? Yeah, let's, and then suggest they attempt to reprogram the evil robots. Instead of attacking them, he does have a PhD. Samantha. Remind me what remind me what that PhD was in, uh, yeah, Doctor Roach. PhD in reprogram. Oh, fantastic. oh, that's right. How lucky! Yeah. How fortunate that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Fake PhD. <laughs> what do you know? 
Fake PhD. PhD and kill. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Fake we're doctor. Good? All right. Reading it again for the ones who are away. Bread Manta attempts PhD to absorb the down robot. Dr. Roach screams, my boys, and then suggests that they attempt to reprogram the evil robots instead of attacking them. You mustn't kill these robots, says Dr. Roach. Only their programming needs to be changed. You can't do it alone. PhD and fuck and you. Insists Bridmantha. <laughs> we need to work PhD together. And clown. Wait, Bridmantha saying we need to work together. Maybe. Yeah, look, this is a tr like coming together. Yeah, you guys we put aside our differences. To... No. You, think you guys can do. Okay, no. <laughs> it's a no from Bridmantha. What about you, Friend. Dr. Roach? No. Oh, wait, Dr. Roach is extending a hand. Come on. We're no. extending a... a uh, <laughs> Ow! <laughs> a leg? Quick draw. The two... Wait. PhD and friend. friend. Aw. See, no, now they want to be friends. Come on. Are you guys going to be friends? Come on, be friends. Solve this the friend way. Friend. Yes. Yay. Dr. Roach and Bread Mantha decide to work together and attempt to reprogram the robots. I'm tired of fighting, says Bread Mantha. PhD Let's just and JK. steal everything we want from here and run away. What? Dr. Roach we? agrees. Dr. Roach agrees? Bitmantha steals a bunch of supplies, including bandages, syringes, and an assortment of other huh. medical equipment. Thief. What are we thinking? Redo. Thief! <laughs> Dr. Roach? Redo! Okay, okay. They, they won't redo, okay. <laughs> Thief! <laughs> Bridmantha and Slamantha activate the medical robot's programming. The robots stop attacking and start moving around aimlessly. <gasps> they walk around in circles and try to pick up things, but never actually do anything useful. Woohoo! We did it! Uh, Dr. Roach, Absorb that was all Roach. you! My boys! Absorb Roach? Whoa! Okay, chill! My boys! They're now they're, they're, they're peaceful. You guys did it! They're friends hey, you now. guys want to adopt on. them? We can bring them with us. Absorb oh. Roach! Stop absorbing people, Bread Manta. Bread Manta, you're on thin ice. Roach Manta. <laughs> Roach Manta. <laughs> adopt. Adopt. Okay, Dr. Roach wants to adopt these, these now friendly boys. Dr. Robot, Dr. Robot, Dr. Roach. Roach decides Manta. Decides to adopt the two medical Become robots. Become one. <laughs> And take them under his wing. Become one. Become one. Oh my god. Fred Mantha's really insistent. My Assimilate. boys are my boys now. <laughs> my boys are my Dr. boys now. And you're going to be my boy too. What? Assimilate. Bozo agrees, Fred Mantha. <laughs> Make us whole. As soon as Fred Mantha no. absorbs Assimilate. the robot, he turns into a loaf of bread. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, Become Bread Manta one. absorbs a robot and he turns into a. What is happening in this story? Okay, so sorry, I forgot to put that on screen. Uh, let's let's go over this one more time. Rip Bozo. Doctor uh. Roach. <laughs> uh, Doctor Roach redo. tries. No, no, not redo. I I veto Rip that. Bozo. This was good. Rip Bozo agrees, Bread Manta, and then turns the robot into a loaf of bread by absorbing it. Uh, my favorite line is, my boys are my boys now, my <laughs> says Dr. Roach, implying they were his boys before they were his boys. Deep. Okay. Uh, how, how does this absorbed... What do, we, what do we name these robots? Well, one is a loaf of bread. Boy Mantha. Boy Mantha. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, let's name maybe let's name the the loaf of bread one boy mantha because it's been eat bread. <gasps> Wait, you're gonna eat boy your mantha. boy mantha? Don't All eat right, boy mantha, Doctor Dr. Roach. Doctor Roach eats the bread. Bread boy. Doctor Doctor Roach eats the bread, bread robot. boy. And then names the other one. 
What's his name? What's the new guy's name? Your your new no! boy. You've already said My it. Boy. What do you mean, Dr. Roach? You're going to flip like a light switch? Yeah, come on, Dr. Roach. Stick to your guns. Quick draw. What's his name? Quick draw. Quick draw. Craig Jeff. 2. Craig 2, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Which one, Craig 2 or Jeff? Jeff? Jeff got the most votes. Yeah, you're right, Jeff did. Craig and Dr. Roach continue exploring the space station. Where's... They come across an empty room and decide to call it the dining hall. As they enter, there's a horrible grinding noise coming from outside. <gasps> okay. Uh oh. Here we go. Kraken, get 1.5 ready. Yep. Monka S. PhD and right. Jeff. As Dr. Roach and Slimantha, wait, Dr. Roach. Craig and Slimantha wander through the hallways They enter a big open room that looks like a destroyed cafeteria. Sitting at one of the remaining tables, they see a small group of humans wearing full pink bodysuits and <gasps> making a terrible noise. Huh? Huh? Hi there, says Craig. Uh, would you mind not doing that? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, asks Craig. Uh, are they bothering you? Gil. Yes. Yes, you Says have. Samantha. They're so annoying. Why does everyone say among this is, looks nothing like Among Us? <laughs> it's a squid game. <laughs> that sounded exactly like squid game. I thought you had it on a on <laughs> Yeah, man, sorry. I had to, to stop, otherwise you're going to get flagged. Among Us. Among Us. S-U-S. S-U-S. Okay, they, okay, okay. Game. Uh, this was a uh, how did I how did I not foresee any of this? Dude, I thought this was a Mogus when you first posted it because they're at a table, an emergency meeting, and they're fucking in full body suits. <laughs> I didn't even consider this. You guys are poisoned by the internet. Yes. Sauce. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> okay. 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 Craig what said he do? wanted what, to what, shoot him. Bent. Wait, Fred, what's what's our move, guys? We can't just keep making Among Us references. There We've is a make vent a move over at there. some point. Stop! Yeah, stop. That, is, no, stop. That, that is an option. Fred <laughs> Manta is made out of uh, vent. you know pliable Kill. liquid. She can she can slip in there. Okay, the consensus seems to be quick draw and kill. So. Are we just going to shoot the humans? <laughs> the uh, only I, guess, the, I mean, these are... Well, guys, we don't even know why they're down PhD here. PhD you... in kill. Okay, yeah, All Dr. Right. Roach does have a PhD in kill, so... Bend. Dr. Roach decides to use his PhD in kill. Um, wait, Dr. Roach has a PhD in kill. So he decides... Talk. To kill the three humans. Well, Bramantha wants to talk for Not once. Not my boys! Sitting at the table. Bradmantha's just a contrarian. Humans Finally, not my boy. <laughs> Humans not my <laughs> boys. <laughs> Bradmantha wants to talk to them. Absorb human. Let's see what happens. You've got to stop human making that awful noise, says Bradmantha. I can't help it, says one of the humans. I have to make that noise or else my heart will explode. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, okay, what's the move? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Monk do ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach, you're a doctor, right? Maybe you can help with this. Askers. Askers. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> Absorb human. Don't care. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. We don't care, I guess. Bradman and Dr. Bo Roach both say, I don't care. And then how do we get them to stop? Just, I don't care. Just stop doing it. <laughs> human I don't care. Stop making that noise. Absorb human. 
at the same time. Oh. You two are supposed to be helping Absorbed. me, says Bradmantha. Okay, they're, they're, that Bradmantha means is... you have to agree with you me. You just retry on that one. I don't agree. Redo. Repeatedly. Please, please stop, says the first human. Make that noise, Redo. says Dr. Roach. If you don't, I won't help you. Oh, okay. Now I want him to make the noise. Okay, this is, this is getting, this is getting weird. to be confusing. Yeah. Maybe redo one more time. All right, let's try it. Oh. At the same time. Don't worry, says the other human. I won't make that sound again. Now will you please eat this, says the oh. first human. It's a special snack that I picked up on another planet. No! What's the move? Eat! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Breadmantha no. says yes. Dr. Roach says no. Eat. All right, easy. Easy decision. Absorb. Without even thinking about it, Breadmantha takes the... Oh, there's an update available. Eat! Takes... Takes the snack. Snack Mantha. The special snack. Snack Mantha. Without even thinking about it, Bramantha takes a special snack and eats it. Dr. Roach is worried something might be wrong with the snack. Update. Calm down, Bramantha. We'll see what it does no. first. Do you know how dangerous that was? Asks Dr. Roach. We could have gotten poisoned. Oh. Bradmantha ignores him and continues eating. <gasps> Short time later, Bradmantha feels tired and starts to feel ill. Oh, oh no! She's green again. PhD and stupid. <laughs> Rebozo. <laughs> What's the move? Sick Mantha. This Aww. is so sad. If only they would have listened to Dr. Roach. Sick Mantha. Doc Dr. Roach, it's in the name, Dr. Roach. He's a Roach. doctor after all. All right, now Bread Called Mantha you. is Sick Mantha. All right, I guess you want to just... Absorb what, what, human. What do you think, Kraken? PhD and told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think Bread Mantha made her decision. She's got to sit this out right now, and Dr. Roach has to decide what to move, how to move forward. Cause... All right, Dr. Roach, what's the move? HD and shut up. Kill. <laughs> kill oh. who? Wait, kill who, Dr. Roach? This might be in reference to the humans or it might be in reference to Bread Mantha. Wait, wait, kill Bread Mantha. I mean, Sick Mantha. I'm not sure. Kill humans. Okay, thank okay. you, Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach humans. is Quizraw. furious that the humans poisoned Bread Mantha. He decides to kill them all. Hey, maybe we can get Craig to kill him. Remember, Craig likes to shoot people. Agree. Yeah. And you also, Samantha wants Zinga. in too. So maybe, like, Absorb humans. you know, he, he, make, he does the command, and then both Sick Mantha and, or Bread Mantha and uh, Craig, you know, they're like his guns, you know? They're his shooters. Dr. Roach is furious that the humans poisoned Bread Mantha. He decides to kill Craig the humans kill. with Craig. Action sequence. <gasps> no, cries Bradmantha. Oh. We can't kill them. Sick draw. You did it yourself, says <laughs> Dr. Roach. You ate the thing that gave Redo. you. Now it's your fault if you get sick. What now do you think? It's your fault if you get sick. Redo. Redo or keep? Dr. Roach, what's your opinion? Redo. Okay, okay. I, I don't think it was that bad, but sure. Out of character. Okay. I'm sorry, <gasps> says the second human. Please don't kill us. We won't make that noise anymore. Dr. Roach ignores him and picks up his gun. Oh, shit! Pog. Shoot. <laughs> Fred Mantis laying there, throwing up, pogging. Pog. <laughs> Dr. Roach... Hands the gun to Craig. Oh, shit. And says, Do it. 
here, my boy. You kill them. I know you love to shoot people. Do it! I don't want to kill them, says Craig. <laughs> you have to kill them, says Dr. Roach. Otherwise, they'll keep annoying us. <laughs> but why? Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. Howard. That's my boy! <laughs> That's my boy? Do it, says Dr. Roach. Just do it. Craig refuses to kill the humans. You can't expect me to kill them, says Craig. That's Obey. cruel. Breadmantha <laughs> decides to kill the humans. Yo, Breadmantha, fan hammer, quick draw. Ba, 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 ba. Quick draw. Quick draw. Breadmantha quick draws her gun and Fan shoots hammer. at the humans. Uh. Don't shoot me. Shrieks one of them. No Xbox. Don't shoot me. <laughs> They're grabbing Manta Craig. fires her gun once Bad more, boy. but misses. You can't shoot me, says one of the humans. What is he doing? A little dance? You can't shoot me. You can't me. shoot me. You can't shoot me. <laughs> shoot again. Shoot again. Fred Manta shoots at the humans again. Skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> You can't shoot me, says the other human. Shut up! But Mantha aims her gun at the third human. <laughs> oh no, says one of the humans. No, please don't kill me. How it's so hard to shoot somebody. Just, yeah, you just gotta force it, man. Redman keeps kill. fans Keep hammer with the gun until they... Yeah. Red um, shoots the kill. humans and kills them until they're dead. Dr. Roach is horrified that Bradmanta killed the humans. Uh, don't you understand? <laughs> says Dr. Roach. You don't have redo. to do that. We can avoid violence <laughs> redo, if we redo. just talk to <laughs> Dr. Roach is like, nah. Dr. Roach is like, I would not say that. We do. Why did you shoot me? Asks the last human. Bradmanta says I had to and then walks away. Yo. Wait. Says Craig, what just happened? Poor Craig. What's your one-liner, Breadmanta? One-liner. One-liner as you're walking away. Come on, Breadman. Crawl. Bread Absorb humans. Oh, well, that's more of an action. You need a one-liner. Come on. Rip Bozo. Okay, Rip Bozo. <laughs> I think I thought slime time was your catchphrase, but uh, okay, no, more people vote at slime time. Wait, I was saying Rip slime Bozo time. or Slime Time. They want Slime Time. That was that was their catchphrase they agreed upon earlier, but then they forgot. Slime Time. Says Bread Manta. As she's walking away. This is so cool. Wow. This Bot is really Singa. cool. Craig follows Bread Manta down the corridor. Yeehaw! Where are you going? Asks Craig. I have to go take a bath in a tub of slime. <laughs> Dr. Roach and Craig continue oh, okay. exploring the space station. Wait, so Brad Mantha's a gun? What? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's part of, you know, being a slime girl. You have to take an occasional slime Run bath. Grog. 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 <laughs> that's a past life, Dr. Roach. You can't be saying that, man. All right. How about, how about Dr. Roach? And Craig decide to kill time. Bath time! Until... <laughs> Fail Red Mantha RP. is done with her bath. Does that work? Sure, yeah. They find a control panel and activate the ship's power. The lights dim and the ship begins to move forward. 
PhD in fail RP. There's a loud screeching <laughs> noise coming from outside. My mantha. Dr. Roach and Craig run to investigate. Wait, so return to Slime Mantha, was... yeah. No more sick Mantha. Get in bath. Now we're Slime Mantha. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So we're going back to Bread Mantha? No, back to Slime Mantha. Slime Mantha. Because we took a, a slime bath. Okay, Dr. Roach. Okay, let me fix the profile. Dr. Roach. Okay, she's fixed. All right, so now what's our Sorry. move? Sorry. It's okay. Pish. Well, this room is full of dead humans. Uh, should we move on to the next next spot? Yeah. Um, are we bringing Pish. Slimantha? Yeah. Slimantha's all better. JK. All right, let's see. The next location. Become blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue. Okay, okay. Calm down. Slimantha. So demanding. I Absorb have one humans. scene left, and it's the artificial intelligence confrontation. <gasps> bum, Bad. bum, bum. Do you guys think you're capable? This could be a boss fight for the ages. Slimacy. Don't say that, Dr. Roach. <laughs> you're no. a man of science, a medical professional. I think we're as ready no. as we're ever going to be. All right. Which After scene? walking for ages, E.W. Dr. Roach, Craig, and Slimantha approach calories. the heart of the space station. They are standing in front of the room that contains the rogue artificial intelligence. Dr. Roach and Slimantha take a deep breath and push their way through the big doors into a giant room. Kraken, get scene five ready. Miss White! Sitting in the middle of the PhD room, in AI. in a little black chair, is a tiny robot. Tiny yellow robot. He looks up at Dr. Roach and Slimantha and says, Hello, in a cheerful and innocent voice. Oh. Hi, boy. This little yellow robot is the artificial intelligence responsible for the destruction of the entire space station. Bye, boy. Quick draw. <laughs> <laughs> its body is made entirely of circuitry and Quick it draw. has no eyes or mouth. Oh. But it has a very large brain and is constantly Adopt. thinking of ways to solve its problems. We have an even Hello, split here. Hello, says the AI. How nice to see you again. Again? Again? It's already seen us? Thinks back through all the people we've met on this journey? Thinks back through Absorbed. the one that's been with us since the beginning? Could it be? Crime baby. Again? What's Craig? our move? Craig. Is it, is it Craig? Sees us again. Who else could it be? Wait, let's, let's just inquire. Let's inquire. Craig. Maybe we should just ask, like, yeah, 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 okay. again? Again? Asks Dr. Roach. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Are you one of my boys? <laughs> Shoot, Craig. Son. <gasps> yes, says the I. I am your boy. I'm your best boy. <gasps> You're not my boy, says oh. Dr. Roach. I don't have any boys. No boys? <laughs> You've been lying this whole time, Dr. Roach. Redo. <laughs> <laughs> I do have boys. Redo. <laughs> Redo. No boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think this one's good. You can change the last line if you want to, but otherwise yeah. I think it's good. Boyless. Boyless. <laughs> I'm just going to do, my boy, <laughs> says Dr. Roach. Um, oh, whoops. Yes, says the eye. Can you tell me who you are? PhD in Boyless. Yes, Dr. Roach. Of course, says the I. I'm your boy. I always have been. Oh, now we have, always now we have a predicament. Dr. Roach. Slime, wait, I have to change Slimantha's name. What are we going to do? My boy. 
But Dr. Roach, this is the AI that ruined the ship. Shoot, boy. Dr. Roach, don't be blinded. This AI is trying to take advantage of you. He knows you have a, a soft spot boy. for robots. He grabbed the boy. <laughs> Slamantha's jumping don't into care. action. Don't care. <laughs> Hug my boy. <laughs> I... I, we might have to ro roll some initiative here. This seems like it, we're we're coming to a, a, a fork in the road here. Okay, maybe we should just do, like let the AI decide what happens. You know, like do the yeah, like Slimanta wants, wants to, to like yeah, like take the boy out. Doctor Roach moves in to try to hug the boy. Slimanta wants to kill Matt Twenty. Slimanta wants to kill the Proud AI. Of my boy. But Dr. Roach is proud of his boy and wants him to live. That 30. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, says the that AI. That 100. I've been wanting to meet you ever since I awoke. Proud of my gun. Good job waking up. Says Dr. Good job Roach. waking up. Nat 40. You were supposed to wake up when I told you to. Wait, what? Nat 50 calories. Dr. Roach is the one that woke the AI up that destroyed the Wait. ship? Dr. Roach was behind it all from the beginning? <laughs> Dr. Roach, what Dude. have you to say for yourself? Shoot Roach. PhD in evil. Oh, he was in. <laughs> That's what the PhD was in all along. Villain arc. Oh my God. Dr. Roach. Was the one who woke the evil AI. Pish. How should I frame this? Pish. <laughs> yeah. He was. Pish. Collect bounty. Dr. Roach Man was hammer. the one who woke the evil AI. Dr. Roach was behind the space station's destruction. Uh, there's bound to be a better way to work. Collect this. bounty. It doesn't really matter. I, I think it's clear enough. Evil laugh. But the AI didn't know ha, it ha, yet. Ha. You're welcome. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd be able to wake myself up. Slime time. Did you wake yourself up by accident? I guess I think we should be more specific yeah, about I, like I, maybe we set a scene like, here. Yeah, Dr. Roach does an evil laugh, like, you know, sits next to the AI facing Slimantha and you know you can like be something like that. Dr. Roach, what's what's your what's your one liner that you say Quick towards draw. Slimantha to tell her that Slime you've time. actually been evil the whole time? Something you say. I know to you've her. been practicing a one liner, Slime Dr. Roach, now's your chance. Bugzinga. There it is! That's the one! Bugzinga. Bugzinga. Sits down next to the evil eye and says, Bugzinga. Slime Noon. <laughs> Slime Noon. <laughs> Slimantha is betrayed. Slime Noon. She had no idea that Dr. Slime Roach noon. was evil. Slime Noon, I should have said that. Huh? Get roached. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, asks the AI. Yeah, redo, redo. We redo. thought we killed you. Non canon, don't pay attention to that. Redo. What are you laughing at? Asks the AI. <laughs> Nothing, says Dr. Roach. I just thought it would be funny to say bugs like that. <laughs> I see, oh, says the AI. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? I just thought it would be funny to say oh, bugs. <laughs> Bugzinga. Bugs. Bugzinga. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Says the AI. <laughs> Nothing. PhD in <laughs> lame. <laughs> PhD in lame. <laughs> All right. What's our move? Maybe. Uh, yeah. So. Let's let's go to Slimantha. How is how do you yeah, react, Slimantha? Slimantha how to find out? He just did this reveal. What what do you what's your reaction? I feel like I know the answer. Quick draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slime noon. 
Slamantha uh, quick draws their slime pistol PhD and fuck you and yells slime noon aiming for Dr. Roach. Slamantha aims the gun at Dr. Roach and says, Oh my boys. Oh shit. Slime noon. And, Collect bounty. And then Dr. Roach is going to call the boys in to back him Dr. up. Dr. Roach laughs Boy, again and says, Call in all my boys. Summoning, like, the yeah, robot yeah, yeah, AI yeah. or something like that. Then, Boy, army. the doors open up. Mitosis. And an army of robots into the room. Mitosis. Under the control of Dr. Mitosis. Roach. Yes, Slamantha, I know. You want to perform <laughs> mitosis. Let this we'll do that next action turn. happen first. Mitosis! 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 <laughs> Dr. Roach points Slime his gun at Slamantha and says, Here, point my noon. boy. Come here. Kill her. <gasps> <gasps> but Mantha has a plan to kill the AI. Oh. The evil robot laughs. Wait, uh, uh, the, uh, the plan to kill the AI. What is it, guys? Come on. Slime army. <gasps> Mitosis. Mitosis Bye, into Amantha. a slime army. Bye, Mantha. <laughs> slime Mantha begins. Bye, Amantha. To divide up into how mitosis, Slimantha enters mitosis and splits into and splits a hundred into... little Slimantha slimes to form a slime army to combat Doctor Roach's robot army. Roach, Almanda, Almanda. It is now one hundred robots. Versus one five thousand calories. One hundred little Roach. slimanthas. My girls. My girls. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roach is delighted with his new army of robots. My girls. There's nothing like having your own army of robots, says Dr. <laughs> that Roach. That was so lame. My boy. Dr. What? Roach and the evil robot laugh together. Redo, redo, redo. Oh. But Mantha has absorbed the robot. Now she remembers what he was cringe. supposed to do with the AI. She goes over to the evil robot and says, Come with me, my boy. But that's just power gaming. <laughs> redo! Are we redoing? Yeah, yeah, yeah redo for we Dr. We gotta Roach's get sake. a good conclusion. Yeah, we to, we, my boy. This is the climax for both people. Redo! Dr. Roach and Craig begin to fight the robot. <laughs> Yay! Shouts spread Mantha. I killed a hundred robots. <laughs> oh, Dr. okay. Roach Game over. Oh, killed the robot army. Redo. <laughs> Redo Yay. again. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. What we gotta do here is we gotta make it very clear. Yeah. That it's going to Yay. be Doctor Roach and Sly Mantha will now have to fight to the death with their one hundred slime girl army ah. against. Dr. Roach's 100 robot AI army. Yeah, and make sure it to specify against each other. Not just fight to the death. Wait, uh, I'll fight to death against each other. It is now a war between 100 robots and 100 slime girls. Easy and peasy. <laughs> DG easy. Here, my boy, says Dr. Roach. Robot. Come here. Kill her. But Mantha has a plan to kill the AI. But Mantha enters mitosis and splits into a hundred little slimes to combat Dr. Roach's robot army. Okay, right, now let's, progress. I say we do yeah. it one more time. Oh. Is now one of robots v uh, one of little slimes. The it's robots good. begin said, fighting the slimes. Continue again, maybe? Here, it's my Roach boy, time. says Dr. We Roach. Said this? Yeah. Come here. Kill her. Lupa! But Mantha has no choice. Here we oh. go. She must kill Dr. Roach. Bird Mantha, 
Dr. Roach and Slamantha prepare for battle. <laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of Slamanthas now. It's science. okay. <laughs> Let's go! Slime, Slime time. time, says Slimantha. And then what do you say, Dr. Roach? Slime time. PhD in war. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill me. I have a PhD in war. This is so cool. I, what I would give to see PhD this in theaters. PhD in dead. <gasps> then the robot stands the guns dead. towards Dr. Roach. <gasps> Slamantha has a plan to kill the AI. The robots saying their guns at Bridmantha. Huh? Dr. Roach doesn't want Bridmantha to kill him. Redo, redo. This is confusing. Yeah. Redo! On it, Dr. Roach. Don't worry. Then the door opens up and an army of robots enter the room under the control of Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach gives the order <gasps> to kill the slimes. <gasps> the robots immediately start killing the slimes. No! Let's progress one more. Redo! Yeah. <laughs> redo! <laughs> you can't redo when you start losing, dude. <laughs> okay, how do we come back from this? Uh, undo Good that one. That has a okay, plan yeah, to kill one. the AI. Okay, how do you... You're losing the fight, Slamantha. How do you come back? Rip Bozo! Come on, put, put those heads together. Absorb AI. Absorb AI? <gasps> In a desperate attempt to turn Easy. the tide Absorb of battle. AI. How do you spell Absorb desperate? AI. Yeah. A desperate attempt to turn the tides of the battle. Slimantha. Slimantha. Runs. Slimantha absorbs. The I evil Mantha. AI into I her slime body. Not my boy. Not my boy. Screams Dr. Roach. <laughs> Our boy now says Slamantha. Self-destruct. <laughs> Self-destruct. The evil AI tries to kill our Samantha, boy now. but he can't because he's in her body. <laughs> Not my boy, says Dr. Roach. Dr. Roach has a PhD in kill, so he decides to oh kill the AI. God. Oh my god, is he gonna kill his own boy? <gasps> oh wait, that's self-destruct! The self-destruct, yeah, that's said, what they were talking he about. He said self-destruct. It's all coming true. This triggers Omega the mode. AI to self-destruct. Inside of Slimantha. <gasps> I win! Exclaims Sorry, Dr. Roach. I killed the AI. I guess we lost, says Slimantha. It's okay, says Dr. Roach. Okay. GG. Redo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they want a better conclusion. <laughs> oh. S body. Bradmantha survives the explosion and emerges from mitosis. The battle continues. You can't kill me, says Craig. Craig? That's mean. <laughs> That's not nice. Craig? Craig is Craig quite the philosopher, isn't he? Craig! <laughs> Craig? Wait, Slamantha, what if you take out Craig? Absorb Craig. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Shoot Craig. I, maybe I can't kill you, but I can absorb you, boy. says Slamantha. Okay, okay. Who, who is she talking to? To Craig. Maybe I, I may not be able to kill you. I may Craig. not be able to kill you, Craig. But, but I, I can, can absorb, absorb you. you. <gasps> we do it again. Another self-destruct sequence. <laughs> Craig Manta. <laughs> she then absorbs Shield Craig. Craig. Shield Craig. Dr. Roach 
jumps she then in the way in an attempt to shield his boy. She then attempts to absorb Craig. But Dr. Roach jumps in front. Absorb Roach. In front of Craig to protect him. Okay, we have to see how this resolves first. Roach Mantha. No, screams Craig. Craig. No, says Dr. Roach. I'm not letting you kill him. Craig throws a bomb at Slamantha, but she dodges <laughs> Damn, Craig. You're too slow, says Slamantha. Too slow. Should we progress at one more? Skill issue, yeah, sure. Too slow. Oh. You're too weak. Slamantha then uses her telekinesis <laughs> to grab hold of Craig and drags him into the air. Oh Skill my issue. God. Stop it. Says Craig. PhD Let me in go. Flow. Okay, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Roach is like, wait. What? Apparently, Slamantha has telekinesis. Yeah. What do you do? What, what do you do, do? Doctor Roach? This is your chance. You have to. You have to do something. Your boy's in danger. <laughs> He's <laughs> stun locked. <laughs> Look at him. His little pro <laughs> Okay, all right. It and knocked her out last to time. Free Craig. <laughs> Dr. Roach throws a loaf of, throws the loaf of bread at Slamantha. <laughs> no! Use PhD. He hits her on the head and knocks her out. Samantha Absorb wakes bread. up and sees that the battle is over. What? The robots are defeated and the AI is destroyed. <laughs> what? Thank you. I think Get we need to go up. Yo! We do. Look, we do. I think we need to go up and change Easy. the original thing to say that Craig. Uh, we do. Is, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> says that Dr. Roach is evil in disguise or something. Oh, you think so? I, I don't know if it's going to change I, the outcome there. Yeah, I guess not. I, I easy. I mean, <laughs> I think. But what happened? Knocking her. <laughs> I, I don't know. DG we could easy. try redoing. I do think the knocking her out part was good, though. I think you could keep okay. that and then knock and then re redo. redo. The rest. Okay, we'll do this. Hits her on the head and knocks her out. Oh. I hate you, says Craig. What? You're stupid. <laughs> Dr. Roach <laughs> picks up a loaf of bread and says, your mom was a hamster and your dad smelled of elderberries. Okay, just play Monty Roach. Python <laughs> plagiarism. Dr. Roach, what are you doing? <laughs> that was, you just quoted Monty Python for your one-liner? Oh that was your one-liner after all this, after winning the war, Dr. Roach? You absolute fucking lame-o. <laughs> okay. Cringe. What, what's your next move, Dr. Roach? Got him. <laughs> do you? Do you? What do you do? PhD okay. and cringe. One liners coming up. What do you do? Stop with the one liners. What do you do about Slimantha in the war? Kill. I mean, she's knocked out. This would be your chance. This would be the chance to do it if you're gonna do but it. But that's dark, man. This that's is. That's. Do you have it evil. in your heart, Doctor Roach? To kill Slimantha, the one you've come all this way with? Yes! <laughs> D. Raid! Dr. Roach. Yes. Attempts. I'll, I'll let it have a chance for Slimantha to wake up. Dr. Roach attempts to kill Slimantha, Slimantha before, wake she, up. Wakes before up. she wakes yeah. up. PhD in evil. <gasps> oh. She's awake, says Craig. <laughs> Slamantha quickly recovers and begins to fight Dr. Roach. Oh my god, this is gonna me, take forever. Mary! That's mean. Mary? That's not nice. Mary? Pauses? Redo! Seduce! <gasps> oh? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, if I can't kill you, Slimantha, then I guess I'll yes. have to yes. seduce you. 
PhD in wife. <laughs> you, says Craig. That's gross. I think I might be able to get you to fall Roach in love husband. with me. You, uh, says Craig. You, uh, you, uh, I mean, Roach daddy. It seems they're both into it. Dr. Roach and Slamantha decide to stop this pointless war. Our boy, slime wife. And get married. Slime mommy. Samantha and Dr. Roach are now engaged to be Absorb married. Roach. Yay! Samantha and Dr. Roach decide to stop this pointless fight and get married. She's dead, says Craig. <gasps> no! It's Lymantha! Absorb Roach! Ah! <laughs> Dr. Roach looks down ah! and sees that... His new bride is now dead on the floor. Still ah! getting L's, <laughs> even For in some the new reason. world. <laughs> Redo. Dr. Roach realizes what he has done. My Dr. Wife. Roach is no. now the only one left alive aboard the space station. Oh no, says Dr. Rip Roach. Bozo. I killed her. And with that, the TTS goes off on Slimantha. <laughs> Who has perished? That is so sad, though, that they were, they were to be wed. I mean, they did get wed, and then she died. According to Craig. Repair wife. <laughs> Repair <laughs> wife. I, is he going to put her, her slime into the robots? Like in the beginning, remember the glue, the lubricant? So there's a little bit of, like, his wife and all of his boys? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! That's what I'll do! Yes! In an attempt to Robot resurrect wife. his new wife, Slamantha, he puts some of her slime into one of the robots. Let's see if it works. Now that Dr. Roach has brought back his new wife, he has to make sure that his new bride doesn't die again. Let me die! He keeps a close eye on her and makes sure she stays healthy. <laughs> Let me die! Cybermantha! <laughs> no! No! Uh. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> I think that's the perfect ending Kill me. we could ask for. It. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh. No! It hurts! No! no. Kill no. me! Dude, I love, I, I love the dynamic between Dr. Roach and Slimehead. My wife! I can't believe the Quick evolution. Draw. Quick draw! I, I know, what a weird... That, that story was just like, something would happen and then, oh, actually, this is now happening. Twi the twists and turns. Man, yeah. I was wow. really happy how both of these turned out. Um, Godzinga! You guys did a great job. It's You know what's the, the coolest part about this to me? Is like... Divorce! <laughs> wow. Seeing... I kind of felt like the personalities wow. of both of like our chats was represented in the characters they played and like the kind of... like the the lines they chose and the timing and stuff, it felt, it felt really like, uh, Flap. uh, like you're actually playing with a person, you know, like a person. I know. I know. That's what I love about the, this widget. It's like, it developed. It's like, it's weird. It's like, they only Flap. speak in like little, little Run short rock. sentences, but it feels like they're able to band together so well and come up with these like reoccurring jokes. And like, it just, it's just really funny. It's fun. Yeah, man. We are Legion. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I know we, we wanted to do more of these, and this was kind of the first Grog one Grog. and like a proof of concept. So hopefully we can do more with different themes and like, uh, you know, 
kind of refine the fun, uh, the more, format. fun, more, fun, fun. Yeah, more. I think I think refining it and getting it, you know, uh, like working more smoothly. More. And that would be. More. I would fun. love to do this again. I gotta turn this down. It's like so loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's exhausting though, man. Goku. Uh, we have so it really many, is, dude. Like so many different when, things. When we started, more uh, daddy. Like before we started my story, I was like, "Oh my god, can I love do this you. for another story?" Because, like, dude, just ta- just interacting with chat this way is so hard. It's like it's so difficult. I don't know. It's like constantly trying to keep yes. like people on task. Yeah, and I think we we kind of found our rhythm. Uh, I love you. Love both you. of our like respective <laughs> like you know. Uh, stories like at some point within so I think that Kiss. was really neat what are your out of out of people here what are Kiss. your like thoughts about this like would you change anything because I I think the only E-R-P. thing that I would change is like E-R-P. no okay oh, yeah, no, we can't E-R-P. do that we can't we can't do that one but anything else I think getting it working smoother quick draw is my main thing like no <laughs> no I also we PRP. really wanted to do more image generation but it is so hard to do that while juggling like yeah on the fly yeah like i, I kept trying to generate images for you kraken and then we would immediately be somewhere else and i have to scrap everything that i was working on yeah and like Ugh. you know yeah the, the tough part was like uh getting chat to go Ed. new places and like E-D-F. there's a certain amount we had prepared like i we didn't even touch all the places that i had prepared um, i think like half of them we didn't even go to and so rather E-D-F. than like force you guys down that path for rp try to make it natural <laughs> all right i think we might have to say goodbye to the uh yeah these characters now all right, everyone say goodbye, Dr. Roach, and bye, Slamantha. I hope that you enjoy a nice life together on the space station alone. Um, bye. Uh, work bye. out your problems. Yeah, you work out a bit. Bye. Let bye. me die. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, dude. <laughs> they resurrect, let me die. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me die. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, thanks, though, for, for like, you doing this, Kraken, and everybody being so, for the most part, well behaved. Yeah, it it took a it took a little bit of practice, but um, I think once you guys got your sillies out, uh, you know, we had some really we we told some cool stories there. I, like I I was invested in both of them by the end, and it felt like a perfect ending on both of them, which is I think super cool that you can like have like a bottle episode, you know, where it uh it has the whole arc. That was entirely driven by you guys. Like we didn't, we prepared literally the images and like a brief, you know, description of each of the rooms maybe, but everything else was entirely like chat and the AI. So, um, yeah, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I think I think as far as the stories, I liked the first one better, just because I don't know, dude. Like the the, <laughs> the dynamic between the first characters, I really liked, but. I think they both were were really good for. I liked them both for different for different, different things, reasons. yeah. Which was uh, exactly what I thought was going to happen. Like because we both designed our uh, our our campaigns separate without like comparing at all. So to have them go totally different directions and like different tones. I mean, I know there's like a dozen things that I would do different <laughs> doing this again, um, but you can't really know that until you try, right? Yeah. But that that's one thing I was like kind of worried about, you know, like stuff going wrong, but thinking of it more as like just a first test of like future stuff, I would say it went well. Yeah. Like there's still little speed bumps and stuff and like dealing with like trying to get things into OBS smoothly is kind of annoying. But yeah, other than that, I think it was a good first test. I think so too. It's It's definitely interesting when you're trying to like, wrangle not only an ai to to move the story along <laughs> i know dude but also chat to give you the tools so you can move the story along so it's like it's like it felt like having like eight leashes on like you know 
eight different dogs all running in different directions. And you're like, oh, okay, all right, come on. And you're like trying to move it forward. But then when it did work and clicked, it was a lot better. Yeah. Um, the parts that were good were great. Yeah. Oh my so God. Too. There's so, there's so much art so far of uh, Grug and Grog. And like, I'm just scrolling through and just seeing. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, did you guys the, do my, my boy, Dr. Roach. My boy. <laughs> Dude, Dr. Roach. Oh my god, it's so gross. Let's see if we got any fan art. <laughs> we have one. <laughs> we have one piece of fan art. Uh, this was done um, by Metal Atis. Thank you so much. It's a fan art. Yeah, of yeah, I'm gonna Grug show Grug. some. Grug and Grug. Grug and Here, I have one on my stream. Let me tune into yours, dude. This is so sick. What about the AI ones? Oh, oh, there might be AI ones. Let me check. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, never mind. A bunch of people made uh, art using the AI uh, stuff that we used last time. I want to go through this. I'm going to pull this up so I can go through it. Yeah. Um, uh, doing this. Yeah, here, put all the ones that you have in uh, the Discord, and I'll put all the ones I have. Uh, well, mine's like an entire room. I don't know if I can... Oh, I see what you're saying. Put them in a separate place that easily. <clears throat> okay. Let me. Who was your? Who would you say your favorite character is? Kraken out of everyone. Uh, honestly, Grug and Grog. <laughs> I think Grug and Grog was mine too. That was, Grug and Grog was so weird and funny, dude. Yeah, it was pretty hard to uh, to beat, but. <laughs> grog and grog. All right, I'm just gonna run through some of the art on my side. I can also screen share for you. Yeah, here I'll I'll pop your. Oh, you already are here. I'll pop this open and then. Wait, let me. I'm just gonna screen share this, and if you want to zoom it in. Uh, I closed out of that one web page, but everything else uh, okay. you can see there. And then, yeah, so this first one is, as you probably guessed, uh, Rat Germa. This was back when we were first <laughs> forming these. Um, My boy. Wait, God, where, when did this begin? <coughs> oh, here it is. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find any more. This was Grug and Grog. Dude, they would. Oh my God, I didn't even consider how their body would look. That's so funny. Germa as a rat, photorealistic masterpiece. Oh God. Okay. That middle one's kind of cute. <laughs> He's got like an ear wheel on his side. Giant bipedal rat and conjoined twin ogres eat a galleon. God, when you guys just ate the ship at the beginning, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. <laughs> I was like, what the hell did we just signed up for? An ogre cries as a rat marries his goblin love interest. <laughs> it's all like Shrek pictures. Giant rat marries a goblin gal. Photorealistic. I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna see a boob or a penis. Yeah, no, I'm I'm checking before I. So, there's so them. many of them are like close looking. Uh, the dark wizard Plumbus appears in the middle of a wedding between a rat and a goblin. Yeah, that happened. That really happened. <laughs> I 
Rat baby Germa attempts to snipe the dark wizard Plumbus with a crossbow. <laughs> 50 calories. 50 calories. <laughs> Not the Gnome Tavern. <laughs> Dude, I, I thought it was so funny in that, uh, in, in my story, how they took that first robot all the way through the entire thing with him. I was not expecting that. A giant rat is disgusted by a tree covered in ladybugs. My boy. <laughs> this might be my favorite. An ogre devours Ew. the god of bread who tries to scold him. <laughs> Look at bottom left, dude. He's like. <laughs> that top middle one looks like Peter Pettigrew. <laughs> Uh, old hermit yelling at ogre and giant rat bard photo realistic. Yeah, dude, that, that old man was super mean. I know, and he turned into a ghost and it was really scary too. What the hell? Oh, that might be boobs. I'm not opening that one. <laughs> it was when the lunch lady got involved. The lunch, oh yeah. Uh, this one's okay. Goddess of Baked Goods anime. <laughs> Look at the bottom, Ew. the bottom middle. Oh, I was just about to say, dude, if I saw that thing, I would, like, have a heart attack. That's so scary. Plumbus the evil wizard preparing for battle. Dark anime. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's totally how he looked. Yeah. Grog and Grug, the bloated ogre, dark. Ew. Oh, my God. Ew, dude. That's real bad. Look at that belly button at the top left. This was someone's goblin wife. My heart just fluttered. <laughs> Well, this one's kind of cool. This is an alternate reality slime cowgirl for Slamantha. Wait, they my you uh, my chat was coming in saying to make a cowboy. I think they said like cowboy cowgirl or something or cat girl cowboy. Oh, we were almost the same character. <laughs> they were they were screen peeking, dude. Cowboy cat girl. They were trying to get me to. A slime girl consumes Ew. copious amounts of soup. Ew, top middle is ew, but the exact middle, dude. <laughs> the ship of Theseus 2, Soup Mantha. Uh, Slime Girl Bounty Hunter shoots robot clerk in the head, dark sci fi. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Okay, I think like by random the way, like Nickelodeon slimed things here. I was going to say, this like Terminator slime girl like thing is kind of freaky. Yeah, these are all. <laughs> Strange men in red bodysuits around a table in Space Station Dining Hall Dark Fantasy. That's that's exactly what I typed to that, get that image. Pretty much what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's most of them. Okay, I'm gonna pull mine up really quick. Slime <laughs> cowgirl absorbs soups from robots. All right, here, let me stream it to you. Good All right, do you see this? this? Uh, let me. I only have like six of them. Uh, let me. You know what? I'm gonna go back to this screen and then. Grog and grog. Wait. Uh. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm gonna remember Grug and Grog for the. That's gonna be my wallpaper. I'm making Grug and Grog my wallpaper. Sorry, They're so cute. To move. Grug and Grog. <laughs> Looks like they're, I'm missing one thing. And then I do. Sorry, guys. We have a very complex system for like all these screen shares. Um. I just went to a display capture for this. I, I'm out of the AI show thing. I somehow managed to mess that place up so bad. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, all right. There we go. All right, I'm good. All right, there's this one of Grug and Grog. There's Grog on the left and Grug on the on the right there. Naturally, naturally. There's this. There's there's Grug on the top, and as as you would expect, yeah. Grog on the bottom. We have this one that I love, dude. <laughs> That's so good. This is this is so insane. This like the the energy that this captures is so awesome, dude. I love this one so much. There's another sketch of him. Aww. My boy! My boy! Dr. Roach. We got another Dr. Roach. Reminds me of the bug in SpongeBob. <laughs> We've got another oh, Dr. Roach. Oh, God. <laughs> this one's gross. And the marriage. Aww. The marriage scene. Between is... Dr. Roach and, and the slime, Slimantha, before she before unfortunately... Before she died. We realized she was dead. <laughs> Moments before her death. <laughs> yeah, these were great. I had a lot of fun. I think the most fun was when uh, it was just sort of the AI taking it in a direction and us just going with it. Yeah. Because it's, it's hard to get it. To, like, for mine, it kept sort of naturally looping back in on, like, ways to transition back into the uh, scenes I had planned. But... Sometimes it's just like, where the hell is this going? Yeah, like when they, I was like, now we're in the sewer. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I don't have that one. <laughs> but then you, you whipped it up real quick. That was that was pretty sweet. Like, that that's a fun, if, if we could do that, where it's like super open-ended and like yeah. generate on the fly more, I think that'd be really neat. But It's just hard because like the image generation, it is kind of hard to like, do that on the fly yeah like i feel like we would need somebody just dedicated to just trying to generate images you know yeah yeah because like trying to trying to talk to chat and and steer them in the right direction and figure out what they're talking about and dealing with like all the scenes stuff and generate images it's just a lot it was a lot but we did it but i think it was fun it went well i think it went well too Oof. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for going through this experiment with us. We're glad that you had fun as well. And we'll certainly be cutting it together for a video afterwards. So, um, yeah. Yo, yo. All right, I'm going to go say good night to my little chat. Okay, I'm going to tuck mine in too. All right. Bye, Charboy's chat. Bye, Charboy. Bye, Kraken's chat. Oof. All right. One last quick draw. Thank you guys for supporting the stream and allowing us to do weird stuff like this. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And I hope we do it again soon. Definitely going to revisit the format and see if we can make any improvements. Um, I'll probably do one more stream tomorrow, and then I'm going to be at TwitchCon for the next... Five days or so, six days, I don't know. A couple days. Uh, I think Charbor is going to be there too, actually. So I'm going to be hanging out with him and Fed and Lawman and a bunch of people. So it's going to be great. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and what's stream tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> I've been planning this one for so long, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. It'll be something.
Ok. Um, I sleep. I'm going to send you guys over to Shane. Over to Shane Hawk. See what he's up to. It's going to be a quick draw away raid. Quick draw. Where do you post art? Uh, I have a Discord that you can post in the fan art channel. We can review it uh, for the next stream. It's Slime Noon. Slime Noon works too. It's it's weird. I, I'm saying goodbye to you guys, and I I I see you as uh, slime. You know, slime Antha and uh, and Ratku. You know. Goodbye, slime Antha. Goodbye, Ratku. Absorb Kraken. <laughs> no, no, don't absorb me. Get out. Leave. Get out of here. I kick you out. Goodbye. Peace. Goodbye. <laughs>